Hey there exciting news, I've got an exclusive audible link waiting for you in the video description below. Headphone sparkles when you sign up for a free trial using my link, not only will you get incredible audiobooks, but you'll also be supporting me. Your support means the world to me. Click the link to support me. HTTPS colon slash slash mzn.to slash 3vb0r2w. Chapter 1 Reincarnated without system but with skills. Advertisement. Western Demon Kingdom. In the royal city, a large group of monsters were running around in a hurry. Most of them are dog monsters, and the reason why these monsters are in a hurry is because a palace behind them is burning with raging fire. Quick, think of a way to put out the fire. The fire is too big and must be put out as soon as possible, otherwise the entire royal city may be destroyed by the fire. A group of monsters are busy putting out the fire. Not far behind them, a child in white clothes was sitting on the steps, with a flame still burning on his fingertips. The furry ears were twisting gently, and he had short silver white hair. He supported his chin with one hand and looked helplessly at the flames on his fingertips. The tail behind him swayed slightly. Your Highness Fudomaru, are you okay? A gentle voice sounded behind him, and Hokidomaru turned back to look at the person in front of him. It was his personal maid Inie Oyako. Hokidomaru smiled helplessly, I'm fine, but... I couldn't control it. Seeing that Fudomaru seemed to be blaming himself, Yako knelt down and said, Your Highness, Fudomaru, there is no need to blame yourself. You are still young and it is normal for you not to be able to control your demonic power. Saying that, Yezii showed a warm smile. Speaking of which, His Highness Fudomaru is really powerful. He was born with such a powerful flame. He will definitely become a very powerful great demon in the future. At this time, there was a sound of footsteps. Several monsters wearing armor came over. Your Highness Fudomaru, Lady Ling Yu Immortal Princess asked us to take you there. We will wait until the fire is extinguished and then find a way to rebuild His Highness's palace. Fudomaru nodded, okay, let's go. Advertisement. Standing up, Fudomaru lowered his head and looked at his two furry little feet. Why? Still not used to it. Although it has been three years since I came to this world and I have become a three-year-old kid, for monsters, three years has not passed the baby period, and at most it is just one month old. But in this life, Dumaru didn't expect that he would come to Inuyasha's world. He even became the second son of King Daga and Fairy Lingyu, and the younger brother of Seshomaru. Fortunately, as soon as he was born, Hideomaru had a powerful demonic fire. It seemed that the bloodline of the dog demon clan that Hideomaru inherited had been upgraded. As a result, although Hokidomaru has the iconic silver white hair of the Inuyeo clan, Hokidomaru's hair has some red strands in it. There are demon patterns on his face and a crescent-shaped mark on his forehead that represents the dog demon clan. This is the symbol of the most noble bloodline of the dog demon clan. But forget it. What makes Fudomaru feel helpless the most is that even though he is a being with pure dog demon blood, surprisingly, he was not completely human when he was born, and he could still accept having a tail and so on. But I didn't expect that even the legs were not human feet. It is said that one cannot develop legs like humans until the age of 20, and one cannot develop human ears until the age of 30. In other words, there are still more than 20 years to go. Although monsters have a very long lifespan, hundreds of years are nothing, let alone just a few decades. But being used to human bodies, Hokidomaru's body was something he wasn't used to. Although the accompanying demonic fire is not bad, Fudomaru cannot control it at will. It will break out if you are not careful, and the power of the demon fire is very strong. If it is not extinguished in time, it will form a fire and spread. Advertisement. Arriving at Fairy Lingyu's chamber, Fudomaru didn't have time to speak. Immortal Fairy Lingyu picked her up and held her in her arms for a series of head-touching attacks. Fudomaru was speechless. Although he is a dog demon, don't tease yourself like a puppy. Besides, my mother is also a dog demon, so why do I still like this? Little Fudo got into trouble again. You have to control your own flames well. Fudomaru was speechless. If he could control it, would this kind of thing still happen? This is the third time this month. If it happens a few more times, I'm afraid the wealth your father has accumulated won't be enough to build your palace. Speaking of King Tuga, this guy was an extremely incompetent father in Fudomaru's eyes. He was away from home every three days, even though he was busy fighting in various places. But when she comes back occasionally, she doesn't even come to talk to her mother. This kind of husband is so incompetent. Mom, I'm sorry, I will practice hard later. Hearing this, Fairy Lingyu smiled and said, Idiot. At your age, you just have to eat, sleep, eat, and wait for your body to develop. You will naturally be able to control the flames in the future. After saying that, Fairy Lingyu raised her hand and pinched Hudo's fat baby face. Cute. Could this woman give birth to a child because the child is cute? Are you a giant Barbie doll? Mom, stop pinching, it hurts. Okay, okay, Xiao Fudo must be hungry. Advertisement. Saying that, Immortal Fairy Lingyu walked toward the palace with the red-faced Fudomaru Tensei in her arms. Fudo grabbed Immortal Lingyu's clothes with his small hands and his face turned red. Although he was three years old, he was just a baby to the dog demon. Naturally, he still needed breast milk to eat, otherwise his body would not be able to keep up with his development. However, in order to get rid of a pair of hairy legs and ears as soon as possible, Fudomaru had no choice but to gulp down, eat more and transform faster. After he was full, Fudo burped and was put on the soft bed by Immortal Fairy Lingyu. She patted her back and fell asleep quickly. Immortal Fairy Lingyu also gently withdrew, letting Fudomaru have a good sleep. Great Sage, warning, the demonic fire in host's body is plundering host's energy. This behavior will seriously delay the development of host's body. Do you want to stop it? Fudomaru, who was sleeping, was awakened by such a voice that suddenly appeared in his mind. Do it all of a sudden. What? Great Sage, introduce yourself. This skill is called Great Sage. Great Sage? What? Great Sage, talented skills given to host by the world. World? Great Sage, this question cannot be explained. Great Sage, Great Sage, etc. Fudomaru knew what this was. Could it be the skill to reincarnate into the slime world? Great Sage, analysis, the basic situation is consistent, the similarity is 99%. It has been three years since I was reborn, and I have no system or skills. This, is this a surprise? Advertisement. 
Chapter 2 The first calculation begins. Advertisement. Great Sage, if it is really a skill from that world, then this skill is quite powerful. Great Sage, what are your abilities? Hokitomaru wanted to see if this skill was as pervert as the Great Sage of that world. Great Sage, the effect of this skill is as follows. Thinking acceleration, it can increase the host's perception speed by a thousand times and accelerate the host's thinking ability in an instant. Analysis and identification, analyze unknown objects and conduct identification. Parallel calculation, the things to be analyzed can be separated from the thinking to perform calculations, and can be linked to other skills. The effect of this parallel calculation is a bit difficult to understand. Great Sage, for example, for example, you can calculate and analyze the enemy's demonic power, demonic energy, flaws, etc. As long as the analysis is completed, you can calculate a perfect defeat plan for the host based on the host's own situation. Once you put it this way, you can understand. This parallel calculation ability is pretty good. Katamara's eyes began to shine instantly. Sen Luo Wan Xiang, netting the unshielded phenomena of this world. What does this mean? Great Sage, host can be understood as, this skill can automatically search for the basic information of this world, which is equivalent to an encyclopedia. That makes it easier to understand. What if there's something blocked? Didn't you know that? Great Sage, of course, just like an encyclopedia is not omnipotent, basic knowledge can be obtained from it, but further knowledge cannot be obtained. Great Sage, the above are all the current skill effects of this skill. Hokitomaru nodded with satisfaction. It seemed that he had basically the same abilities as the slime. No wonder the Great Sage said that the similarity is 99%, but there are still some subtle differences. Advertisement. But none of this matters. What did you say you were warning about? Great Sage, warning, the demonic fire in host's body is plundering host's energy. This behavior will seriously delay the development of host's body. Do you want to stop it? Is the demon fire plundering its own energy? Futamaru was stunned for a moment. No wonder his flame suddenly went berserk three times this month, stealing his own energy from his body all day long. Stop. Great Sage, limiting the energy intake of demon fire. Restriction completed. This way, the demon fire shouldn't go berserk. Yes, the demon fire is restricted from absorbing energy and growing at the same rate as the host. According to the current development status of the host, there will be no situation where the demon fire cannot be controlled in three months. Three months? Hokitomaru frowned, although three months was nothing in the long lifespan of a yukai. But can't it be faster? Great Sage, do you have a way for me to control the demon fire as soon as possible? Futomaru was quite excited about coming to Inuyasha's world at first, and there was also the accompanying demon fire. Futomaru naively thought that he could easily control the demonic fire and perform cool tricks such as those in the anime he watched in his previous life. Tricks. However, it turned out that controlling the flame was more difficult than he imagined. The method to enhance the demonic power will be calculated for the host. Do you want to start? It is indeed a magical skill, and it can also calculate ways to enhance the demon's power. Let's start. Let's start. Futomaru couldn't wait any longer. His desire to control the demonic fire seemed to be related to the so-called demonic power, but Futomaru had not felt any demonic power yet. Although he knows that there are demonic powers in Inuyasha's world, Futomaru is now equivalent to a baby, although he has a different soul. But he is not a genius monster. If he wants to detect the demonic power, he must at least wait until he has passed his infancy. Advertisement. Analysis begins. Comprehensive and in-depth analysis of host. Analysis completed. Race, dog demon. Age, 3 years and 7 months. Status, juvenile dog demon. Talent, nameless demonic fire. Start the demon power enhancement calculation. During the calculation, extract part of the demon power for experiments, request to turn on the thinking acceleration ability, and use the host's thinking ability to speed up the calculation. Do you still need my help? Start thinking faster. Thinking acceleration is on. For a moment, Futomaru felt a slight pain in his head, accompanied by an inexplicable swelling and pain. But at this moment, Hokutomaru found that he seemed to feel differently about everything around him. The five senses seemed to be strengthened countless times in an instant. The fragrance of grass floating in the air could be easily felt by Futomaru. Futomaru could clearly see every particle of dust floating in the air. What's incredible is that in Futomaru's mind, red light is traveling rapidly, gradually condensing into the form of a transparent human body. The red light seems to have formed the meridians in the living body, and this red light travels along the meridians at an extremely fast speed. Detection, host's current physique cannot withstand a thousand times accelerated thinking and is weakening. Thinking acceleration, 500 times. Unbearable, weakening. Thinking acceleration, 300 times. Weakening. Advertisement. Thinking acceleration 20 times. Check that the host can withstand it. Think about the acceleration limit of 20 times. Suddenly, the particularly clear feeling of everything around him disappeared, and for a moment it seemed as if everything around him became blurry. This feeling is very different from the feeling just now of having everything under control. At the same time, the speed of the three-dimensional model in my mind has also been greatly reduced. The speed of the red light travels very slowly, but it is still within the acceptable range. The great sage said that his physique is not good enough and he cannot withstand a thousand times accelerated thinking. If his physique is strengthened, then one day he will be able to easily withstand a thousand times accelerated thinking? He is a dog demon and has inherited the bloodline of King Duya. Futomaru wouldn't worry about his body constitution or anything like that. Calculation completed? Pure demonic power refining method. It can accelerate host's refining of breast milk in the body, absorbing energy from it to enhance demonic power and promote physical development. Huh? Futomaru was stunned for a moment, refining the breast milk in his body? This. Analysis results show that host can enhance its own demon power in the fastest and safest way by refining breast milk. This result is the best solution calculated by this skill, host, please do not doubt it. I felt the so-called demon power refining method in my mind. It can actually control the circulation of demon power in the stomach, thereby speeding up the digestion of breast milk and enhancing the demon power. And it seems that because he turned on the acceleration of thinking, Hidomaru's five senses were enhanced, so that he can now feel the weak demon power in his body. Although the thought acceleration has been turned off now, the feeling has not disappeared. Just like learning to swim, once you learn it you won't forget it, your body will remember this instinct. Although it's a little different from what I imagined, let's give it a try anyway. This so-called pure demon power refining method, advertisement. Chapter 3 You have to eat 8 meals a day. 
Advertisement. As Fudomaru began to follow the method calculated by the Great Sage, he controlled his weak demon power to rotate in his stomach. Suddenly, a warm current began to center on his belly and slowly penetrate into other parts of his body. After more than 10 minutes, Fudomaru felt as if his body was soaked in a warm hot spring. This feeling is very comfortable. The cells in his body seemed to be cheering, and Fudomaru felt relaxed all over his body. At this time, he carefully felt the demon power in his body. Great Sage, can you always speed up your thinking? Fudomaru is not in a state of accelerated thinking now, and his feeling of demonic power is very hazy and vague. It should be much better if you turn on the state of accelerated thinking. Enabling thinking acceleration will increase the physical burden on the host, and keeping it on will cause damage to the host's body. What if it was damage-free thought acceleration? It's not like you can't bear it at all. Analysis, if the host wants to activate thinking acceleration without damage, it can activate up to twice the thinking acceleration. All right, it can withstand up to 20 times of thinking acceleration. If thinking acceleration is always turned on, it can only withstand twice the thinking acceleration. If you think it's double, then double it. In short, it would be nice to make myself feel more clearly. Think twice as fast as possible. Suddenly the hazy and fuzzy feeling before was slightly better, but not much better. At most, it is equivalent to converting 240p into 480p. Of course, it is better than nothing. Now Hokutomaru could feel that the weak demon power in his body seemed to be much stronger than before. The previous feeling was as thin as a hair, maybe even less than a hair. It's much better now, it's basically doubled. In just a short time, it has become twice as powerful as before. The effect is so good. The calculated refining method can ensure that more than 95% of the energy contained in breast milk is perfectly absorbed by the host. Previously, the host relied on the body's instinct to absorb, and the absorption efficiency was only less than 30%. Advertisement. No wonder the effect is so good, it has already tripled. Good, now I finally found something to do. I didn't have to sit around doing nothing all day like before, eating and sleeping, and eating after sleeping. At most, I just ran around for a while, then ate again when I was tired, and then went to sleep again. That kind of life doesn't seem to be much different from that of pigs. Since the effect is so good, let's continue. Fudomaru doesn't feel tired at all now, even though controlling the movement of demon power is actually very boring. But Fudomaru found it very interesting. As for boring, what could be more boring than having nothing to do? Fudomaru, who was lying on the bed, turned over instinctively. A fluffy tail wraps around its body. Continue to refine the breast milk in your body. As the demonic power in the body continues to swim around, round and round, Fudomaru can feel the demonic power increasing every time he completes a circle. Although the speed of the increase is not too fast, Fudomaru feels that he never gets tired of it. Several hours passed. Suddenly there was a gurgling sound from Hokutomaru's stomach. The extremely strong feeling of hunger made Fudomaru wake up immediately. Then he smiled helplessly and touched his belly. Is this considered the refining of breast milk has been completed? It's just that the feeling of hunger the moment the refining was completed was a bit too much. Why does it look like I haven't eaten for several meals? Or is a child's hunger so strong? It is recommended that host continue to supplement breast milk. Replenish, this. How long have I slept? Three hours. Advertisement. Three hours? Is it only three hours? It was refined in three hours, which was too fast. If this situation continued, I would not be able to eat eight meals a day. Although babies eat a lot, it's not that much. Can I eat something else? For example, some kind of monster meat? The energy contained in monster meat is not pure demon power, and it cannot be compared with the quality of breast milk. It will cause the host's body to be polluted by turbidity, speeding up the host's body development, but slowing down the growth of demon power. Recommended not to eat. So is this why, even though she is three years old, Fairy Lingyu still doesn't give her food? Monster children seem to be quite troublesome too. Gugugu. My stomach growled again. This kind of hunger is unbearable even for adult souls. Hokutomaru could only kick off his quilt and jump out of bed. It swung its tail that was as big as its entire body. Walked towards the door pushing the door open with difficulty. Outside the door, Fairy Lingyu was still lying on the bench in the yard, quietly watching the fish resting in the pond. Hearing the sound of the door opening, Fairy Lingyu turned around and looked at Fudomaro with some confusion. Normally after feeding, Fudomaro would have to sleep for 7 or 8 hours. After all, digesting breast milk is not an easy task. I didn't expect that Fudomaro would wake up so quickly today. Seeing Fairy Lingyu looking at him, Fudomaro was just about to speak. Goo 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 goo. My stomach made an unsatisfactory sound. Advertisement. This made Fairy Lingyu slightly stunned. Are you hungry again so soon? Remember, this kid ate a lot just now? With a smile on her face, Fairy Lingyu leaned down and picked up Fudomaro who was walking over. Little Fudo, are you hungry again? Yes, it seems that little Fudo will be able to grow taller soon. As immortal Lingyu stood up and walked towards the palace, Fudomaru helplessly endured the hand on top of his head that was ravaging his hair. It's best to grow up quickly and get out of the baby stage, otherwise these embarrassing days will never end. Swallow? This time, Hokutomaru's belly button was stretched so much that it bulged out. Only then did he start a new round of refining demonic power with a milky air all over his body. When Fudomaru began to refine the breast milk in his belly, Fairy Lingyu was slightly startled. As the wife of King Duya, she is the dog demon princess. Although she is not as powerful as King Duya, she is not much different from the level of the great demon. At such a close distance, one can clearly feel the extremely active demonic power in Fudomaru's body. Immortal Fairy Lingyu's dark eyebrows were slightly frowned, and her eyes, like bright moons, gave off a faint light. No wonder little Fudo got hungry so quickly. He was able to absorb it so quickly. This talent is even more powerful than little Sesshomaru. It seems I need to eat more, otherwise I'm afraid I'll be sucked dry by this little monster. After leaving the palace, Immortal Fairy Lingyu summoned the dog demon responsible for guarding the royal city. Dog demon general secret fang, go and prepare more food. I may eat a lot recently. If I can, it doesn't matter if I catch monsters to eat. After hearing this, Mia was stunned for a moment, eat monsters. Although it is not unusual for monsters to eat monsters, as a princess of the Inuyu clan, she would not do such a thing, and now she actually said such a thing? Go quickly. Mia was stunned for a moment, Sir Lingyu Immortal Fairy, if Lord Doyaking finds out. You don't have to worry about it, just follow my instructions. Advertisement. Chapter 4 Drawing Energy from Nature. Advertisement. Eat 8 meals a day, 1 meal lasts 3 hours. 
For seven days, Fudomaru was crazily increasing his demon power every day, and relying on the refining method provided by the Great Sage is indeed amazing. In just seven days, the effect is comparable to that of the past three years. The demonic power in Fudomaru's body has increased dozens of times, compared to the original weak and invisible demonic power. Now Hokutomaru could clearly feel that it had strengthened to the size of hundreds of hairs. So much so that Hokutomaru's body is now burning with flames, and the flames are jumping in its palms, forming various shapes. One moment it turns into a ball with flames, the next it forms a cube. This was the first time since his birth that Hokutomaru was able to perfectly control the demonic fire he was born with. But the only pity is that his current demon power is not very strong, the power of the demon fire is not too great, and he cannot condense such a huge flame. At most, a ball of fire the size of a football can be condensed. Boom, the fireball exploded on the stones in the garden, instantly melting the entire stone as if completely. What a powerful force. It finally looks good. Hokutomaru looked satisfied. If these seven days continued, it wouldn't take long for the flames to be condensed to become even more. And he looked down at his legs. What Sadomaru was most satisfied with was not controlling his natural demon fire, but having human legs. Finally not a hairy dog leg. Although there are still ears and tail left, it is considered to be within the acceptable range of Futomaru. Advertisement. It's been three years since I saw my feet for the first time. Xiaofido, why are you here alone? Are you not hungry today? If you are, just tell your mother. The voice of Fairy Ling Yu came from behind. Fudomaru turned around and looked at immortal Ling Yu who was coming not far away, and quickly shook his head, Mother, I'm not hungry yet, don't worry about me. In these seven days, immortal Fairy Ling Yu lost weight visibly to the naked eye. Eating eight meals a day is no joke. If he continues to eat like this, Fudowin will be afraid that something will happen to Fairy Ling Yu. In the past, every time I saw immortal Fairy Ling Yu, she always had a touch of otherworldly spirit, but now when I look at immortal Fairy Ling Yu, she can't hide the tiredness in her eyes. Watching Fairy Ling Yu eat or sleep every day to ensure that she doesn't starve, and then breastfeed herself. This also made Fudomaru, who had always been unable to accept Ling Yu Fairy, be moved by Ling Yu Fairy's motherly love. Mom seems very tired. Let me take her back to rest. Fudomaru's height could not even reach Ling Yu Fairy's knees, and he could only hold Ling Yu Fairy's clothes. Looking at Fudomaru's well-behaved look, Immortal Fairy Ling Yu also smiled. Does the little guy have a filial piety at this age? It's quite strange, although Fudomaru has been different since he was a child. He doesn't look like a monster child, but more like a human child. But this feeling seems pretty good. Completely different from when Seshomaru was a child. After putting Fairy Ling Yu to sleep, Fudomaru came to the garden alone and asked Yezii to find a small stool for him. Hokutomaru sat alone in the courtyard and sighed. This cannot continue like this. Although refining can quickly increase the demonic power, it will definitely have an impact on the mother's body. Can the Great Sage figure out some cultivation method for me to practice on my own? Great Sage, the growth of energy does not come out of nothing. If host wants to increase its demonic power, it needs to absorb energy. Apart from breast milk, where else does host want to absorb energy from? Energy? Advertisement. Isn't energy everywhere? Is there no energy between heaven and earth? Parsing, parsing the world around host. Request host body control, and fully activate the thinking acceleration auxiliary analysis. Can? Fudomaru seemed to understand a little about this great sage now. Although this skill can meet my own requirements, it does not have the ability to think independently. It should be said that it does not have much independent thinking ability. Otherwise, there is no need to propose it yourself before it will start taking action. It may be a good tool for the great sage, but how to use it depends on yourself. The analysis is completed, the host theory is established, and energy can be absorbed from the sky and the earth to enhance the demonic power. Start calculating how to absorb. Simulated natural environment. Simulation successful. Start simulating the way the host monster absorbs natural energy. Analysis. The absorption method is as follows. Instinct absorption, relying on the body's instinct to absorb energy, is not efficient enough to meet the host's expectations. Demon power absorption. Demon power cannot absorb natural energy. Analysis. Analysis completed. Demon power transforms into demon energy, and demon energy absorbs natural energy for analysis. Theory established. Create simulation. The demonic power transforms into demonic energy, and the demonic energy absorbs natural energy. The demonic energy transforms into demonic power and returns to the host body. Simulation completed. Advertisement. This demonic power causes 50% damage to the host's body. It does not meet the requirements and will be reanalyzed. Simulation completed again. The degree of physical damage is 43%, which does not meet the requirements and will be reanalyzed. Does not meet the requirements. Reanalyze. Cold sweat broke out on Hokutomaru's forehead. When thinking acceleration was turned on at full power, the current limit was 25 times the thinking acceleration range. But there was no problem in maintaining this state for more than 10 minutes. It lasted for several hours, and it even felt like his head was about to explode. The three-dimensional model in the brain is built and collapsed again and again. At the same time, the method of converting demonic power into demonic energy, and then began to absorb natural energy, also changed again and again. And this process is not slow. The afternoon passed in the blink of an eye, and now Fudomaru's face was blue and his mouth was white. He looked like he was about to collapse. Calculation completed, meets requirements, no damage, no need to reanalyze. Success in cultivating demon power. The next second, Hutamaru suddenly opened his eyes. Although he was almost exhausted and looked very weak now, there was a flash of light in Hutamaru's eyes. Success. Now I can finally rely not only on immortal Lingyu's breast milk to enhance my demonic power. Although in terms of efficiency, the cultivation method is only one-tenth as efficient as the refining method, Fidomaro does not believe that efficiency is constant. What if the great sage were allowed to continue to deduce it? Cultivation method 2.0, 3.0, or even 10.0. Then the efficiency will definitely be improved. After all, the energy contained in breast milk is constant, but natural energy can be as much or as little as necessary. In the next period of time, the demon power will increase faster. Wait until tomorrow to deduce the cultivation method again, and deduce it once a day to upgrade the cultivation method. Soon it will be faster than refining breast milk. Advertisement. Chapter 5 Demon Power Cultivation Method 98.0 Advertisement. 
Three months passed in the blink of an eye. In the royal garden, Hokitomaru sat on the rockery in the middle of the pond. There was a faint breeze all around, forming a faint izumaki, constantly rotating around Hokitomaru. The waves on the water surface continued to spread. Even the carp in the water seemed to be much more active than usual. At this moment, in Fidomaru's body, the tyrannical demon power was colliding in Fidomaru's meridians. The continuous demonic energy from all directions gathered together and merged into Fidomaru's body. At the moment, Fidomaru is like a giant beast, constantly absorbing the surrounding natural energy, converting it into his own demonic energy, and then condensing it into demonic power. Compared with three months ago, Fudomaru's demon power now is no longer just the size of hundreds of hairs. A substantial stream of energy has been completely formed flowing through the meridians. Fudomaru's demon power now is probably comparable to that of an Inu demon who is already in his 50s or 60s. Moreover, it is a level only a dog demon with excellent bloodline and talent can achieve. However, Hutamaru was only an infant dog demon for three years and ten months, even according to human calculations. You don't need to breastfeed until you are five years old. In other words, Fudomaru is still a baby. Opening his eyes, Hokidomaru stopped training. Feeling the sufficient demon power in the body, if the demon fire is released now, it will already be able to form a powerful flame shock wave. It's exactly what I thought. Advertisement. The efficiency of the cultivation method has far exceeded the demonic power increased by refining breast milk. For three months, Fudomaru updated the demon power training method every day using the Great Sage's deduction. In the past three months, it has been successfully updated to version 98.0 of the demon power cultivation method. This version of the demon power cultivation method is 50 times more efficient than the original version. With such efficiency, Fudomaru's demonic power grew at an even more astonishing rate. However, according to the predictions of the Great Sage, after updating the cultivation method to version 100.0, if you want to continue updating, there may not be such a big improvement. If you want to make a qualitative leap, you still have to rely on Fudomaru itself. Unless Fudomaru can be quickly promoted to another level, the updating effect of the training method will not be so significant. So after updating the training method twice, Fudomaru will start developing other aspects. Raise your hand to release your own demonic fire. When the training method is updated, we will start developing the demon fire. The power of the demon fire is now only growing slowly with the growth of Fudomaru. However, now because Fudomaru's demon power is increasing too fast, the demon fire cannot keep up with Fudomaru's pace. Therefore, it is necessary to develop the practice of demon fire. Otherwise, if you continue like this, you will have a powerful demon power, but you will not be able to exert your due fighting power. Hadomaru jumped directly from the rockery to the edge of the lake. After landing steadily, the dog demon Mediako hurriedly came forward. Have you rested your highness, Fudomaru? Hearing this, Fudomaru nodded. Yako breathed out softly, His Highness Fudomaro is worthy of inheriting the best bloodline of the dog demon clan. The demon power in his body is already so strong at this age. Advertisement. If Lord Toya King finds out later, he will definitely be frightened by His Highness Fudomaro. Naturally, it was impossible to hide the incredible growth rate of Hokitomaro's demonic power from those closest to him in the past three months. Immortal fairy Lingyu and her maid Yazi already know about the evildoer Fudomaro. Who would have thought that a three-year-old child would suddenly have a sudden increase in demonic power, and the rate of increase is accelerating every day. Immortal Lin Yu was frightened when she first discovered it. However, after Immortal Lin Yu carefully inspected it, she found that Fudomaro was in extremely good health and there were no problems. The growth of demon power seems to be a normal phenomenon. But even Immortal Fairy Lingyo cannot accept this normal phenomenon easily. It can only be attributed to the fact that Kodomaru may have a terrible talent. Also, he was born with a strange demonic fire. It doesn't seem strange that his demonic power has begun to increase dramatically at this age. Follow Iza to the palace of Fairy Lingyu. After Fudomaru started to increase his demon power through training methods, he stopped taking in so much breast milk. Immortal Fairy Lingyu has regained her former glory. In order not to worry Immortal Lingyu too much, Fudowen also followed the procedure and let Immortal Lingyu fall asleep after eating. Looking at Fudomaru who was sleeping soundly, Fairy Lingyu looked at Fudomaru's pink little face. What kind of monster did I give birth to? Three years old? Fudomaru is only three years old. The powerful demon power in the body can already be clearly felt. This is a level that ordinary dog demons can achieve only when they are 50 or 60 years old. Advertisement. The dog demons at that time were basically five or six years old as humans, and as yukai you would naturally awaken your demonic power. At the same time, according to different types of monsters and blood types, the strength of the monster's power is also different. But at this age, Fudomaru has power comparable to that of a monster at that age. In the future, immortal fairy Lingyu doesn't even know what kind of monster Fudomaru will become. Perhaps this child will easily surpass his father Doya King? Thinking of King Duya, Fairy Lingyu's expression suddenly turned cold. Originally, King Duya was supposed to return to the royal city a month ago. Although he was fighting abroad, he still had no time to return to the royal city. However, due to the problem of providing sufficient breast milk for food tomorrow, Ling Yu Zianji chose to eat monsters in order to absorb enough energy. King Duya seemed to know about this. Although it is not a treasonous thing for a monster to eat a monster, from the perspective of the Inuyu clan, this lowers one's status and is also an insult to the Inuyu clan. But King Duya did not come back. Although he didn't say anything, Fairy Lingyo had already felt that King Duya seemed to have a problem with him because of this matter. It's just that King Duya doesn't need to say anything specifically about whether this matter is serious or not. But this incident made Fairy Lingyo very dissatisfied with King Duya. Originally, they were only married for some reasons, but now immortal Fairy Lingyo doesn't care. Even without King Duya, she will live well with Fudomaru and Seshomaru. As for Fudomaru, who was sleeping soundly at this moment, a breeze began to surge around his body again. On the surface, it looked like Fudomaru was asleep, but in fact he started to practice his demon power again. This news did not surprise Lingyu Immortal Fairy. He has seen too much in the past three months. It seems that Fudomaru's demonic power does not fluctuate except when eating. At other times, it is steadily increasing at a terrifying speed. This little monster. Advertisement. Chapter 6 The carp is almost turning into a monster. Advertisement. Calculation completed. 
version 100.0 of the demonic power cultivation method has been updated. Fudomaro slowly closed his eyes and began to run a new version of the training method. Sure enough, the speed of increasing the demonic power is faster. The strong wind surrounding Fudomaro is now even stronger, and the natural energy around him is constantly gathering. In the garden where Hokutomaro practiced, the flowers, plants and trees seem to have grown taller. The carps in the pond seem to have a certain degree of wisdom in their twinkling eyes. This is the rhythm of almost becoming a demon. Just because of the blessing of the natural energy accumulated through Fudomaro's training, some ordinary creatures can become monsters within a few months. Then you can imagine how much energy you have absorbed, and how terrifying the growth rate of your demonic power is. Feeling the demon power in Azumaki's body continue to expand, the warmth traveling in his limbs continues to become hotter, and a smile can't help but appear on the corner of Hotamaru's mouth. Now, Ling Yu Zianji was secretly watching Fudomaru from a distance. He looked at Hokitomaru sleeping cross-legged on the rockery in the middle of the pond under the scorching sun. The noise is getting louder and louder. The maid in Yeo Yako on the side nodded. Yes, Lady Ryatsuki Senji, Her Highness Fudomaru is extremely talented. At this age, she can enter the stage of rapid increase in demonic power. It can be seen that Her Highness Fudomaru will definitely be one in the future. Powerful monster. Immortal fairy Ling Yu never doubted that he was a powerful monster, but the more she saw, she always felt that Fudomaru's method of increasing monster power was weird. Even if your demonic power has increased, it can be regarded as the awakening of your bloodline, but look at that garden. Not only the flowers, plants, and trees inside are full of vitality, but the biggest change is the carp in the pond. In recent times, Ling Yu Immortal Fairy felt that these carps seem to have their own wisdom. Under normal circumstances, it would take hundreds of years for an ordinary carp to become a monster. Advertisement. And now, these carps were only brought in a year ago. In the past few months, it was just because Hokitomaru slept on the rockery every time and entered a state of enhanced bloodline awakening and demonic power. It's simply weird that these ordinary carp have signs of becoming monsters. Let Miya return to the dog demon clan and let him choose a few dog demons with good talents to serve as Xiaofu Do's guards. After immortal fairy Ling Yu finished speaking, Yezi I was stunned for a moment. This is in the royal city, and there is no way His Highness Fu Damaro is in danger. Why arrange escorts? But since it was Lady Ling Yu's order, Yuzi didn't have much to refute. Nodded. Fairy Ling Yu looked at Fu Damaro for a few more hours before leaving with a serious expression on her face. After several hours, Fu Damaro stood up from the rockery and stretched his body. The 100th version of the demon power cultivation method is really fast, more than half faster than the previous cultivation method, but... Hokidomaro released a wave of demonic power, which turned into demonic energy and wrapped around his hands. In an instant, his white and pink hands turned into furry claws. But it is impossible to continue to update the cultivation method in the future. The speed has reached the limit of the current level. This has nothing to do with physical fitness or other reasons. The most important thing is Fudomaru's current state. As a monster, his body is still in the development stage and his physical development has not yet matured. In the words of the great sage, if the practice method is continued to be updated at this stage, it will cause damage to Fudomaru's body. I have no choice but to wait for two years until I get out of my infancy. The reason why Fudomaru stopped now is because the time for training is equivalent to rest for Fudomaru. It's almost time to rest now. There is no way to update the training method, but Fudomaru has other things to do. He raised his hand and lightly snapped his fingers, and the demon fire jumped out of his fingertips, swaying slowly in the wind. Advertisement. The next second, the demonic power in Fudomaru's body suddenly exploded, and the demonic aura was everywhere. For a moment, the red demonic aura could be vaguely seen floating in the entire garden. And then, the flames in Fudomaru's hands turned into lines of fire, traveling back and forth in the garden, interweaving and converging into a magnificent scene of lines of fire. Fudomaru, who was bathed in the flames, looked very excited. Control the flame freely, and there will never be a situation where the demon fire gets out of control again. And his beautiful eyes, hiding aside, flickered slightly. So, so awesome. Can His Highness's flames be controlled to this extent? Is this really just a juvenile dog demon? And Fudomaru seemed to be having fun playing with fire, constantly manipulating the flames and performing various changes. Such a cute Fudomaru made Yako smile. However, Fudomaru was not playing around. Analysis completed. Unknown demon fire. Color, bright red like fire. Ability, possessing powerful destructive power, it seems to be able to burn the soul to a certain extent. Start the demon fire enhancement calculation. Calculation starts. Demon fire enhancement plan 1, using natural energy to strengthen the demon fire. Calculation in progress, failed. Calculation failed. Advertisement. Analysis, host demon fire and natural energy cannot directly affect each other, ruling out the possibility of using natural energy to directly strengthen. Perform the second possibility calculation. Use host's own demon power to strengthen the demon fire. During the calculation, if it is successful and consumes too much demon power, it will cause the host's demon power to be greatly reduced and cause damage to the host. Calculating again, optimizing, the optimization increases the efficiency by 3%, the consumption of demon power is reduced, and the damage caused to the host reaches a controllable range. Continue the calculation. With the great sage's voice ringing again and again, it ended again and again. Calculation completed, demon power calming method completed. Consume demon power to enhance the demon fire. The loss of demon power will not cause damage to the host. While consuming demon power to increase the power of the demon fire, it will also promote a certain degree of enhancement of the host's physique. Fu Damaro was stunned for a moment, does it still have such an effect? Enhance your physique? Good. This time the demon power calcining method is pretty good. However, this is only version 1.0 and can be updated later. The flames after that will surely intensify to an incredible level. With a wave of his hand, the flames spread and everything could be burned instantly. Thinking of that scene, Fudomaro couldn't help but get a little excited. However, the enhancement of demonic fire requires the support of powerful demonic power, so in the future, one must reasonably arrange the time for cultivating demonic power and refining demonic fire. And in this way, the speed of increasing your demonic power will also slow down a lot. However, it doesn't matter based on the age of the monster. The speed of increase in monster power is not slowed down. In fact, it is quite pervert. Advertisement. 
Chapter 7 The Treasure Sent to the Royal City Advertisement Mother wants you two to be my bodyguards. Fudomaru opened his big watery eyes and looked at the two very handsome dog demons in front of him. Are all the dog demons such handsome guys? Then you can feel relieved. Yes, His Highness Fudomaru. His subordinate's name is Genji. Hiseo. In the days to come, the two of us will be responsible for the safety of His Highness Fudomaru. The two dog demons looked at the dog demon Hokidomaru who was still in his juvenile form. Although they were calm on the surface, they were quite shocked inside. I didn't feel anything at first, but after getting close to Fudomaru, I could clearly feel the huge demonic power in Fudomaru's body. And there is a faint evil spirit emanating from it. If they remember correctly, Lady Lingyu Immortal Fairy gave birth to His Highness Fudomaru only a little over three years ago. At this age, he actually possesses the demonic power of a growing dog demon, and has almost reached the level of an adult dog demon. Is this the top bloodline of the dog demon clan? No, if it was purely because of blood, then His Highness Seshomaru did not have such pervert demonic power. I'm afraid it's just because of the special nature of His Highness Fudomaru. Okay, as my mother has arranged, you two just follow me. It doesn't matter what kind of guard Fudomaru is, since he is in the royal city all day long and he doesn't run around, so there's really no need for him. If there is danger in the royal city, then there may be no safe place in the western demon kingdom. Your Highness, where do you want to go next? Hokitomaru said casually, it's okay. Usually I just stay in the garden. You don't actually have to follow me. If you feel bored, you can just walk around. The two of them didn't reply, and still looked at Fidomaru calmly. It seemed that it was impossible for him to act alone without him. It doesn't matter, Fidomaru doesn't mind if they want to follow. Jumping all the way to the garden. Advertisement. Today, Fidomaru's demonic fire calming technique has been updated to 17 versions. Now it is version 17.0 of demon power calming method, and the version change is not just about improving efficiency. Fudomaru asked the great sage to simplify this technique as much as possible, so now Fudomaru can use the demon power to strengthen the demon fire while running the demon power training method. Although the efficiency has dropped a lot, switching between the two techniques is not bad. Arriving at the old place, Fudomaru started practicing as usual. When the red demon wind began to blow slowly around the rockery, Genji and Hiseo, the two dog demon guards, stood at the edge of the pond in confusion. What's this? The awakening of the demon power? The juvenile dog demon can awaken its demonic power. Feeling the demon power surging out of Fudomaru's body, it seems to be slowly increasing bit by bit. If this happens every day, then it won't be long before His Highness's demon power will catch up with the two guards. But what's even weirder is that the two of them were enveloped by Fudomaru's demonic wind, and they seemed to feel some changes in their demonic power. What's going on? They didn't quite understand, but they always felt that something was wrong. Today's training Fudomaru was as focused as ever. But soon the sound of drums suddenly came from the royal city. Immediately afterwards, a large group of monsters seemed to have entered the royal city, and seemed to be carrying something, heading towards the palace of Fairy Lingyu. When passing the road outside the garden, the voices of those monsters came. Lord Duya King, this time I defeated a big monster called Death Ghost God. The other monsters no longer dare to continue to be enemies with Lord Duya King. These are the treasures that Mr. Duya King obtained from the dead ghosts and gods, and they were specially transported back to Mr. Lingyu Immortal Fairy. I'm so envious. Lady Lingyu Immortal Fairy is really loved by Lord Duya King. Of course, Lady Lingyu Immortal Fairy is the dog demon princess. With that said, a group of monsters moved large and small boxes of things into Fairy Lingyu's palace. Advertisement. At this time, Fudomaru suddenly opened his eyes from the rockery. King Duya dotes on Immortal Fairy Lingyu? Hee <laughs> hee, Hokidomaru didn't think so. The Shinigami seemed to have some impression that he was the monster with the Mingda Zanjutsu breaking technique. Yeah, it's indeed quite strong. Having someone specially send something back to Fairy Lingyu, Fudomaru felt that this was not pampering his wife, but rather like he had done something to feel guilty about. So I want to make up for it in this way. If you really love her, why don't you come back and see Fairy Lingyu once the war is over? That's better than giving anything else? Fudomaru thought of this. A ball of demonic fire instantly rose under his feet, and he stepped on the flames and jumped directly from the rockery to the edge of the pond. Genji and Hiseo looked at the flash of demonic fire, and their eyes suddenly shrank. Although they didn't see it clearly, at that moment both of them felt the terrifying power contained in the flames. His Highness Fudomaru. Let's go and see Mother. Yes. When they arrived at Fairy Lingyu's palace, Fudomaru didn't even see Fairy Lingyu. I saw a group of monsters stuffing all the things that had just been brought in into the warehouse. Sure enough, Fairy Lingyu doesn't care about these so-called treasures at all. And these monsters who were moving things suddenly saw a cute little monster appear. Wearing red and white clothes, a fluffy tail, a demon pattern on his face and a crescent mark on his forehead. This is the symbol of the dog demon clan, especially the crescent mark, the mark of royal bloodline. Could this be the newly born second highness, his highness Fudomaru? So cute. Advertisement. I really want to touch that tail. A group of little monsters looked at Fudomaru curiously. Genji and Hiseo frowned. Step forward and look at these little monsters. What are you looking at? Do your thing. Being frightened by the two dog demons Genji and Hiseo, these little demons couldn't help but tremble. A succubus who looked like a fox in the form of a fox accidentally knocked over a treasure box in her hand. A necklace fell out of it. The moment he saw the necklace, Kodomaru felt as if some kind of power surged within him. What's this? What a strange thing. Great sage, analyzing. Analysis completed. Target item, Hades stone. Is this the underworld stone? Hokitomaru stepped forward and picked up the necklace. The moment I held it in my hand, I suddenly felt a surge of power deep in my soul. But it disappeared for a brief moment. What happened just now? Great sage, analyzing. The reason has not yet been identified. Please wait for a moment. It couldn't be parsed out immediately. I'm sorry, your highness. I deserved it. I deserved it. I almost destroyed the treasure. Hokitomaru came back to his senses and looked at the little monster kneeling on the ground. He waved his hand and said, It's okay. Keep busy with your work. Fudomaru looked at the Hado stone in his hand. This thing seemed a little weird, so he had to study it carefully. He turned around and ran directly towards Immortal Fairy Lingyu's palace. Advertisement. Chapter 8 The Power of the Underworld and the Soul Link are opened. Advertisement. Crunch. The door was opened by Yezii, and Fudomaru rushed directly into the backyard of Fairy Lingyu. Mom, there are a lot of things sent from outside. Why don't you go and take a look? They are all for you. After hearing this, Immortal Fairy Lingyu, who was still lying on the bench and waving her fan, didn't even raise her eyelids. 
<laughs> got it. After saying that, Immortal Fairy Ling Yu got up and reached out to pick up Fu Dumaro and put her in her arms. What is Little Fudo holding in his hand? Immortal Fairy Ling Yu took the Ming Dao stone and took a look at it. A complicated look flashed in her eyes, and she was very clear about the situation outside. What are you doing with this, Little Fudo? Hokutomaro smiled and said, Mom, I like this thing. Can you give it to me? Fu Dumaro must understand the strange reaction of the underworld stone before, and besides, this thing is not a simple thing. Something that can link with the underworld and open the passage to the underworld. This thing is no longer a simple treasure. Immortal Fairy Ling Yu glanced at Hudo, who had big watery eyes. It was hard not to overflow with motherly love on this expression. He nodded indifferently, and even personally helped Dumaro put on the underworld stone necklace. Give it to you, since my little Fudo likes it. Yeah, great. After being ravaged by Immortal Fairy Ling Yu, Fu Dumaro was liberated. After tidying up the messy hair on his tail, Gotumaru escaped from the palace. Return to the rockery. How is the Great Sage's analysis going? Great Sage, analysis completed. The analysis results are as follows. Underworld Stone, it has the power to open the passage to the underworld. Because it is linked to the underworld, it has the power of the underworld. The previous host appeared because the soul absorbed the power of the underworld, resulting in a slight enhancement of the soul. Advertisement. Can this thing strengthen your soul? Then why don't you feel anything now? Previously host only accidentally absorbed a force of underworld, which resulted in a weak enhancement of the soul. Was it just an accident before? Can the soul continue to absorb the power of the underworld? The underworld stone is connected to the underworld, and the power of the underworld is endless. If your soul can continuously absorb the power from the underworld stone to strengthen your soul. Although I don't know what the use of soul enhancement is, enhancement is better than no change. Great Sage, start performing calculations based on host requirements. Request to turn on thinking acceleration and apply to obtain host body control. Good. The next second, Hokutomaro opened his eyes, and there was no trace of emotion in his eyes. This was the state of the Great Sage controlling his body. In an instant, even the restless demon power in his body seemed to calm down. The demon power that calmed down seemed even more amazing. Genji and Hiseo raised their heads and looked at Fudomaro on the rockery again. What's going on with this cold feeling? The demonic energy without fluctuations is obviously nothing, but it makes people feel as if the temperature has dropped a few degrees. What the two of them felt was even weirder was that a black energy seemed to appear around Fudomaro. The moment this black energy appeared, they felt extremely horrified and weird. This power is completely different from demonic energy. It makes people feel as if their souls are beginning to tremble. The two of them looked at each other. Could it be that Fudomaro had awakened some strange ability again? No one can say what kind of abilities the monsters will awaken, but the Inuyu clan should not have any special powers? At this moment, it is from the perspective of Fudomaro himself. Looking at the light balls floating in the sky around him, these light balls are very small, but they are constantly being absorbed by him. What a strange feeling? Advertisement. Calculation completed? Successfully opening the underworld stone channel can continuously deliver the power of the underworld to the host. A complete soul channel has been established. The power of the underworld will only be transported into the host's soul and absorbed by the host's soul. Congratulations to host for obtaining the soul link of the power of the underworld. Detection of host soul enhancement, soul density increase, and release of unknown energy. Under analysis. Analysis completed? This energy, when condensed to a certain extent, can affect reality. Please explore the specific effects by the host, or collect more soul body data to analyze more information. Hokutomaru opened his eyes. He looked down at his hands. Increased soul density? Release some unknown energy? Can it be condensed to a certain extent to affect reality? This, couldn't this be the same power as Ryatsu in the Shinigami world? Analysis. 90% similarity. This theory is established. The theory is established. Does that mean it's really Ryatsu? Has he created a power system that is completely different from Inuyasha's world? Original? Great Sage, congratulations to host for creating the Ryatsu power system. Fudomaru stared blankly ahead, not coming back to his senses for a while. Does this create a new system? But the similarity is only 90%, so that's not necessarily true. Great Sage, if there is more information, further analysis can be carried out. Host can collect more soul bodies or continue to strengthen the soul for demonstration. In addition, this skill analysis will not go wrong. Please host believe me. Does this mean that it is basically correct? Advertisement. He lowered his head and looked at the necklace on his chest. Who would have thought of a necklace? To be precise, it was the underworld stone. But he allowed himself to directly create Shinigami's Riotsu power system? Is this the way to become a Shinigami in the future? It doesn't seem impossible. Is Shinigami weak? No, not only is he not weak, he is also ridiculously strong. Hokutomaru's eyes shone brightly. Regardless of whether it is a pioneer or not, as long as you can become stronger. Great Sage, can the soul link with the power of the underworld continue to improve? Great Sage, of course, due to the host's current soul quality problem, the soul link channel has not been fully opened. The current channel size is less than one ten thousandth. After the host's soul is enhanced, it can continue to expand the underworld channel to absorb more power from the underworld. Is this only one ten thousandth? And it seems that this soul link does not need to be controlled by oneself. Even when eating and sleeping, the soul is constantly absorbing the power of the underworld and getting strengthened. This plug-in is too powerful. Great Sage, after the host soul power becomes strong, it is necessary to strengthen the control of the unknown soul power, and it does not mean that it is completely ignored. You're talking about Ryatsu. Great Sage, naming was successful, the unknown soul power was officially renamed Ryatsu. Hokutomaru smiled silently. Ryatsu, this power that comes from the soul can indeed be felt a little now. It is not very strong yet, but after it becomes stronger, you still need to learn how to control this power. Just when Fudomaru was thinking about it, Ryatsu seemed to be beginning to stir under Hutamaru's consciousness. Although the current Ryatsu is not strong, a weak wave suddenly spreads. In an instant, cold sweat broke out on Genji and Hiseo's foreheads. He looked at Fudomaru in horror. What was that just now? A very eerie power suddenly seemed to erupt from His Highness Fudomaru. Advertisement. Chapter 9 The Infancy is finally over. Advertisement. Early morning, the sun climbed up from the mountainside, and the first ray of sunlight penetrated the thick fog, falling on the rockery. At this moment, in the sunlight, the swaying red flame slowly fell. 
The red light emitted by the flames illuminated the entire garden. Reflected red. The two dog demons Genji and Hiseo guarding here not far away, the demonic aura exuding from their bodies is now very tyrannical. Although it may not be as good as a real great monster, it is definitely considered an elite monster among monsters. Such strength cannot be easily ignored anywhere in Sengoku. After all, elite level monsters are already at the top of their combat capabilities without the appearance of the big monster. But these two dog demons are now staring at the flame floating in the distance in the distance with great respect. The flames suddenly spread, forming swaying fire lotuses that slowly fell to the ground. The flames clearly contained terrifying high temperatures, but they did not have any impact on the ground at all. An even more terrifying force enveloped the flames. Let the power of the flames not leak out at all. The power that can make such a terrifying flame unable to explode with any power is the real terror. Genji sighed softly, Your Highness Fudomaru's power is truly terrifying. My control over the demonic fire has improved a lot. Hiseo nodded in response. The flame suddenly went out. Fudomaru landed on the rockery. Feeling the performance of controlling the spiritual power to suppress the flame just now, he nodded with great satisfaction. Two years? Now not only has the demonic power increased to an incredible level, Ryatsu has also completely surpassed the demonic power? Advertisement. In the past two years, Fudomaru's soul link with the power of the underworld has expanded a total of 78 times. Now the quality of Hokutomaru's soul has become very strange, and even the great sage analyzed it and concluded that the soul even has strength that surpasses the body. If Ryatsu were released now, I'm afraid some of the little demons would instantly pass out. This is only two years, and the enhancement of demonic power has still not fallen behind, although it takes a lot of demonic power to increase the demonic fire. As a result, the increase in Hokutomaru's demonic power slowed down a lot. But now Fudomaru has reached the level of an elite monster. The higher level is the quasi-demon level. To reach this level, Fudomaru only needs to stop strengthening the demon fire. It will take about a year or so to reach it. But the demon fire will not stop now. In the past two years, the demon fire has continued to strengthen and new changes have occurred. At first, it was just the flames that contained terrifying, destructive power. But now Hutomaru's demon fire seems to be affected by Ryatsu, and it can actually ignite the soul. That's something special. For this reason, Fudomaru also asked the great sage to calculate the spiritual power fire method. Now the demonic power and spiritual power increase the demonic fire at the same time. This flame also seems to be evolving in a strange direction. In the past two years, Fudomaru has not only achieved these gains. In terms of physical fitness, one side is the natural growth and development, and the other side is the improvement brought about by cultivating demon power. Although it is not at the level of invulnerability, it is definitely made of steel and iron. Even an adult dog demon's physique is not as good as Fudomaru's. Moreover, Fudomaru also develops some tricks in his spare time. But I didn't spend much energy on this. His Highness Fudomaru. Behind him, Yako came up and looked at Hutomaru who was stretching his muscles. Fudomaru turned around and looked at Yako, who was bowing and smiling at him. Advertisement. What satisfied Fudomaru the most in the past two years was that he had finally grown taller. He is no longer the kid who couldn't even reach his knees. Now, I have finally grown taller, and I have escaped the so-called infancy of the dog demon, and I no longer have to face the Lingyu fairy in embarrassment. What's wrong? My lady Lingyu immortal lady, let you go. Fudomaru said and nodded. Arrive at the palace of immortal fairy Lingyu. There were many little monsters standing at the door. Fudomaru strode in, and all the little demons along the way lowered their heads consciously. They didn't even dare to look at Fudomaru. In this royal city, these little demons have gradually learned about a terrible thing over the years. That is King Tuga's second son. His Highness Fudomaru is a true monster. He clearly awakened his demonic power at an early age, and his demonic power increased at a terrifying rate. Now that Hutomaru just walked in front of them, they felt like an invisible pressure, making them lower their heads and their bodies felt a little heavier. With such a terrifying momentum, the little demons have no idea what is going on. All I can say is that he is worthy of being the child who has inherited the bloodline of King Duya. However, this is actually the effect of Hokutomaru Ryatsu. Today's Ryatsu Hokutomaru is no longer able to completely converge and will more or less spread out. There is nothing that can be done to cause this phenomenon. But it doesn't matter anyway, even monsters of my mother's level regard this as the influence of their own monster power. These little demons are even more unable to detect anything. Enter the palace. Immortal fairy Ling Yu waved towards Fudomaru. Tonight, little Fudo is out of infancy and has entered the growth stage of a dog demon. My little Fudo is finally five years old. Immortal fairy Ling Yu said and kissed Fudomaru gently on the forehead. Advertisement. Fudomaru felt a little weird. What is this doing? Even if you have entered the growth stage, there is no need to call yourself here to say these words. It's not a happy birthday for monsters, and my birthday is not today. Does mother have something to say? Hearing this, immortal fairy Ling Yu smiled and said, You kid, are you so sharp? He leaned back slightly. Your father has come back and he wants to see you. King Duya is back? Didn't notice it at all. Fudomaru was a little surprised. Has his legendary father finally come back? Does he still remember having a son like him? Fudomaru raised his head and looked at Ling Yu Immortal Fairy. Why isn't father here? Now that he's back, why don't he come back to see his wife who has taken care of his home for so many years? Just go and see him, don't ask any more questions. As he spoke, he waved his hand as if he was actually driving away Hokutomaru. This made Fudomaru feel that something was wrong even more, but King Tuga, the source of everything in Inuyasha's world, really wanted to see him, not to mention that he was his own cheap father. Wait until Fudomaru leaves. The smile on Immortal Fairy Ling Yu's face was completely gone, and there was even a cold glint in her eyes. On the other hand, Fudomaru left the palace and walked outside. Fudomaru rarely went out in the past few years. There was nothing interesting in this royal city, it was just monsters. Led by several monsters, Fudomaru came to another palace. I don't know what King Duya actually looks like. Advertisement. Chapter 10 One of the most powerful monsters in Sengoku, King Tuga. Advertisement. When the door slowly opened, Hokutomaru looked at the darkness, where a man wearing armor was sitting in the center of the palace. Thinking about it, this person should be his father? The strongest monster in the western demon kingdom, the dog demon admiral is the Duya king? 
Even from a distance of tens of meters, one can feel the strong demonic energy that naturally erupts from the powerful demonic power on the opponent's body. Not far from him, there was another figure sitting, although the demon power was not as tyrannical as King Duya, but it's impossible to ignore. There was a sense of indifference. This is Sesomaru. My own brother? Futomaru walked in slowly. The two of them immediately locked their eyes on Hutamaru. The first moment he looked at Futomaru, Sesomaru, who had always been calm and indifferent, began to show subtle changes in his expression. First there was surprise, then a faint smile. Fudomaru was a genuine monster, a pure blood, so it was naturally impossible for Seshomaru to hate Fudomaru as much as he hated Inuyasha. Moreover, at his current age, Hokutomaru is indeed still young and cute. Even Seshomaru couldn't feel any feelings of rejection or dislike towards his younger brother whom he met for the first time. King Daugo was very shocked, because he could clearly feel the demon power contained in Fudomaru's body. At this age, do you actually already possess this level of demonic power? This child's talent is indeed terrifying, even Seshomaru may not be able to compare with him. A smile gradually appeared on King Duya's calm face. Advertisement. He is worthy of being my son, King Duya. With such talent, he will definitely surpass me in the future. He has just entered the growth stage and already has the power to rival elite monsters? Ha ha ha. King Daugo was still very happy, but Fudomaru just looked at King Daugo up and down, and then turned to look at Seshomaru. He is your brother. His name is Seshomaru. Looking at Seshomaru, Fudomaru slowly lowered his head, brother. Turning to look at King Duya, father. Seeing the misfortune, Dumaru was neither humble nor overbearing, very polite, and not naughty at all. Seshomaru's original dislike for children seemed to be completely absent from his younger brother. Um, very good, he is very satisfied with the little brother his mother gave birth to. However, Fudomaru's performance made King Toya frown. This child didn't seem happy to see him, but was very calm. King Daga originally thought that the child Fudomaru would happily rush towards him when he saw him. But I didn't expect that Fudomaru was only five years old, but he looked like a little adult. Kudomaru, my father has been busy dealing with enemies outside these years, so he cannot come back to protect you. Don't blame your father. Hearing this, Fudomaru curled his lips, who are you trying to scare with this excuse? Do you really think you are a five-year-old kid that is so easy to fool? Forget it, it doesn't matter. No, Fudomaru knows that father is very busy. Seeing that Fudomaru still looked calm, King Doya thought he could use this to make Fudomaru eliminate his complaints against him, but it seems that Fudomaru doesn't like this. King Daga could only smile, and then waved for Fudomaru to come over. There was no choice but to get closer to Fudomaru. Taking advantage of the situation, Akoko picked up Fudomaru and placed it on his lap. Advertisement. My father came back this time just to take you out. Do you want to go out with your father to see the outside world? Father has not taken care of you these years. You should stay with me in the future. However, after King Tuga finished speaking, the smile he was expecting did not appear. Instead, he remained calm, and even Hokutomaru's eyes became much sharper. Isn't father going to stay in the royal city for a while? Won't he accompany mother? Speaking of fairy lingyo, King Duya's eyes also showed subtle changes. There are still many things going on outside, and I don't have time to spend with your mother. The reason why I rushed back is because of you, Fudomaru. You have entered the growth stage and don't need to stay in your mother's infancy. Let's go with father. Good guy, Fudomaru now feels even more that King Tuga is nothing. I haven't seen anyone for so many years, and I finally came back once without even seeing him face to face. Does father hate mother very much? Hearing this, King Duya's expression suddenly changed. Who told you this? I guessed it myself, otherwise why didn't father go see mother? When he said this, Fudomaru had already jumped off King Toy's body, looked at him very calmly. Seeing the misfortune, Tamaro looked serious, but he was just a brat. King Duya didn't want to say this originally, but looking at Fudomaru's appearance, he already had a deep relationship with Ling Yu Fairy, and there was no way he could take Fudomaru away casually. Your mother violated the principles of being a monster and swallowed other monsters in order to become stronger. As the king of the West Demon Kingdom, my father will never accept your mother's actions, so my father doesn't want to see your mother now. Just because of this kind of thing, Fudomaru was stunned. He didn't expect that King Doya would hate immortal fairy Ling Yu because of such a thing, although there is something about swallowing the same kind of thing. But doesn't King Duya care about the reason? During that time, I needed breast milk to strengthen my demonic power. Advertisement. That's why fairy Ling Yu knows it. But even if he doesn't talk about this kind of thing, King Duya should still investigate it himself. Doesn't he know? Now that you have entered adulthood, you no longer need your mother's care. I will let your mother live in another place. There will be no one in the royal city soon, so I will take care of you in the future, Fudo. King Duya looked at his gifted child with a smile. Still very satisfied. If you train him well, he will definitely become a good monster that protects humans in the future. However, he raised his hand to touch Hokutomaru's head. But Fudomaru suddenly took half a step back. Looking at King Duya with determination, I will not stay with my father, I will stay with my mother. Hearing what Fudomaru said, King Duya suddenly thought of Ling Yu fairy devouring monsters, and his eyes suddenly focused. Your mother is not suitable to teach you. She can raise you, but now you are no longer a child, so you must follow me. No, Fudomaru said decisively. My father is King Duya, the king of the entire western demon kingdom. He doesn't have much time to take care of me. Immortal fairy Ling Yu will be driven out of the royal city as soon as she comes back, and she will be asked to live somewhere else. This is just a disguised expulsion? Fudomaru would not let fairy Ling Yu be forced to leave the royal city alone. Kudomaru, do you want to disobey father's order? Seshomaru admires King Tuga quite a bit. If not following father is disobeying an order, then I will definitely not obey this order. How dare you, even if you are your father's son, do you know what the consequences will be if you disobey orders? Hokutomaru sneered, I will take whatever consequences there are. I will not abandon my mother like you. Advertisement. Chapter 11 The Trembling Young Master. Advertisement. I don't understand why my younger brother, who has just entered the growth stage, dares to say such things. Hasn't he heard about his father? His father is one of the most powerful demons, and this younger brother actually gave up following his father for the sake of his mother. Madness? This is Seshomaru's current impression of Fudomaru. Although he takes his age into consideration, he is indeed very stupid. 
Hmph, it's useless if you don't agree. You have no right to disobey father's orders. Why are you ordering me, just because of my father's status? If I remember correctly, my father has never taken care of me for even a day. Hokitomaru's gaze remained firm and unwavering. But after hearing what Fidomaru said, King Toya looked a little embarrassed. After all, Fidomaru was right. From birth to now, he has not taken care of Fidomaru for even one day. King Tuga just wanted to say something, but Seshomaru couldn't bear it anymore. He was so disrespectful to his father that he dared to speak sarcastically against his father. Shut up, are you able to ridicule your father? Let me teach you what attitude you should have towards your father. Saying that, Seshomaru raised his hand and directly swung out a wave of demonic power, heading directly towards Fidomaru's direction. Unexpectedly, Seshomaru would actually take action, but King Tuga did not stop him, because Seshomaru's demonic power was not very strong, and it would only cause Fidomaru a little pain. Moreover, King Dauga really didn't like it when Fidomaru spoke to him in such a tone. Snort. However, the next second, the demonic power swept in front of Fidomaru, and Fidomaru snorted softly. Suddenly, the demonic power suddenly burst out from his body, instantly filling the entire room. Advertisement. The weak demon power released by Seshomaru dissipated directly with a cold snort. The demonic power was released and turned into a red demonic aura that filled the hall. A slowly rotating Uzumaki formed around Hokitomaru. There was even some Ryatsu in Hokitomaru, and the oppressive feeling brought by Ryatsu's power made Tuga King confused. My own son who has just turned five years old, the demonic power released can actually bring him a sense of oppression? Although it wasn't very strong, he could clearly feel that his body seemed to be heavier. Compared to King Tuga, Seshomaru was even more shocked. A kid who had just left his mother's infancy could have such magical powers. It even feels like it's not much different from myself. How is this possible? Seshomaru's heart was now filled with huge waves and he could not calm down at all. Brother, are you going to teach me a lesson for my father? If it's just this level, brother is not qualified to teach me a lesson. Turning to look at King Duya, I'm afraid my father will have to do it himself. King Dauga never expected that Fudomaru would dare to challenge him. This boy, aren't you very courageous? This actually made King Duya appreciate it. But unfortunately, my second son seems to like his mother more than his father. But it doesn't matter. I think it's because I spend a lot of time with my mother. I haven't gotten along with my father very much. I can spend more time with my second son in the future, and I should be able to make up for it soon. After all, he was just a child, and King Dauga didn't think Fudomaru would remember him for long. While King Tugo was thinking about this, Seshomaru's eyes were filled with cold light. Advertisement. As a noble dog demon clan, and he is also the eldest brother of the other party, a younger brother actually doesn't take him seriously and dares to challenge his father. The next second Seshomaru took action instantly. This time I was really angry. Demonic power emerges. A whip of light formed directly and he raised his hand and struck directly in the direction of Fidomaru. This time King Tuga did not expect that Seshomaru would be angered. Seshomaru, live. Before he finished speaking, Hokidomaru's eyes also glowed with coldness. The demonic energy scattered around instantly gathered, forming a red light that covered Fidomaru's body. The light whip struck, but was blocked by Fidomaru's demonic barrier. It didn't hurt Fidomaru at all. Blocked? King Dauga was stunned for a moment. Not to mention releasing the demonic power, could Fidomaru be able to control the demonic energy at this age? What kind of monster is this kid? It has just entered the growth stage from its infancy. How is it possible to control demonic energy? Moreover, looking at Fidomaru's operation of instantly covering his whole body with demonic energy to form a defense, this is not so easy to do. Seshomaru's face was now even more gloomy, and he didn't expect that Fidomaru actually blocked it. This time he took action seriously. The light whip formed by condensing his own monster energy would cause ordinary monsters to fall apart when it touched it. And his younger brother, who had just emerged from childhood, was able to block it with ease. Since brother has already taken action, let's compete. The next second, Fidomaru raised his hand and followed suit. The demon energy instantly gathered at his fingertips to form a crimson light whip. As Fidomaru waved his arm, the red light whip struck Seshomaru. Seshomaru waved the light whip again with his backhand. Advertisement. Two rays of red and yellow light collided in the air, and the roar of the collision of demonic energy came to mind. Many monsters rushed in instantly outside the hall. However, when they saw Seshomaru and Fidomaru fighting in the palace, the monsters were stunned. What are your two highnesses doing? Discuss? You are indeed very good. You can control demonic energy freely at this age, but even so, you must have enough respect for your father. As he spoke, Seshomaru increased the frequency of waving the light whip again. However, Fidomaru was very speechless. It seemed that although Seshomaru's demon power was slightly stronger than his own, his ability to control demon energy was the same. Fidomaru, who was silent, decided to let Seshomaru see what it means to control demonic energy. The moment Seshomaru's light whip accelerated, five six paths red light whips floated around Hokitomaru. At this moment, Seshomaru was stunned. This boy. The next second, Hokitomaru waved his light whip and flew quickly towards the pillars in the hall, as the red light flashed. The light whips wrapped around the pillars and turned towards Seshomaru's direction. In almost the blink of an eye, the light in Seshomaru's hand dissipated, and the demonic energy condensed into the light whip was dispersed. At the same time, the red light condensed on Seshomaru's body by Fudomaru's demonic energy quickly wrapped around Seshomaru, pulling him up from the ground. Wrapped directly into a rice dumpling, unable to move. All this happened too suddenly, and the monsters who broke into the palace seemed to be frozen. They seemed to have seen some incredible scene. The trembling noble son, Seshomaru, inherited the excellent talents and bloodline of his father, King Tuga. Even at a mere 150 years old, equivalent to 13 or 4 years old in humans, he was already on PAR with some elite level yukai. However, His Highness Seshomaru was instantly trapped by another His Highness, who seemed to have just emerged from his childhood. This, this, this isn't true. Advertisement. Chapter 12 Exile in the Clouds for 8,000 Years. Advertisement. Seshomaru's mind was now blank. His demonic energy was defeated by his younger brother. 
The latter can even rely on his incredible control over the demonic energy to trap himself in an instant. How can this be? He must be over 140 years older than the other person. His bloodline, talent, and strength have always been his pride, but today he can't even compare to a younger brother who was born more than a hundred years later? This is impossible. Boom, the demonic energy was raging, and Seshomaru was fully energetic and broke free from his restraints in an instant. Seshomaru landed on the ground, bursting out with astonishing speed in an instant, and rushed directly towards Fudomaru. This time, he no longer regards Fudomaru as a younger brother, but as an enemy who must be defeated. Otherwise, his pride and self-esteem will cease to exist. Poisonous Flower Claw Seshomaru's five fingers instantly became extremely sharp, and at the same time a green light appeared, and a terrifying poisonous gas even floated in the air. Dauga Akoka, who had been sitting on the throne without making any movement, stood up. Did Seshomaru want to kill Fudomaru? If such an attack hits Hokidomaru, the consequences will be disastrous. Boom! Suddenly a flame emerged, and the accompanying demon fire instantly ignited in Hokidomaru's hand. The moment the flames emerged, the entire hall was illuminated by a strange red light, and the temperature in the hall began to rise rapidly. What a terrible flame! This temperature! This is the innate ability of his second son, Demon Fire? Advertisement! It was so terrifying, and what was even more terrifying was that at this age, Fudomaru was able to master this power. Talent is talent, whether it can be mastered is another matter. At this age, Fudomaru is able to display his natural abilities, and he seems to be able to control them very freely. The flames were on Godomaru's hand, but they didn't seem to hurt him at all. Suddenly a flame broke out, a small cluster of flames suddenly expanded, and seemed to ignite the entire right arm of Hokidomaru. Fire Punch The flames that swelled crazily on the arm instantly flowed towards the fist-like water. Then it exploded instantly, and as soon as the flames left Hotamaru's body, they began to show their true power. A crazy explosion, almost in the blink of an eye, formed a terrifying flame shock wave 5 to 6 meters wide. The moment Seshomaru's poison flower claw touched the flames, the poisonous gas and demon power on the claws were directly destroyed by the flames. The next second he was directly swallowed by the flames. The power of the flames was so astonishing that it instantly destroyed the pillars held by the three people in the hall, and then the momentum continued unabated. Directly penetrate the entire wall on one side of the hall. Boom buzz buzz, flames erupted directly from the hall. The flames soaring into the sky lit up the entire royal city. The monsters who came to the hall were completely stunned. Who would have thought? This little highness, who is not as thick as his own thigh, suddenly releases a flame, which has this level of power. If this flame fell on their heads, they would be burned to the point of being burned to the ground. However, after the flames swept through, the remaining flames were still burning crazily. If this momentum continued, not to mention the entire palace, even the entire royal city would be ignited. But at this time, a tyrannical demonic energy swept across the entire place. Directly extinguished the still burning flame in an instant. Advertisement. Suddenly appear and suddenly disappear. All the monsters looked towards King Doya on the throne. It was King Doya who took action just now. Hokitomaru glanced at the extinguished flames on his hand. Such a powerful demon power, is this the true level of a great demon? In an instant, the demonic energy alone extinguished his own flame? On the side of the hall, Seshomaru, whose upper body clothes were burned by the flames, slowly lowered his arms. The golden light on his body became very dim at the moment. At that moment, he chose to avoid it, but even so, he was still affected. However, even if he resisted with all his strength, he was still embarrassed. Most of the demon power was consumed in an instant. So much so that Seshomaru now has many burns on his body, and there is no way to recover them in time with demonic power? Evildoer, this younger brother of his is a complete monster. That flame, if it were hit from the front, I'm afraid it would really kill me. King Dauga's expression changed a bit. He didn't expect that the flames would hurt Seshomaru so badly. He has just emerged from his infancy and has power beyond Seshomaru. Ling Yu gave birth to a son who looked like a monster, but this son is not close to his father. King Duya was a little frustrated. He didn't expect his second son to be so outstanding at first. He glanced at the other monsters who broke into the hall and said, You all get out. You are not allowed to come in without my summons. No one dared to disobey King Duya's order, so they all retreated. King Dauga looked at Fudomaru with a complicated expression. Kudomaru, you have a better talent than your brother. Advertisement. Father has not come to see you a few times because he has many things to do, but don't worry, he will spend more time with you in the future, and at the same time, he will teach you carefully so that you can become an even better demon than your father. With such an outstanding talent, Fudomaru is like a monster to Yukai. If left unchecked, it may turn into a disaster in the future. Especially for humans, it would be a terrible disaster. No, no need. Since my father didn't care before, there's no need to care now. My mother and I are living a good life. The main reason why King Duya has not returned to the royal city these years is not because he is too busy dealing with other monsters. It's because of the human princess's AI. It doesn't matter if she has more wives in this era, but you can't forget your old love when you have a new love. For the sake of a concubine, I ignored a real wife who had just given birth to a child. Isn't this the best of scumbags? Even in the Sengoku era, he would have been despised. Seeing the misfortune, Dumaru still seemed to be estranged from him. King Duya also felt a little uncomfortable. Ling Yu, a woman who violated the rules of the monster clan and swallowed monsters of the same kind, actually made her gifted son so concerned. Is this some kind of ecstasy soup? Kudomaru, do you really have to be with your mother? Hearing this, Fudomaru nodded without hesitation. Then listen carefully, your mother, because she violated the rules of the dog demon clan and devoured monsters to increase her demon power, she will be exiled to the palace in the clouds for a thousand years. Do you want to stay in that place forever? For a child, nothing is more painful than restricting his freedom? I believe that Fudomaru is no exception. Hehe. He. Fudomaru didn't expect that even now, King Doya still didn't intend to understand why Lingyu Immortal Princess, as a noble dog demon, had to do things that only low-level or even inferior monsters could do. Maybe swallowing the same kind does mean you will be spurned, but it doesn't matter if you are spurned by other monsters. King Doya doesn't have this qualification. Then, I will stay with my mother for a thousand years. Father can dislike mother, but I have no right to dislike mother. Advertisement. Chapter 13 Taking Back Immortal Fairy Lingyu's Freedom. Advertisement. Outside the royal city, Fairy Lingyu was boarding a carriage under the escort of a group of dog demons. At this time, Fairy Lingyu was still looking at something in the royal city. In the end, I could only sigh helplessly and prepare to get in the car. 
As a princess of the dog demon clan, her level of nobility cannot be compared to that of lowly ordinary monsters. Devouring monsters to increase monster power is not allowed. Increasing monster power in this way is not only useless but harmful, and will contaminate the evil spirits of other monsters. In the end, the evil spirit took over his mind and became a real monster. At the same time, this will make the blood of the dog demon clan impure, so it is expressly prohibited. So this time Fairy Lingyu suffered the most serious punishment from the dog demon clan. Exile in the clouds for a thousand years. However, when immortal Fairy Lingyu got on the car, the next second there was a sudden tremor in the royal city. The sky-high firelight illuminated the entire royal city. When she looked back through the window and saw the light of fire, immortal Fairy Lingyu had a smile on her face. This is her son, who has a terrifying talent that has never been seen in the history of the dog demon clan. This flame will one day light up the world, and a new generation of great demons will be born. King Daoga hopes you can teach Fu tomorrow well, let's go. Immortal Fairy Ling Yu said, urging the monster driving the car. However, after waiting for a while, I found that the car did not move. Immortal Fairy Ling Yu was stunned for a moment. Why aren't you leaving yet? As he finished speaking, the firelight shone through the window. This flame of fire was all too familiar to Immortal Fairy Ling Yu. She had watched Fudomara secretly control this flame countless times over the years. Advertisement. Practice controlling the flames. Immortal Fairy Ling Yu was very proud of her son who was extremely talented and worked hard to make progress. But seeing this fire at this moment, Immortal Fairy Ling Yu's expression began to change rapidly and she lifted the curtain. Outside the car, Fudomaru's whole body was burning with flames, slowly falling from the sky. Mother, I'll accompany you. Immortal Fairy Ling Yu looked at Fudomaru blankly. At this time, Fudomaru should be in the arms of King Doya, enjoying the long-lost father's love. Why do you appear here and say such things? Xiao Fudu, your father. Compared to my father, I want to be with my mother more. After saying that, Fudomaru also got into the car. Let's go, no matter where I go, I will never abandon my mother. Immortal Fairy Ling Yu wanted to ask in detail, but when she saw the look in Fu Dumaro's eyes, it was a look that was not reserved for a brat of this age, and it was very firm. I think Fu Dumaro also made his own choice. In the royal city, King Duya looked at the empty hall. At the same time, Seshomaru said nothing. I didn't expect that Fu Dumaro would leave so decisively without any hesitation. It's hard to imagine that this is a child who has just turned five and has left the early childhood stage. Looking at the destroyed wall, the flames of the five-year-old Hokudomaru's talent are so terrifying, and I'm afraid it will be even more terrifying in the future, but no matter how terrible it is, it doesn't matter. After wandering for a thousand years, no matter how powerful your talent is, being trapped for a thousand years will have no effect at all. It's a pity, Fudomaru's talent? King Dauga stood up slowly and looked at Seshomaru who seemed to have not recovered yet. Advertisement. What? Were you hit? Seshomaru raised his head and looked at his father. His pride was indeed shattered now. Fudomaru's talent is indeed very strong, but you are no worse than him. You have the same bloodline and the same nobility. Are you so convinced that you will always be inferior to your brother? Hearing this, Seshomaru suddenly clenched his fists. It seemed to rekindle Seshomaru's fighting spirit, and that was enough. Doya walked towards the outside of the palace. Now that Fudomaru decided to follow Immortal Lingyu, there was no need to continue to stay in this royal city. Izeo is still waiting for him? Immortal Fairy Lingyu was exiled to the Cloud Palace for a thousand years. This matter had been decided by the Inyeo clan for a long time, but it had not been implemented because of Fujiomaru. Now that Hokutomaru has left his childhood stage, it is normal to execute it at this time. However, the battle between Fudomaru and Seshomaru surprised the entire Inyo clan. A kid who had just left childhood was as strong as his brother who was more than 140 years older than him. This kind of talent is so terrifying, the dog demon clan has never had it before. But what's even more surprising is that this kid with the gift of decision making actually chose to accompany his mother in exile. This, ending is a bit difficult for the dog demon clan to accept. The fairy palace in the clouds. Fudomaru didn't expect that this kind of place would be used as a place of exile. But although the scenery was nice, there was nothing but clouds. It seems that this is where Fairy Ling Yu lives in the original work. So why was she exiled here in the original novel? Standing at the gate of Asgard, Genji and Hiseo looked at Fudomaru, Fudomaru Palace. Young master, have you really decided to enter the Immortal Palace? Once you enter, you will completely lose your freedom. Advertisement. Genji hopes that Fudomaru can reconsider. After all, a thousand years is equivalent to the death penalty. Although the dog demon's lifespan is not short, it will be almost the same after a thousand years. Lost your freedom. Hokutomaru frowned, is there no way to get out after you go in? Of course, no, it's not completely impossible, but this method is simply impossible. I didn't expect that there would be a solution just by asking casually. How can we get out of here? If the elders of the dog demon clan can relent, then there won't be any chance of getting out. An elder of the dog demon clan? Fudomaru was stunned for a moment. Are there such people in the Inyeo clan? No, since they are called the dog demon clan, they naturally have clansmen, and there must be many clansmen. Ganja's demon wolf clan has quite a few clansmen. How could the dog demon clan not have any clansmen? How can I get the approval of the elders? Hiseo glanced at Fudomaru, if you become the leader of the Inyeo clan, you will naturally be recognized. Genji shook his head, it's impossible. Even Lord Duya King can't become the leader of the dog demon clan. Is it difficult to become a clan leader? Disaster? Genji and Hiseo looked at each other, what do you say, Master Fudomaru? The difficulty is too great. You have to defeat the seven fangs of the Inu before you can become the clan leader. And these seven are all dog demons at the level of great demons. Genji said as he glanced at Fujimaru cautiously, his highness Fudomaru's father, King Toya, is one of the seven fangs of the dog. The seven fangs of the dog, this is the first time I have heard of it. But it looks like it should be some kind of title, a title that needs to meet certain requirements before it can be inherited. King Duya is one of them. In other words, the strength of the other six will probably not be much worse than King Duya. It is indeed not that difficult to defeat Kiya, but it doesn't matter. 
Just have a way. Since my mother's freedom has been taken away, it's up to me to take it back. Advertisement. Chapter 14 Changes from Infancy to Growth. Advertisement. A warm hand suddenly placed on Hutamura's head. Immortal Fairy Ling Yu just heard Fu Damara's heroic words. With a happy smile on her face. My mother is very happy that Xiao Huida has this heart, but it's too early for you to challenge the seven fangs of the dog. And it doesn't matter if I can't live without you here. It's not bad here. I like it very much. Immortal Fairy Ling Yu said as she picked up Fuduan and walked towards the Immortal Palace. Although with her temperament, Fairy Ling Yu would not care too much about any place. On the contrary, Fairy Ling Yu would like it very much in a quiet place like the Immortal Palace. But this is different. Fairy Ling Yu can take the initiative not to leave here, but she cannot be trapped here. Although these monsters guarding the Immortal Palace, they actually cannot stop Immortal Fairy Ling Yu. But without the permission of the Dog Demon Clan, Ling Yu Immortal Fairy's pride would not let her leave this place voluntarily. If King Duya supports Immortal Fairy Ling Yu, she may not be exiled for a thousand years. At most, it's just a matter of meaning. It's a pity that King Tuga didn't do this at all, because his heart was probably focused on the human princess's AI. Don't worry, mother, soon you will be able to come in and out of here at will, and you won't be trapped for any reason. After hearing Fu Dumara's words, Immortal Fairy Ling Yu was very pleased. But it's not realistic. However, she couldn't bear to undermine her son's confidence, so she could only smile and nodded. Fudomaru dared to say this, and he didn't just say it casually. But there is really a way. Previously, because it was still in its infancy, after the demon power cultivation method was updated to the 100th version, it could no longer be updated. Now he has entered the growth stage and his body has further developed. Having confirmed it with the great sage, we can continue to improve the demon power cultivation method and speed up the growth of demon power. Advertisement. At the same time, the underworld passage in the body can also expand again. And it's a massive expansion. My own Ryatsu is also about to experience a surge. After settling down in Cloud Celestial Palace, Fudoma regarded his pond. The space here is much wider than the royal city. Although there are no plants in the empty square, the pond is much larger. And now he also has an independent house, which is more spacious than King Duya's palace. Whatever you say, there will be an answer. Fudomaru grabbed a handful of bait and threw it into the pond. Carp of all sizes flew out of the water with demonic auras floating on their bodies, vying for food. These carps are almost turning into monsters. It's so strange. After only a few years of raising it, it almost turned from an ordinary carp into a monster. Behind him, is a set in surprise. Fudomaru also knew that part of the natural energy gathered by his own demonic cultivation was absorbed by these carp. But the effect is really good. You can use this to cultivate an army of monsters in the future? Fudomaru turned around and looked at the two dog demons Genji and Hiseo. Aren't you going to leave? Both guys are elite level monsters. He has been exiled with Fairy Lingyu for a thousand years, do they want to stay too? However, Genji and Hiseo had no intention of leaving at all. He half knelt in front of Fudomaru. We will always follow Master Fudomaru. Now that he is an exiled person, Fudomaru is naturally not His Highness the Western Demon Kingdom. He can only be addressed as Master. I didn't expect these two guys to be quite loyal. Advertisement. That's right, dogs are very loyal to begin with. In this case, maybe we can teach them how to cultivate demon power in the future? Very good. I have received your loyalty, and I will not treat you badly. You will all become great demons in the future. Even more terrifying than the great demon. Genji and Hiseo smiled. They didn't know whether what Fudomaru said was true or not, but their demonic power grew too fast when they were by Fudomaru's side. Two or three times faster than his peers, I don't know why. And they also believe that Hotamaru will leave Immortal Palace one day. Okay, let's go. The three of them retreated. Genji and Hiseo did not leave too far, but stayed dozens of meters away. As a bodyguard, Hokutomaru's safety comes first. Fudomaru came to the edge of the square and looked down at the sky 10,000 meters high. If it falls, I'm afraid it will be shattered to pieces. Fudomaru sat down directly and started practicing. Since he wanted to regain the freedom of Fairy Lingyu as soon as possible, he had to hurry up. Great Sage, let's start calculating. It's time to continue updating the Demon Power Cultivation Method. Calculation begins, start thinking acceleration. Thinking about accelerating the current host limit, 120 times. From the childhood stage to the growth stage, it has doubled so many times. Good. Normal state host can withstand 20 times thinking acceleration. Unexpectedly, the previous limit was only 20 times. Now, even if the thinking acceleration is turned on anytime and anywhere, it can directly withstand 20 times the thinking acceleration. The changes in the monster's physique as they grow are indeed amazing. Now I seem to be able to understand why the monsters had that ghostly expression when they saw Seshomaru being defeated by him. Age not only means size, but also means strength in the case of monsters. Advertisement. Request to gain control of host's body. The calculation officially begins. The calculation of the demon power cultivation method this time went very smoothly. In two years, the great sage had already collected a lot of data. It's just that due to Fudomaru's physical condition, there is no way to perform calculations. Now that your physical fitness has met the requirements and the theory has been established, you can just put it into practice. Sudden, the clouds began to change, forming a Nizumaki. Genji and Hiseo, who were guarding in the distance, were suddenly startled. Such, such a strong demonic wind. Is this Master Fudomaru's? That's awesome. What is Master Fudomaru trying to do with such a powerful demonic wind this time? At this moment, Fudomaru was immersed in crazy absorption. Cloud Immortal Palace, perhaps for the Dog Demon Clan, this is a place of exile, a place that is empty except for the sky and there is nothing in the clouds. But for Fudomaru, this is a real wonderland, because the natural energy here is too rich. I don't know, it's dozens of times better than the original royal city. Even these natural energies seem to contain the power of flames, which are constantly being swallowed up by the demonic fire. It's like, it's like the energy of the sun is being absorbed and devoured by Hokutomaru. The speed of growth of demonic power has increased tenfold compared to before. This speed even shocked Fudomaru. At the same time, the strange situation of the demon fire also made Fudomaru begin to mobilize the demon power to strengthen the demon fire. And this time, a trace of the flame energy from the sun in the natural energy seemed to have found a place to vent. It poured into Fudomaru's body crazily, and then merged with the demon fire. It was quickly absorbed by Fudomaru's demonic fire. Fudomaru was shocked. How could he be like this? Advertisement. Chapter 15 The Flaws of the Dog Demon Clan. Advertisement. 
When he opened his eyes, the sun in front of Hokidomaru's eyes had disappeared. It was replaced by the moon, but for some reason at this moment, Hokidomaru felt an energy completely different from the flames of the sun from the moonlight. But now is not the time to study this. It was this day's practice that surprised Fudomaru. The demon power cultivation method that has been deduced has been completely transformed. Now it should be called an advanced version, which is completely different from the original situation. The speed of increasing demonic power has been increased by ten times, which is ten times higher than the original level. That's almost equal to an enhancement visible to the naked eye. The great sage also told Fudomaru that in the growth stage, it is estimated that he can perform a deduction every month to enhance the efficiency of the training method. Each deduction will increase the efficiency by five to ten times on the original basis. From now on, the speed of cultivation will double every month. Wanting to regain the freedom of Fairy Lingyu, challenge the seven teeth of the dog to become the clan leader and release her mother from the Cloud Immortal Palace. It will also get faster. My current demon power is already stronger than Seshomaru. It's just a day of practice, and the demon power has increased so much. It won't take long to catch up with that bastard dad. At the same time, the power of the demon fire has also increased. It seems that because it has absorbed the energy from the sun, the demon fire seems to have become a little different. Analyze. Host absorbs the sun's flame and merges into the demon fire. The demon fire already has the special ability of the sun's fire, which exerts a certain restraint on the demon power. Absorb the sun's flames? Restrain the demonic power? You are a monster yourself? Wouldn't this flame have any effect on myself? Advertisement. Host has Ryatsu, and using Ryatsu as a medium, the flame will not restrain the host itself. Ryatsu didn't expect it to have this effect. Yes, if it doesn't cause any side effects to itself, then there won't be any problem. But speaking of Ryatsu, Great Sage, has the passage to the underworld expanded? Soul Link has completed expansion. The expansion effect has reached three times the size of the last link. In the future, an expansion can be carried out every week, and it is estimated that each expansion can double. Is it directly expanded three times? No wonder Hokidomaru felt that his soul was constantly swelling. Absorbing the power of the underworld enhanced the quality of the soul, expanding it three times in one go. The speed at which his soul density increases makes him feel like his soul is expanding. It's normal. If this speed continues, Ryatsu will soon be enhanced to the point where it exceeds the power of a demon? But that was what Hokidomaru was looking forward to. When he uses Ryatsu to fight, the monsters in this world don't know how they will feel. Thinking about it makes me look forward to it. This time, I also tested the moves developed by the Great Sage, the Fire Fist, and the Yuki manipulation that I had practiced before. I had not compared them before and I was not sure about the power of these moves. And now that Seshomaru was there for comparison, Fudomaru was also shocked. I didn't expect it to be so powerful that not even Seshomaru could withstand it. It seemed that he had not realized how powerful he was before. Master Fudomaru, it's late at night. Lady Lingyu Immortal Fairy has come here several times to urge us to wake you up and go back to your room to rest. I remembered Genji's voice behind me. Advertisement. Hokitomaru nodded. He could still practice when he returned to his room. There was no need to stay here all the time. Then go back. But on the way back, Fudomaru was a little curious. By the way, Genji, you mentioned the seven fangs of the dog before. Except for my father, King Duya, what are the names of the other six? Genji was stunned for a moment, but soon Kaido said, the remaining six are respectively Zhanya, Miya, Liya, Kuangya, Duya, and Darkya. Sure enough, they all have similar names to King Duya. No wonder it is called the seven teeth of the dog. How strong are they? At this time, Hiseo also spoke, the seven teeth are all of the same level as the great demon, but among them Lord Duya King is stronger than the other six, but not by much. Among them, Lord Zanya fought with Lord Duya King. If the tooth blade had not been destroyed by King Duya, perhaps Lord Zanya would not necessarily be weaker than Lord Duya now. Tooth blade? Fudomaru was stunned for a moment, is that the name of Zanja's weapon, Fang Blade? For it, the two looked at each other and smiled helplessly. No, Genji shook his head, and Hiseo continued, Master Fudomaru, as dog demons, although we are now dominant and famous among Yukai, dog demons have flaws. Defect? This is interesting, Hokidomaru has never heard of it at all. Go on. Hiseo continued, As dog demons, we are born with powerful demonic powers. As long as we work hard to practice and our talents are not bad, our demonic powers will eventually increase dramatically as we grow older. Among the monsters, they are a relatively powerful clan. But as a monster, it's not enough to have tyrannical power. You also need strong fighting power. Hiseo seemed quite regretful as he spoke. Advertisement. The dog demon clan's natural fighting abilities are limited, and their claws are not as sharp among monsters. At the same time, not every dog demon is as evil as Fudomaru, born with a special kind of flame that can be used as a means of attack. So under such circumstances, the dog demons chose another method, which was to cast the tooth blade. Combine your own teeth with human weapon forging skills to create your own tooth blade. Other monsters have the strongest combat power when they transform into monsters, but the dog monster is different. The dog monster maintains its human form and fights with its fangs in its strongest form. Transforming back into a demon body will reduce your combat effectiveness. Fudomaru was surprised to hear this. But if you think about it carefully, the dog demon should bite. The bite force is much worse than other monsters, and the claws are not sharp enough or fast enough. It is indeed very good to combine the skills of human beings in forging weapons to forge tooth blades for fighting. Every dog demon can forge its own tooth blade. The two nodded, yes, Master Fudomaru. Dog demon, fang blade? Hokidomaru stopped suddenly, lowered his head and released a burst of Ryatsu in his hand. In the eyes of both Genji and Hiseo, the so-called Ryatsu cannot be seen. But they could feel that there was a strange and incomparable power in Fudomaru's hand. If the two men hadn't reminded him, Fudomaru would have almost forgotten. Now that I have Ryatsu, I should create my own sealed state as soon as possible? The sooner you get your own sealed state, the sooner you can transform it into your own Zanpakuto? Now the tooth blade gave Fudomaru a further idea. The dog demon can forge his own tooth blade. Although he doesn't know how to cast his own sealed state, if he uses his own teeth to cast it, he can better integrate the power of his soul. Great Sage, please explain to me quickly. Is it possible to use the dog demon's method of casting tooth blades to create a sealed state? Analyzing. Advertisement. Chapter 16 The Medium of Soul Power Sealed State. Advertisement. In the room. 
Kokitomaru was lying on the bed, but his eyes were tightly closed at the moment. Under analysis, the feasibility of casting sealed state with tooth blade is 80%. The tooth blade is forged from the host's teeth. Since the material itself is the host's teeth, it can communicate well with the host's demonic power. Have a certain degree of soul docking ability. Sealed state, as a medium to elicit soul power, requires the most basic soul docking ability, and Feng Yao fully meets it. Can? It really works? That's great. After forging the sealed state, the next step is Senpakito. My Riot Su finally has a place to use. Warning, after analysis, if you want to truly forge the tooth blade into a sealed state, you need the host to have a certain degree of Riot Su. At this stage, host's Riot Su has not yet met the requirements. Isn't Riot Su good enough? Then how much more do I need to increase my Riot Su? Currently, Riot Su needs to continue to grow tenfold to meet the requirements for casting sealed state. Ten times? According to the current growth rate of my Riot Su, it shouldn't be long. Estimated to take another month. One month? Well, it's not too long. After the tooth blade is cast, the host needs to be put into the body for warming and maintenance. First, let the tooth blade establish a connection with the host's own demonic power. Using demon power as a bridge, injecting Riot Su can create a sealed state belonging to the host. The completion time of the entire process is unknown, and the success rate is 80%. Advertisement. Even the Great Sage can't give an accurate solution, but this is normal. The Great Sage is not omnipotent, it also needs to provide its own ideas in order to be effective. If the sealed state can be successfully cast, then it will still take a process for the sealed state to become its own Zenpakito. If you remember correctly, sealed state is equivalent to a medium. The main function of this medium is to draw out the power contained in one's soul. Finally making the sealed state the real Zenpakito. And if you want the sealed state to draw out the power of the soul, you need to inject your own spirit and belief into the sealed state. I don't know how long this process will take. And it's not yet clear exactly how to do it. Shaking his head, don't think so much, let's cast the sealed state first. The first step is to complete Riot's growth and let Riot so meet the requirements, and then move on to the next step. But, in a month, I can think of a way to forge a tooth blade first. After all, the tooth blade still needs to be placed in the body to warm up for a period of time. But Fudomaru doesn't know how to forge a tooth blade. If you want to make a sword, don't you have to go to the Toto studio. In the original work, King Duya's retainer is also a very powerful swordsmith. Host does not need to find a knife maker. It is speculated that the other party will incorporate other materials into the forged blade, which will double the difficulty of casting a sealed state. It will reduce the success rate of casting sealed state. Will incorporating other materials hinder the casting of the sealed state? That's right, sealed state is a medium, a medium that draws out the power of the soul. One's own teeth are one with oneself, and being able to draw out soul power through them is nothing. But it's different when other materials are added. So it's okay for me to cast the tooth blade myself? Yes. Then just do it yourself? Advertisement. Etc. But I don't know how to forge knives. Great Sage, this skill has the ability to encompass everything, and is a phenomenon that is not blocked in the internet world. For it, this means, you can? Yes. Oh well. Since the Great Sage can forge knives, there is no need to worry. It would be better if you don't have to look for Totosai. After all, the other party is King Dauga's retainer, and Domaro wouldn't want to ask King Dauga if he didn't have to do it. In that case, if I remember it well, Great Sage, my soul has been passively absorbing the power of the underworld to enhance Riotsu? Yes. Then can you study the issue of cultivation and deduce some methods of actively cultivating soul power, which can speed up the growth of Riotsu? If host is willing to give up his body, he can deduce the soul cultivation method. Clam, do you have to give up your body to cultivate soul power? In the presence of the physical body, the host soul actively absorbs the power of the underworld and will gradually merge with the physical glass. The Riotsu growth that exceeds the passive absorption speed will cause the separation between the soul and the body. All right, I didn't expect such a thing to happen. Although even if it exists in the form of a soul body, it is not impossible for Fudomaro to accept it. He created the Shinigami system by himself, let alone reaching the peak of cultivation, even in this state, as long as his soul does not enter reincarnation. As Riot So continues to strengthen, it can be said that his lifespan will continue to increase, making him almost immortal. So in a sense, the soul body is better, but having a physical body is better than not having one. Furthermore, immortal fairy Ling Yu may not be able to see her without her body, which is not possible. Advertisement. Forget it, just absorb it naturally. Even natural absorption is not bad. The underworld passage is getting bigger and bigger, and the spiritual power growth rate is affected by two factors, the enhancement of Riot so and the expansion of the underworld passage. It is equivalent to a double-doubled passive absorption. The effect is probably not much different from the effect of active absorption. In that case, I will focus on cultivating my demonic power. Riot so just wait for it to grow naturally. Thinking about it, Fudomaro also fell into a deep sleep. And in the middle of the night, suddenly the door was pushed open. Fudomaro suddenly woke up, who is it? Jinran broke into his room in the middle of the night. However, before Fudomaro had time to stand up, he felt a familiar demonic aura. Mother, Ling Yu Zianji, who had already held Fudomaro in her arms, was stunned for a moment. Did I wake you up? Little Fudo, you are really very alert. My mother was very careful, but she was still discovered. Mother, why did you come to my room? I am no longer a child. I have entered the growth stage. There is no need to. Mom knows, but who said that you have to sleep separately from your mother when you enter the growing stage? My mother is used to holding her. Immortal fairy Ling Yu looked sad as she spoke. You are only five years old and you already dislike your mother? Don't you want your mother to hold you? For it. I thought my embarrassing days were finally over, but I didn't expect this. Well forget it. Fairy Ling Yu seems to be used to sleeping with her in her arms. Not bad. On the first night in Cloud Immortal Palace, Fidomaro slept very comfortably. But the next day, Fidomaro continued to practice hard on his demon power, striving to transcend time and become a great demon as soon as possible. And a month passed in the blink of an eye. As the passage to the underworld continues to expand, the speed of absorption increases after Riotso is strengthened. Hokitomaru's Riotso surged faster than expected, but now there's a problem. Advertisement. Chapter 17 I opened my mouth and cut me. Advertisement. This question made Fidomaru speechless. That is, if you want to forge a tooth blade, you must first extract the tooth. Although with the body of the dog demon, there is no problem in growing the tooth again after extraction. 
However, due to the cultivation of demon power, Hokutomaru's physique has now been subtly enhanced to a terrifying level. Although it is not yet indestructible, there is no problem saying it is made of copper and iron. This also leads to a problem, it is not that easy to extract teeth. Genji, you, come here, use your knife to chop off this tooth of mine. What? Genji, who was called in front of Fudomaru, stared at Fudomaru blankly with his eyes wide open. It even wondered if it had just been hallucinating. Let yourself cut your teeth with a knife? Master Fudomaru is so good, why should he have trouble with his own teeth? Master Fudomaru, what are you going to do? There's so much nonsense, if I ask you to chop it, just do it. Fudomaru opened his mouth with an impatient look on his face. Fudomaru had tried everything when he was alone. There is no way to remove my teeth by myself. Burning with fire is useless. Burning your own teeth with fire has no effect at all. If it grows on his body, even if Fudomaru deliberately restrains his demonic power, the demonic power will still flow to his teeth, and the flames will not be able to cause damage at all. There was no choice but to ask Genji and Hiseo to help. Advertisement. Hiseo looked at Master Fudomaru who had opened his mouth, and asked with a guilty conscience, Master Fudomaru, do you want to make your own tooth blade? Hearing this, Fudomaru nodded, yes, you are quite smart, you guessed it right. I didn't expect this to be the case. But Master Fudomaru, at your current age, you can't be transformed into a demon. Even if you take off the tooth, it's still not the right size for forging a tooth blade. Having said this, Hiseo quickly explained to Fudomaru. Usually, the dog demons will take out a tooth and use it to forge a tooth blade after they can be demonized normally. In this way, the size of the blade can be guaranteed, although not every knife is like a broken tooth and becomes very huge when pulled out. But at least it can still be of normal size. But at Fudomaru's age, he can't yet transform into a demon, and even his big teeth are no bigger than a little finger. Not to mention that tusks are usually chosen for forging tooth blades, and tusks are even smaller. Is there still such a thing? Great sage, host does not need to worry. With host's demonic power, after the continuous input of the lost demonic power, the extracted tooth will be small, but it is enough to forge a tooth blade, and the host is to forge the sealed state, not the real tooth blade. Therefore, there are no defects mentioned by the other party. Since the great sage said there is no problem, there is no need to worry. Don't worry, I'm different, my teeth are fine. Quick, cut quickly. However, even if Fudomaru said this, Genji still didn't dare to do it. What a joke, even if he really wanted to chop, his sword was wider than Master Fudomaru's mouth, so how could he chop? Kudomaru, what are you kidding about? Suddenly Fairy Ling Yu's voice sounded. Just now, Zu watched Fudomaru giving such weird orders to Genji, so he had no choice but to inform Ling Yu's ING to come and take a look. Mother, why are you here? It's okay. I just pulled out the tooth and made a knife. Advertisement. It's okay, don't worry. Don't worry? Immortal Fairy Ling Yu didn't know what was going on in this little head of Fudomaru. Is it necessary to extract teeth like this? Let Genji, an elite level dog demon, use a knife to chop, who pulls out teeth like this? Why don't you hit it with a hammer? Nonsense, you want to forge your own tooth blade, but now is not the time. You are still too young. You can wait until you grow up a little, and your mother will ask the most outstanding knife maker to make a tooth blade for you. No, no, no need. When you grow up, you won't even know how old the monkey is, so come on now. As he said this, Hokutomaru was a bit dumbfounded. Mom is fine, I have my own ideas, you believe me. If I hadn't tried many methods to pull it out myself, I wouldn't have asked Genji and Hiseo to help me. Looking at Fudomaru's serious look, although his son is still young, Fudomaru doesn't usually act like a child. On the contrary, he is very mature. She has never been messy, but today she still had to wonder. Seeing that Ling Yu Zianji and others didn't believe it, Fudomaru had no choice. He glanced at the dog demons guarding the side. These were all low-level dog demons. Fudomaru came directly to the opponent's side and snatched away the opponent's weapon, which was just an ordinary weapon. But in the next second, Hutomaru stabbed his own teeth hard. The sight of a five-year-old child holding a big knife and slashing at her mouth made Fairy Ling Yu's eyelids jump wildly. Click, jingle bell. The broken blade fragments fell to the ground. Hokidomaru dropped the broken sword in his hand, and then looked at everyone helplessly. My physique is different. Even if I stand here and let them attack me with these ordinary weapons, they can't hurt me at all. Advertisement. There is no way that in the entire immortal palace, the only weapons that are not considered ordinary weapons are the swords of Genji and Hiseo. Their swords should not be so brittle. Mom, I'm really not fooling around, believe me. Several people's mouths couldn't help but twitch at this moment. Although the physique of monsters is somewhat different from that of ordinary humans, they are still made of flesh and blood. With the protection of demonic power, you may not be hurt by ordinary weapons, but without the protection of demonic power, the weapon will collapse purely by relying on your physical body. And he still uses his own mouth? This, this, this is a bit too hard? Master Fudomaru's body is made of iron. Fairy Ling Yu also didn't expect that Fudomaru's body was so terrifying. It is no longer easy to injure someone without using the demonic power. How terrifying is the defensive power of using the demonic power? Okay, mother, don't worry, even if this tooth can't be used, I can still grow it again, so I'll just pull one out. Fairy Ling Yu frowned, Fudomaru's behavior proved that Fudomaru was indeed different. So it seems that we shouldn't use the common sense of the dog demon clan to imagine. She glanced at Genji and Hiseo and nodded towards them. After receiving immortal Fairy Ling Yu's approval, the two of them silently pulled out their tooth blades. Do you really want to chop it down? Fudomaru looked at the two of them excitedly, come on, come on, just the one on the left, don't cut it wrong. Genji wiped the cold sweat from his forehead and nodded awkwardly. Juzi, don't tremble, remember to work harder, come on. Kyuji also smiled awkwardly, okay Master Fudomaru? After Fudomaru stood still, he waved to the two of them, okay, I'm ready, come and chop me. Advertisement. Chapter 18, Extracting Teeth and Casting Swords, the Underworld Stone Moves Abnormally. Advertisement. Looking at Fudomaru's extremely exaggerated look, the two of them had no choice but to bite the bullet and swing the knife in their hands, and slashed hard at Fudomaru's mouth. However, the blades of the two men fell. Dang dang, there was a crisp impact sound, and sparks visible to the naked eye burst out. The two of them were stunned, and Fudomaru looked helpless. Have you not eaten? Try harder. Actually, it actually didn't cut it down. 
Although the two of them didn't use their full strength, their swords had been around for many years, and although they hadn't killed any powerful monsters, he doesn't have many terrifying abilities like the famous Tai Suiya. But the sharpness is definitely good, but in this case, it was not able to hurt Master Fudomaru at all. Now not only Genji and Hiseo, but also Ryo Senji had a little understanding of Fudomaru's physical strength. This is indeed no joke, even the fangs of the dog demon clan can chop at will with no problem, this is too hard. The two took a breath. Master Fudomaru, we have to go all out this time. Bring it on. A faint red light appeared on Hokidomaru's body, and except for the teeth, the rest of his body was covered. Defense increased again. This time the two of them mustered up all their strength and struck down with one blow. Fudomaru finally felt the pain. A tooth flew out of Fudomaru's mouth, and Fudomaru grabbed the flying fang. He held it in his hand and looked at it, not bad. The teeth were flashing with light, and after leaving Fudomaru's body, the demonic power was still circulating autonomously in the teeth. The rate of decline is very slow. Advertisement. Immortal Fairy Ling Yu also noticed it, but she didn't expect that Fudomaru's physique had been perverted to such an extent at his age. The demon power is attached to the bones, and Fudomaru is only 5 years old. It's hard to imagine what heights Hokidomaru will reach in 10, 20, or 100 years. Mother, I, I'm going to make a tooth blade. I'm leaving. Fudomaru took the fangs and ran away in a hurry. The three people were left with confused expressions. Genji and Hiseo, the two dog demons, looked down at their numb palms from the shock. Is this the physical strength of Master Fudomaru? It has now reached a point where they cannot injure them at will. Counting their ages, they are all elite level monsters with 400 years of monster age. The full blow only knocked off one of Master Fudomaru's teeth. If it were chopped at a place protected by other demonic powers, I'm afraid there wouldn't be any damage at all. As expected of, a monster from the dog demon clan? The other side. Hokidomaru came to an empty palace in the immortal palace with nothing to visit. Great Sage, let's start. Requesting to take over host body. After the Great Sage took over host's body, he opened his eyes in the next second, with fluorescence flowing in his golden eyes. The demonic power in his body flows more rapidly. Forging begins. Raising his hand, the demonic fire appeared directly in his hand, and at the same time, the fangs entangled in the demonic aura flew up. Come to the sky and accept the calcining of the demonic fire. Ryatsu burst out at the same time. Melt into the demonic fire. Advertisement. Blessed by the dual power of Ryatsu and demon power, the flames became more violent. Especially after Ryatsu merged into it, the temperature of the flame seemed to become even hotter. However, Fudomaru's fang is not so easy to refine. After all, there is still demonic power left in it, and it is forming a cycle on its own. It's like an invisible barrier. And also seems to possess a certain amount of Ryatsu. It will take a lot of time to refine this tooth. If Fudomaru were to control it, it would take several days to complete the calcination. However, under the control of the Great Sage, Fudomaru is like an extremely precise instrument at this moment, and there will be no mistakes at all. The flames were just right, and the amount of Ryatsu and demon power input was completely smooth, with no fluctuation at all. Continue input. The fangs were gradually refined. In the burning of the flames, the Great Sage only slightly controlled the shape of the flames to ensure that the fangs formed the shape of a blade. And in this process, suddenly, the necklace on Hokidomaru's chest, the underworld stone, emitted strange fluctuations. A line of black energy formed in the air and floated towards the fan blade that was about to form. Although Fudomaru couldn't control his body at this moment, he could still sense and see all the scenes. Great Sage, what's going on? Why did the underworld stone suddenly appear like this? Under analysis, the specific reason is not yet known. Although I don't understand the reason, there is no way to stop at this juncture. Stopping would be a waste of a tooth. Moreover, Fudomaru was also very curious as to why the hell stone suddenly changed like this. Without interrupting, I wanted to see what the difference would be after the Hades stone released its power and merged with the fang blade. Soon the prototype of the tooth blade was formed. It was a sword that was in perfect proportion to Fudomaru's figure. As Hiseo said before, the size of a weapon made from teeth might not be suitable for Hokidomaru at this age. Although it is suitable for Fudomaru now, when Fudomaru grows taller in the future, this sword will be equivalent to a dagger. This is too small. Advertisement. Host can rest assured, warming and nourishing the tooth blade will allow the blade and the host to grow together. There's no problem in that case. But what happened to the strange movement of the underworld stone? Tooth blade completed. Analysis completed. The underworld stone releases a power similar to the power of the underworld and integrates into the host tooth blade, establishing a soul-like link with the tooth blade. In the future, host will fully control the tooth blade, and may be able to directly use the tooth blade to release the power of the underworld. The power of the underworld also seems to have an improving effect on the tooth blade. The tooth blade that continues to absorb the power of the underworld will continue to strengthen. However, the speed is slow. How to improve it is currently unknown. Hokidomaru's consciousness returned to his body. Looking at the tooth blade floating in his hand without a handle, this shape looks like a smaller version of Zanjutsu, but there is no white cloth strip wrapped around it. The underworld stone and the tooth blade are connected. Can the knife absorb the power of the underworld? Is this normal? Although it is a knife, it is actually still a part of the host. The host can establish a channel with the Hades stone, and the knife can naturally do the same, but it is more difficult. Such a thing is a miracle in a sense. Miracle? It happens so easily. Is it really a miracle? But according to the analysis of the great sage, this is not only not a bad thing, but a good thing. The time it takes for the host to convert the tooth blade into a sealed state may be extended. So that's the only downside? The sword is constantly getting stronger, so if I really want to turn it into a sealed state, it will take longer. Isn't it just a little more difficult? Compared to the fact that the sword can continue to become stronger, this is actually a good thing. Advertisement. Chapter 19, The Tooth Blade Enters the Body and Causes Internal Circulation. Advertisement. Although it's a little small, it can grow as I grow, and it will always get bigger. I really want to make it a sealed state right away. When the soul power was drawn out, Fudomaro couldn't wait to experience it. But now we have to take the next step, which is to absorb the tooth blade into the body first. How should I absorb this knife? After all, it is a knife. 
Can it be absorbed if it is said to be absorbed? The fang blade was originally made from the host's fangs. As long as the host's demonic power resonates with the blade, then the shape of the tooth blade can be changed. It is evolved from teeth, and can naturally evolve into other states and be absorbed by the host. To put it simply, just inject demon power into it? Yes. Next time just keep it simple. Okay, host's IQ is too low, the explanation is simplified. No, no need. Who has a low IQ? The great sage has learned to ridicule himself. Injecting the demon power, Hokidomaru's demon power began to turn into a red light, flowing out from the palm like streams of red smoke, fluttering and injecting into the blade from multiple directions. The tooth blade was originally made from Fudomaru's own teeth. This step was completed very quickly. The tooth blade began to vibrate and was wrapped in his own demonic energy, and instantly disappeared into his chest. But Fudomaru didn't have time to be surprised. Suddenly I felt a special presence in my body. The tooth blade seemed to have come into his body and was floating quietly in a special space. This is it. Advertisement. There is something magical indeed. Isn't this how Sesomaru's blast fang came about in the original work? In the next period of time, the host is asked to use demonic power to warm the tooth blade and inject Ryatsu at the same time. Once the tooth blade and Ryatsu are fused, the host sealed state can be formed. When the great sage reminded me, but Futamaru suddenly felt something was not right. Because there seemed to be a sudden hot feeling in my body. Demon fire? He ran out. Close your eyes and feel the changes in your body. The tooth blade floats quietly in a strange space within the body. The surroundings were pitch black, but from time to time stars flickered and merged into the tooth blade. And this demonic fire of his is rotating around the tooth blade, as if it wants to blend into it. I don't know if it will work if the demon fire is integrated into it. Wait, this seems to be very exciting. The flame is integrated into the tooth blade, not to mention whether it will cause the tooth blade to perform any powerful tricks. If the tooth blade turns into a sealed state after blending into the flames, will it allow me to awaken the fire elements and Pakito? If it can develop in the direction of Ryajin Jaka, that would be awesome. What kind of ability host Zenpakuto will awaken and what kind of power it will have depends on the host itself. There was no Zenpakuto in this world before host. Everything depends on how the host is developed. In this case, it can basically be said that what kind of Zenpakuto Fudomaru's sealed state will eventually become depends entirely on Fudomaru himself. Even strictly speaking, it all depends on how Fudomaru sets his abilities and how he achieves these settings. Everything is possible. Advertisement. Great Sage, you mean that my Zenpakuto can be more than just an ability, right? Of course, this world does not have any restrictions on the Zenpakuto system. Host as a pioneer. You think it does, it does, as long as the host can develop it, right? Yes, I am a pioneer, how could I be limited to only one ability? But now developing the first ability is the focus. Flame is naturally the best choice. After all, Hokutomaru's talent is fire, so Zenpakuto Raijin Jaka, the strongest fire element, was naturally the first choice. Host's current flame ability is not enough to reach the level of Raijin Jaka. Even the most basic Shikai level cannot be reached, it is recommended that the host strengthen the fire ability. Strengthen fire ability. Fudomaru smiled. During his previous training, the flame energy absorbed from the sun enhanced the demonic fire very surprisingly. It's just that for more than a month, while he was busy strengthening his demon power, Fudomaru had not yet developed a method to absorb solar energy to strengthen his flames. Now it seems like you can start trying it out. Great Sage, every time you practice during the day this month, you can absorb energy from the sun. I guess you've already analyzed it? Can you deduce a cultivation method that allows me to absorb more solar energy and strengthen the flame? Certainly. Host's demon power cultivation method itself absorbs natural energy. With a few adjustments, it can be changed to a cultivation method that only absorbs solar energy. It looks really simple. But will this delay the growth of demonic power? Host can inject the energy of the sun into the tooth blade with all its strength. On the one hand, it can help the tooth blade gain the ability of fire. At the same time, after the tooth blade converts the solar energy, it forms pure demonic power to feed back to the host itself. Host itself can continue to absorb natural energy to enhance demonic power. Advertisement. Can it still be like this, so the tooth blade is equivalent to a clone of me? It can be understood that the tooth blade itself is also part of the host. In this case, you have to do two things at once. But now that Hokutomaru's thinking speed can be maintained at 20 times, it's easy to do two things at once. Not to mention dual purpose, even three purpose can bear it. If the energy of the sun can be absorbed, then the energy of the moon can also be absorbed. Ice types and Pakito? He shook his head gently. Don't be so anxious. Let's get the flame ready first before talking about anything else. Demonic fire, solar energy, and Ryatsu, with three controls, it goes without saying that the difficulty of turning the tooth blade into a sealed state will increase crazily. It is estimated that according to host's idea, it will take one year to transform the tooth blade into a sealed state. One, one year, actually takes so long. But I am only five years old, so one year is not that long. One year at a time. Now that the tooth blade is inserted into the body, it will be able to absorb solar energy and convert it into demonic power. In addition, he can also absorb natural energy to enhance his demonic power. Then the cultivation efficiency will be doubled. Wait, just now the underworld stone was connected to the fang blade, and the fang blade was also connected to himself. Doesn't that mean that the fang blade absorbs the power of the underworld and can also transform it into Ryatsu to help strengthen itself? Under analysis. Host's analysis is good, but the prerequisite is that host converts the tooth blade into sealed state. Prior to this, the host cannot obtain the increased power of the underworld, Ryatsu, which is absorbed and transformed by the tooth blade. As long as it is transformed into a sealed state, the increased rate of Ryatsu will also be doubled. Very good. You only need to wait for a year, which is worth the wait. Advertisement. Chapter 20 Visitors from the Immortal Palace One Step Away. Advertisement. One year? However, ten years passed in the blink of an eye. 
Hokitomaru is 15 years old. Of course, the 15th year of an dog demon is definitely different from the 15th year of a human being. The 15-year-old dog demon is equivalent to more than one-year-old human. For ordinary dog demons, this age is just the age when they can awaken their demon power. But at this moment, in the square of Cloud Palace, the huge sun seems to be at the edge of the square. The sun in front of it occupies 80% of the sky. People with macrophobia may feel very scared when they see such a sun. Under the scorching sun, even Genji and Hiseo felt unbearably hot. But Fudomaru had to sit closest to the sun, facing the scorching sun without feeling any discomfort at all. On the contrary, the flames and the temperature emanating from Fudomaru's body made Genji and Hiseo feel palpitations. These 10 years, Hokitomaru is here every day, and this thin figure has gradually grown over the past 10 years. Although his age is equivalent to that of a human child of 1 or 2 years old, Hotamaru has grown taller. The height has reached a height comparable to that of a human child of 12 or 13 years old. Compared to the little one who couldn't even reach his knees, he is now very tall. And it's not just height that has increased in these 10 years. What's more important is the demonic power. The violent demonic power emanated from Fidomaru's body, spreading to form a red ocean where the demonic energy almost condensed into a substance, floating around Hokitomaru. Entering within 10 meters of Fidomaru, this extremely solid monster energy alone is not something that ordinary monsters can break through. In the main hall on the front side of the Immortal Palace, feeling the terrifying evil spirit that enveloped the entire fairy palace. Advertisement. Immortal Fairy Ling Yu had a faint smile on her face. Yazi I fanned Ling Yu Immortal Fairy on the side, Master Fu Dumara, your demon power has increased again. You can feel Fu Dumara's demon power increasing every day. In just 10 years, Master Fu Dumara's demon power will probably reach the level of a great demon. Great demon? For an ordinary monster to get to this point, it normally takes a thousand years to get there, and special encounters are needed to reach the pinnacle of monsters and become a great monster. However, at the age of 15, Fudomaru was only one step away from becoming a great demon. If such a situation had occurred 10 years ago, not to mention immortal fairy Lingyo, not even Fudomaru himself would have thought of it. The speed of increase in demonic power is getting faster day by day, especially after the tooth blade enters the body, which is equivalent to an extra internal cycle, doubling the training effect of Fudomaru. After 10 years of accumulation, he had 7 or 800 years of demonic power, and the demonic power of Fudomaru itself increased naturally. Now there is only one last step left before the great demon. This little guy is scarier than his father. Immortal fairy Ling Yu was a little proud as she said this, but then she sighed silently. But if you want to become a great demon, there is no special encounter. I'm afraid Xiao Fudo will be stuck at this step for a long time. This is not a problem that talent can change. However, if he stayed in Cloud Immortal Palace, Fudomaru would not have the chance to get such an opportunity. But this child would never agree to let Fudomaru leave. The stubbornness is very similar to his father. Why? Sighing, Yuzi on the side felt it didn't matter. My lady Ling Yu Immortal, isn't this actually a good thing? Master Fudomaru is still young anyway, so it wouldn't be a bad thing to settle down a bit. This is a good thing to say. But precipitation? That is distrust of the great sage. As the sun set, Fudomaru's training also stopped. Advertisement. After standing up and stretching his body, Fudomaru looked at the earth under the clouds. Ten years? Ten years have passed in the blink of an eye. In the first year, Hokitomaru successfully transformed the Kiba into a sealed state. I glanced at the sealed state hanging on my waist. However, if you want to make a sealed state as Anpakito, there is an even more important point, which is to inject your own spirit and belief into it. This is a rather abstract concept, and even the great sage cannot figure out when it will be achieved. All I can say is that everything happens as it happens. However, after Kiba turned into a sealed state, Fudomaru's Ryatsu experienced a surge. In ten years, Ryatsu's power has increased as much as that of a demon. It even surpassed the growth of demon power in turn, and now Fudomaru's Ryatsu is very terrifying. Just standing here quietly, the invisibly overflowing Ryatsu can make Genji and Hiseo feel shaken and their breathing is very heavy. However, the effect of Ryatsu was regarded by everyone as the pressure brought by Fudomaru's demonic power, although this pressure was somewhat incredible. But Hokitomaru itself is not an existence that can be inferred by common sense. So it's unreasonable and no one suspects anything. The sealed state has completely evolved into Zenpakito. It seems that we don't know when it will succeed. Fudomaru shook his head helplessly. The demon power has also reached a bottleneck. Although the demonic power was still growing steadily every day, this growth made Fudomaru feel that his body could not hold it. This feeling is getting stronger and stronger, and today Hokitomaru can no longer ignore this feeling. So we cannot continue like this. The advice given by the great sage is to truly accept the challenge. After coming to this world for so long, Fudomaru has never fought with anyone except fighting Seshomaru and sparring swordsmanship with Genji Hiseo. Advertisement. Maybe the battle can bring a breakthrough to Fudomaru. In 10 years, Fudomaru did not just practice. Since he wanted to become the world's first Shinigami, how could it be possible that Kodomaru was unprepared? Cut, punch, walk, ghost? The only one that is not developed today is Kido. Swordsmanship, close combat abilities, and... Shunpo? Fudomaru relied on the great sage's calculations. And the mastery is very pure, especially Shunpo. In terms of speed, Fudomaru is quite confident. He already has the basic fighting ability, and he is confident enough to escape even if he encounters the real great demon Dumaru. Let's go see it tonight. Although he wanted to find an opportunity from the battle, Fudomaru did not intend to leave Cloud Immortal Palace, but planned to enter another place directly. Underworld? Fudomaru, who has the Underworld Stone, has completely mastered the method of opening the passage to the Underworld with the help of the Great Sage. You can enter the Underworld at any time. You guys stay here and don't let anyone enter the palace to disturb me. After Fudomaru finished giving instructions to Genji and Hiseo, he directly entered the empty palace. Although the two of them didn't know what Fudomaru was going to do, they had no doubts about Fudomaru's order. The Underworld Stone glowed brightly, and the passage to the Underworld opened in front of Fudomaru. Underworld? I hope it can help me break through the limitations of the big demon? Saying this, Fudomaru entered the Underworld directly. And at the same time, outside the Cloud Immortal Palace, a group of monsters rushed towards this side quickly. Immortal Fairy Ling Yu was stunned for a moment after hearing the report from the guards of the Immortal Palace. The Dog Demon Clan is here, what are you doing? Advertisement. Chapter 21 News of King Duyasetsfoot in the Underworld. Advertisement. 
Why are you coming to me at this time? Immortal Fairy Ling Yu was very confused, even though she, the dog demon princess, was not openly said to be exiled because of King Doya, but in fact it is exile? Now that they are living in a palace in the clouds and accepting exile, what are the dog demons doing here? Do you feel that living here is not enough? Do you want to take away other things? And the only thing they could take away was Fu Domaru. If it were other Ling Yu Immortal Fairy, I could agree, but if it concerns Fu Domaru, I can't decide. Isn't it enough that she has released her eldest son, says Homaru, to the Inuyu clan? Even his youngest son wants to take it away? At this moment, the dog demons entered the palace. When they saw Fairy Ling Yu in the main hall, a group of dog demons were a little confused. Because they saw Fairy Ling Yu's cold face and her eyes seemed to be releasing murderous intent. They just came here, when did they offend this dog demon princess? No way, as the leader of the dog demons, he stepped forward bravely. I've seen it before, Lady Ling Yu Immortal Fairy. What are you doing here? Isn't the punishment of exile enough? Before they could explain their intention, Immortal Fairy Ling Yu had already started to attack. When he heard this, the dog demon commander was stunned for a moment. Who said they were exiling Lady Ling Yu Fairy? The dog monster clan never said anything about banishing Lady Ling Yu Fairy. It was just letting Lady Ling Yu Fairy live in the cloud palace. Snort. Fairy Ling Yu looked at the other party coldly. Although there is no mention of exile, it is not actually exile. It's just that the other demon clan heard it a little better if he didn't say it. Tell me, what are you doing here? It's impossible to take anyone away from me. Advertisement. My son, if he doesn't want to leave, no one can take him away. Hearing this, the dog demon commander was stunned for a moment. He seemed to understand why this adult didn't give them a good look when they met. Feelings are misunderstood. My lady Ling Yu immortal fairy, we are not here to take anyone away. Aren't you here to take away Fudomaru? Then what are you doing here? Immortal fairy Ling Yu was a little curious. She didn't want to take Fudomaru away for Genji and Hiseo, or maybe Ize and the others are also dog demons, but their status is not high. It's not like I have to take it away, because King Duya, he's dead. Bang bang, the long fan in Yuzi's hand fell directly to the ground. Immortal fairy Ling Yu glanced at Yuzi and then Yuzi came back to her senses and quickly picked up the fan that fell on the ground. Then he turned to look at the other party. How could King Duya? Although I no longer have a favorable impression of King Duya, the opponent's strength is there. As one of the strongest demons in this era, who can kill King Duya easily, the dog demon leader gave a helpless smile, Master Duya King. First he fought with the great demon Dragonbone Spirit and was seriously injured, and then he died with a human because he was protecting a human princess. For a human being, she must be the woman named Azeoi. Don't think that Fairy Ling Yu doesn't know anything. As the dog demon princess, she knows a lot. But now King Duya is dead. This news had a huge impact on Immortal Fairy Ling Yu. Although she didn't react much on the surface. A long time, Immortal Fairy Ling Yu said, So what do you want to do here? The dog demon leader asked someone to take out a box from behind and bring it to Fairy Ling Yu. Advertisement. This is what Lord Toya King wanted us to give to His Highness Fudomaru before he died. At the same time, I also hope that Fairy Ling Yu will take care of His Highness Fudomaru's younger brother. When he said this, the dog demon commander was already sweating profusely. Because Ling Yu Immortal Fairy's eyes were terrifyingly cold. Your husband has someone come and tell you that after his death he wants you to take care of your lover's son as his head wife. If this kind of thing happened now, it would be strange not to arrest her and whip her corpse, but Immortal Fairy Ling Yu looked at the box in front of her. This box is the condition given by King Duya. Fairy Ling Yu will not care about anything, but she will not care about her son. The contents in the box would be very useful to Fu Dumaro, Ling Yu Zion Jinu. I understand, get out of here. People of the Dog Demon Clan should never set foot in the Cloud Immortal Palace again. Hearing this, the Dog Demon leader breathed a sigh of relief. He quickly put the things down, but he looked very embarrassed. There is one more thing I'm afraid I need to ask Lady Ling Yu Immortal Fairy to agree to. When we came here, the third elder asked us to take a look at His Highness Fu Dumaro, but Lady Ling Yu Immortal Princess can rest assured that just for a look, we will definitely not take His Highness Fu Dumaro away. Take a look at Fu Dumaro. As one of the bloodline of King Tuga, says Homaru, and the Dog Demon Clan knew it very well, but the Dog Demon Clan didn't know much about Fu Dumaro, the little guy who was born later. But the bloodline of King Duya will never fail to pay attention. This is understandable. Let's go and see it. Fu Dumaro is still in his training room, maybe practicing swordsmanship or something again. With the consent of Immortal Fairy Ling Yu, this group of dog demons were relieved. But they were doomed to fail. Because at this moment, Fu Dumaro has arrived in the underworld. The way to the underworld is open through the Hades Stone. Fu Dumaro entered the underworld without hesitation. Advertisement. In the gray space, Hokidomaro looked at a winding road in front of him, just that one road. There are cliffs on both sides, and what is underneath is completely invisible. This road is the same as the road to the underworld that Seshomaru entered in the original work when he was training in the underworld. Just keep walking forward. The road seemed endless, with no end in sight. But, after arriving here, the Zenpakuto hanging around Fudomaru's waist began to shake gently. The power of the underworld can be absorbed by Zenpakuto faster here. Even Hokutomaru's Ryatsu enhancement speed has been accelerated a lot. What surprised Fudomaru even more was that there were so many spirit children wandering in the air in the underworld. Fudomaru couldn't see any spirit children when he was outside, but there were too many Ryatsu here, so Hokutomaru released Ryatsu, controlled these Ryatsu, and controlled a large number of Ryatsu in a blink of an eye. The Rikis were combined and quickly condensed into a substantial object in the hands of Fudomaru. The power of the spirit child is much more magical than the power of the demon. As long as there are enough spirit sons, they can be controlled to form various things. If he had known that there were so many spiritual beings here, Fudomaru should have come to the underworld a long time ago. But it's not too late to find out now. Roar! Suddenly a huge black shadow enveloped Hokutomaru. Spread slowly from behind. Hokutomaru looked back at the thing that appeared in front of him, Hound of the Underworld. Did he actually appear at this time? The corners of Hokutomaru's mouth raised slightly. Ryatsu, breaks out. Advertisement. Chapter 22 Accidentally Killed the Lord of the Underworld. Advertisement. Buzz, the entire space began to vibrate slightly under Fudomaru's Ryatsu, and the underworld dog standing in front of Fudomaru. He was looking at Hutomaru with his mouth wide open and fiercely. At this moment, Hokutomaru had a smile on his face. Finally, a monster has appeared that allows me to practice Senpakito a little. 
Since Kiba was transformed into the sealed state, although he has not yet awakened, Hokutomaru's power has not been drawn out by the sealed state. But now the sealed state can be regarded as Zenpakuto, after all, the Zenpakuto ability may not have been awakened, but the power is already there. Especially the ability to attack the soul body is already available. Now Fudomaru's Zenpakuto is considered the only blade in the world that can cause damage to monsters in the underworld. Looking at the huge size of the underworld dog, Hokidomaru's fighting ability shouldn't be too bad. The hand slowly pulled towards Zenpakuto, sudden, the underworld dog lowered its head and lay at Fudomaru's feet, wagging its tail, Fudomaru was stunned, what does this mean? Although he is a dog, this guy seems to be acting coquettishly with him, the look of Urha made Fudomaru confused. He was afraid of this underworld dog before he even took action, Riot Su released by host has an absolute suppressive effect on creatures that control soul abilities. So, he just released Riot Su and the underworld dog was frightened? The underworld dog normally stands at a height of 5 or 6 meters, and the length reaches more than 10 meters. It is such a huge underworld monster. Right now, he was acting coquettishly and cutely at the feet of Fudomaro, and even turned around to expose his belly to Fudomaro. As a dog demon, Dumaro clearly understood that this was a sign of complete surrender to him. Do you want to cut it down? Fudomaro is in trouble. Advertisement. Looking at the yelping underworld dog, Fudomaro was speechless. Forget it, let's just do it. Get a pet? If he really wanted to cut it, Fudomaru felt like he couldn't do it in this condition. Forget it, I got a pet before I even started. He gently touched the underworld dog's head to let the little guy know that he would not hurt it. Okay, don't lick me. Looking at the tongue less than 10 centimeters away from him, Gotomaru almost kicked it away. Damn it, give you a name. From now on you will be called Sanmao. Judging from the appearance of the underworld dog, it is similar to the dog that beats the enemy and the guest family in Hunter, so it is called this. The named underworld dog's tail wagged faster, almost forming a whirlwind. That's enough, that's enough, there's ashes everywhere. Follow me and stay out of the way. After saying that, Fidomaru turned around and continued walking towards the depths of the underworld. After starting to move forward again, this time not far away, Hutamaru noticed something. There appeared to be rivers on both sides of the road. Looking towards the dark river, it seemed that because of Ryatsu, Hokutomaru could see more clearly. In the river, the dead souls are being carried by the current, heading in a certain direction. The eyes of these dead souls were lifeless, completely like puppets. However, as Hokutomaru continued to walk forward, he discovered that there were many sane souls among these dead souls. They saw Hokutomaru actually calling for help. He wanted Fudomaru to give them a hand and pull them out of the river of the underworld. But Hokutomaru ignored these calls. In the underworld, Fudomaru remembered that there would be a strange underworld monster. When a creature died, they would appear and take away the other person's soul and take it back to the underworld. Advertisement. Why haven't I seen any monsters along the way for so long? Apart from an underworld dog, are there no other monsters in the underworld? In this case, there seems to be no hope for me to challenge myself and break through my own bottleneck. While Fudomaru was thinking about it, he didn't know when he had arrived at another place. There is a high mountain in front of you, and this high mountain is made of countless corpses. Mountain of the Dead. At the highest point of the Mountain of the Dead, hangs a strange Uzumaki that resembles the sun. It exudes a strange black-purple light. This is where Seshomaru returned to Ling in the original work, right? What it is? That is the passage to the afterlife. Passage to the afterlife? Hearing the great sage's voice, Hokidomaru frowned. Does this mean that the dead must pass through this place before they can be reincarnated? Yes. But Fujimaru looked around, except for countless corpses, there were no undead coming towards this place at all. Don't they all want reincarnation? Suddenly a red light flashed in Hokidomaru's eyes. At the same time, San Mao behind him also felt like his hair was exploding. He opened his mouth to reveal his fangs and let out a low roar into the darkness. But in the next second, a big hand appeared directly in the darkness and slapped San Mao away instantly. When you beat a dog, it depends on the owner. If you touch the dog, you are courting death. Chiang. Zenpakito is unsheathed for the first time. Following the instant burst of Riot Su from Kodomaru, a silver-white slashing light flashed across. The opponent's arm was chopped off with a knife. Advertisement. However, Fudomaru held the sword with one hand and stared at the opponent calmly. Shunpo, Fudomaru, who suddenly disappeared, appeared above the opponent's head. At this moment, the black giant raised his head and looked at Fudomaru, but then Zenpakito came down from above and split it into two in an instant. With a desperate roar, the black giant disappeared directly. Fudomaru sheathed his sword. So weak. You haven't even exerted much force yet? Just got killed. But it's not bad. There are still monsters in the underworld. I hope the monsters I encounter in the future are stronger than the one just now. Host killed the lord of the underworld. What? Fudomaru turned around in confusion and looked at the black giant that had completely dissipated. Is that guy the lord of the underworld? Yes. This is too weak. No wonder Seshomaru in the original work was killed with a single blow. Is this level worthy of becoming the lord of the underworld? Forget it. Just kill it. Host kills the lord of the underworld, and the evil spirits of the underworld will then overflow. What? What do you mean? The lord of the underworld feeds on the dead, although it cannot tell who is an evil spirit and who is an ordinary spirit. But because of its existence, the number of evil spirits is kept within a controllable range. Now that the lord of the underworld dies, the evil spirits will no longer be devoured. If the evil spirits stay in the underworld and do not die in the next few years, the evil spirits will become stronger and stronger, and eventually the entire Inuyasha world may be destroyed. The corners of Hokitomaru's mouth twitched slightly. In other words, the knife I just struck directly led to the destruction of this world in the future. But in the original work, didn't Seshomaru also kill the lord of the underworld with one sword? Analysis, Tianchenja cannot really kill the lord of the underworld. Tianchenja only disperses the monsters in the underworld, not kills them. And host Zenpakito has the ability to truly obliterate spirits. Advertisement. Chapter 23 The Emergence of the First Rukenkai. Advertisement. So, I, accidentally caused a disaster that destroyed the world. Although this disaster may not occur until a long, long time later. But no one can say when this time will come. It may take 10 years, or a lucky evil spirit may suddenly appear in the underworld and devour a large number of other spirits, thereby increasing its strength and eventually the underworld will completely lose control and destroy the world. Not necessarily. Monsters can devour monsters to increase their power, and spirits can also devour each other to strengthen themselves. 
no matter how likely that is to happen. Anyway, we can't just let it go. Is there only one Lord of the Underworld? Is there no way to regenerate or something? The Lord of the Underworld is actually a special kind of Underworld monster, formed by coincidence where the Underworld was born. The next Lord of the Underworld may be formed after the destruction of the world, or may appear immediately. There is no clear information to investigate. Good guy, that means I'm not sure. If Host wants to maintain the normal operation of the Underworld, he can stay in the Underworld and be responsible for killing evil spirits. The Zen Pakito owned by the Host happens to be the nemesis of the spirit body. Stay in the Underworld? How is this possible? Do you want to stay in such a dark place for the rest of your life? Although his Ryatsu will strengthen faster if he stays in the Underworld, Hokidomaru doesn't want to stay here forever? Can you come back after a while? It is possible in the short term. According to calculations, if the host maintains this mode for a long time, the evil spirit will take advantage of the host's absence to develop rapidly, crazily devouring the spirit body to strengthen itself and then lurk before the host comes back. In the end, it may form a super powerful evil spirit that is difficult for the host to deal with. Are the evil spirits conscious? Do they still know how to avoid me? Any form of life will have a weak consciousness, and instinct will tend them to escape death. This is after the long-term adaptation of instinct, there will always be existences that adapt to the law of survival. Advertisement. This explanation makes sense. Do I really have to stay in the underworld for the rest of my life? Hokitomaru covered his head helplessly. I was not careful, and I got myself into such big trouble. Damn it, why is the damn lord of the underworld so weak? Why not be stronger? He can't withstand a sword and yet he has the nerve to be called the lord of the underworld? Suddenly, Futamaru was complaining in his heart. A light flashed in my mind? I can create Zenpakito. Can't I create a soul society? Yes, even the Shinigami power system can be developed. Under this power system, creating a soul society seems not impossible. Great Sage. Under analysis, with host's current ability, the possibility of creating soul society is 0%. In other words, it is completely impossible. There is only one host, so it is impossible to establish corresponding rules. At the same time, the power of Shinigami is currently only owned by host. It is okay to simply create an area, but host needs to continue to collect more information if he wants to create a soul society with complete operating rules. Rule? It refers to a series of cyclical processes such as the spiritual body's rebirth and the elimination of evil spirits? That's right, now that I am only one person, it is naturally impossible to establish such a set of rules. But what if we can find other helpers in the future? Or see if someone else can learn the power of Shinigami besides yourself? With the existence of other Shinigami, one day soul society can be truly established. Good. Advertisement. Hokitomaru feels very motivated now. Create a soul society? Not just creating one Zenpakito, the future is about creating countless Zenpakito. This is interesting. Coming to this world, just surpassing the dog demon Admiral Duyaking and so on are not challenging at all. It is challenging to complete the underworld operation of this world and establish soul society. Step by step. Building soul society starts with creating the first Rukonga. It just so happened that there were countless spirit beings in the underworld, and Futomaru had tried to gather some of them before. The feeling of controlling spirit beings could not be comprehended in this world. Great Sage, after analyzing the control of the spirit child, now I want to turn this mountain of the dead into a stronghold? The only way to the underworld leading to the passage of life is this place, the mountain of the dead. Now the first Rukonga is built here to accommodate the spirit bodies, and then the spirits who want to go to death must pass through here, and it is also convenient for you to eliminate evil spirits? Request to gain control of host's body. Thinking accelerates and opens with full force. Thinking about accelerating the current host limit, 430 times. Normal state can maintain thinking acceleration activation 41 times. Acquire control of host's body. Trying to control the spirit child. Spirits are formed by the decomposition of souls. Most of the souls of the deceased in this world will enter the underworld, so they will not stay in this world for too long. And now this is the underworld. After the souls of the dead enter, there are probably not a few that naturally decompose, so there are many souls. In the state where the great sage controlled Fudomaru's body, Hokitomaru's own riot so was released, controlled the spirit, and began to quickly form objects one by one. A brick? Advertisement. After the first brick was formed, the great sage successfully recorded the operation process, and the subsequent speed would soar directly. In the meantime, a huge spirit child Uzumaki gathered on Hidomaru's body. The endless spiritual particles around him gathered together and condensed into matter out of thin air. After falling, they formed fixed buildings. It seems that the great sage also drew on the memories of Rukonga and Siritei in Hokitomaru's mind. The first Rukonga is actually similar to that of Shinigami. When the street was constructed, the road leading to the passage to life was also completely blocked from other directions by the great sage. Of course, if you can fly, you can also cross the wall and die directly. But if these dead people have the ability to fly, they cannot be normal spirits. It's most likely an evil spirit. Hokitomaru opened his eyes and looked at the first Rukonga that appeared in place of the Mountain of the Dead. It's really, done. The process of manipulating souls to construct matter is so amazing. While Hokitomaru was immersed in it, Zenpakito suddenly let out a strange sword sound. Pick up the Zenpakito from your waist and place it squarely in front of your eyes. What's going on here? The sealed state brings out the power of the soul, which requires the power of spirit and belief. Host's belief has changed, and this change seems to have triggered the sealed state. Congratulations to host, the true Zenpakito is about to take shape. Then my Zenpakito is Raijinjaka? Theoretically, there is no Zenpakito in the host's memory in this world. Whatever belief the host injects, Zenpakito will develop in what direction? It may not be possible to perfectly present the Zenpakito in the host's memory, but it can be infinitely close. This is the world's first Zenpakito with unlimited possibilities. Inject faith? Great sage, since you said so, it means you have detected a way to inject faith. Yes. Hokitomaru suddenly burst into laughter, then what are you waiting for? Let's get started. Advertisement. Chapter 24 The Infusion of Faith into Everything. Advertisement. Sitting cross-legged in the void, the surrounding spirits quickly revolved around Fudomaru. Meanwhile Hokitomaru had Zenpakito on his lap. The current state is where the great sage is in control of Fudomaru's body. 
Zanpakuto, who was sitting on Hokitomaru's lap, was absorbing the faith injected into it under the control of the great sage. Belief, for a creature, can be said to be a mental fluctuation, or it can be said to be something that is believed from the bottom of the heart. It is a very, very abstract existence. However, for the great sage, there is no such problem. If Fudomaru said that there is a great sage, he will agree that it does. The faith injected by the great sage cannot be shaken, it can only be changed. In other words, the belief injected by the great sage is probably stronger than anything else. Boom, following the outbreak of a terrifying riot so wave, countless spirits below were pressed to the ground and trembling. Congratulations host. Get Zanpakuto. Senlua wants Yen. Hokitomaru opened his eyes and looked at Zanpakuto, who was as black as ink in his hand and looked very mysterious. Everything is happening. Yes, this is the name of Fudomaru's Zanpakuto. The origin of this name is also because of the Great Sage's ability, which is all-encompassing. Gather all information in the world. This was the plan provided to Hokitomaru by the Great Sage after analysis. Advertisement. Since it is the world's first slashing sword, it will continue to become stronger as Fudomaru strengthens. So how can Zanpakuto only possess one ability, the ancestor of all Zanpakuto? Then naturally you cannot have a single ability. Holding Senluo Wingziang in his hand, Fudomaru slowly stood up. The Raiko formed an invisible invisible platform beneath his feet, allowing Hokitomaru to stand in the air. The next second, Fudomaru looked at the evil spirits among the spirits, which exuded black aura. Everything in sight, Raijinjaka, all returned to ashes. Boom, a burst of fire instantly erupted from Zanpakuto. With a slight wave of Fudomaru, flames burst out from the air, accurately forming fireballs and falling on the evil spirits. In an instant, the flames burned the evil spirits into souls and dispersed them in the underworld. Feeling the surging Ryatsu in his body, after saying these words, Fudomaru finally entered the Shikai state. Ryatsu directly increased several times. Sen Luo All Things Simulation, 20%. Seeing this value, Fudomaru did not feel disappointed. This was the plan given by the Great Sage to Hideomaru, allowing Zenpakuto to realize Zenpakuto's abilities in Hideomaru's memory through another way. It is through Senluo Wingziang simulation. Hokitomaru himself could not truly obtain the power of Zenpakuto in his memory. It can only be infinitely close to that state. In this case, why not use simulation directly? Senluo Wangziang can also simulate Zenpakuto that is infinitely close to Hokitomaru's imagination. This kind of power is only simulated by 20%. This is because host has the ability to integrate flames into Zenpakuto, and its own demon fire can also link up with Zenpakuto to a certain extent. If you want to increase the power of simulation, you need to continue to break through the flame ability, right? Yes. Advertisement. What if I want to gain other Zanpakuto's abilities? We are currently analyzing the calculation of using Zanpakuto to absorb souls and advance the progress of the simulation. The calculation of this theory has not been completed yet. Use spirit seeds to advance simulation progress? Can it be done? Spirit can construct any material and is inherently changeable. Zanpakuto's ability itself is the use of Rezon. The principle is the same and the feasibility is 75%. If this method can really be calculated, doesn't that mean that in the future, I only need to absorb the spirit particles like crazy, and I can use these spirit particles to advance the progress of the simulation, and thus continuously unlock other Zanpakuto abilities? Theoretically this is the case, but host takes a lot of time. Spend time? That's no problem, it just takes a little time. If it can make everything possible and truly include all Zanpakuto abilities, then there will be no problem at all. Holding Zanpakuto tightly, Hokitomaru's mood was very complicated now. Originally, he wanted to come to the underworld to find a way to break through the bottleneck of the great demon first, but he unexpectedly drew out the power of Zanpakuto. Even now I can complete Raijin Jaka's Shikai, which is much better than breaking through the demon power bottleneck. Sanmao, Fudomaru shouted, and Sanmao, who had been afraid to approach him not far away, ran over wagging his tail. You're still here, I thought you ran away. Sanmao wagged his tail and stuck out his tongue with a flattering look on his face. Fudomaru kicked him over and said, FKU, don't act like a licking dog. While he was feeling disgusted with Sanmao, Fudomaru suddenly noticed that the spirits below were approaching here. Some of these spirits looked confused, but some seemed to have regained their consciousness. My lord, are you a god? Hearing this, Fudomaru was stunned for a moment and then spoke. It is strange that these spiritual bodies that have recovered their sanity have not turned into evil spirits. Advertisement. But this question, how should Fudomaru arrive? He is not a god, but in a sense, Shinigami can be considered a god? You can call me Shinigami. Shinigami. A kind of spirit body was stunned for a moment, but it quickly came to its senses. Can we live in these habitable areas you created? Moving into Rukonga? Don't you want to be reborn? Hokitomaru asked. The spirits were somewhat lost in thinking, but some of them shook their heads. If possible, I don't want to reincarnate so soon. After all, I don't want to forget the current memories. Hokitomaru smiled. Host can allow these spirits to live in, making it easy to observe the changes of the spirits. At the same time, you can also choose powerful spirits to assist the host in ensuring the operation of the underworld. Fudomaru thought so too. If there are no inhabited spirits in Rukonga, then what is the use of creating such a street? And in the future, you might be able to pick out some good guys and see if they can master the power of Shinigami like you do. Host can select powerful spirits and give them to the sealed state to collect their beliefs, thereby advancing the all-encompassing Zanpakuto simulation. Hearing this, Fudomaru was stunned. You can even collect beliefs? Furthermore, how can the beliefs of other spirits be collected to advance the simulation of all things? For the host, the belief cannot be easily changed, but for this skill, the belief can be changed at will. All right, Fudomaru reluctantly agreed with the statement that the great sage was not human. Give them sealed state. How do I give? Pull out teeth and make knives for them? No need, the host can already freely control the spirit sun, and it is enough to use the spirit sun to cast the sealed state. It only needs to slightly separate part of the power of Senluo Wangziang to fuse it to form the sealed state. 
That being said, it's time to put the establishment of Godi I-13 on the agenda, in order to allow your Zanpakuto to simulate a more powerful Zanpakuto as soon as possible. Advertisement. Chapter 25, Fu Domaro is missing and Immortal G is furious. Advertisement. Use the power of my Zanpakuto combined with the Spirit Sun to forge the sealed state. A simulation used to collect beliefs and deduce all kinds of things. Hokitomaru's eyes were shining now as he looked at this group of spirits. If they were not in this state, they would still be far from the level where Shinigami could be awarded the sealed state. I'm afraid that Fu Domaro will immediately give each of these spirits a sealed state. But it doesn't matter. If the spirit bodies and the others continue to pass away, then according to the great sage's words, these spirit bodies are naturally absorbing spirit seeds and increasing the density of their souls. Also known as Ryatsu. As time goes by, spiritual beings with extraordinary talents will naturally appear, and their Ryatsu will far exceed that of other spirits. Then this part of the spirit body is naturally qualified to become a Shinigami and can be granted the sealed state by Hokitomaru. Otherwise, it is just an ordinary spirit body, and it will be useless even if it is given a sealed state. Before the great sage, it was so troublesome for me to create a sealed state, why is it so easy now? Previously, the host could not create a sealed state by controlling the Ryatsu. It would naturally take longer to rely on the host's own Ryatsu. At the same time, the host's sealed state is very different. It has a physical form and can easily hurt people in the world. As for the sealed state created by Ryatsu, if Ryatsu does not reach a certain strength, it cannot cause damage to the entity and can only pose a threat to the spirit body. It turns out that's the case, and it makes sense. Why don't you try to create a few sealed states first, and if a suitable spirit appears, you can give them to them directly. Agree. The great sage also agreed with this idea, so Fidomaru had no reason to hesitate. Start directly. Advertisement. Control the spirit child to start casting the sealed state. However, Hokitomaru thought of things a little simpler. The time it took to control the spirit to condense different things was different. Casting a sealed state is not a simple matter. It may not take much time to build Rukonga, but it takes a lot of time to create a sealed state that can withstand the power of the soul. However, when Hokidomaru tried to create a sealed state, at this moment, in the Cloud Immortal Palace, the dog demon leader asked Genji and Hiseo to open the door. Although the two were very hesitant, this was Immortal Fairy Ling Yu's order and they had to obey. First knock on the door and try to wake up Fidomaru inside. However, after calling the door, no movement was heard inside. Both of them were confused. Master Fidomaru, Master Fudomaru, someone from the Inyeo clan wants to see you. Can you please come out and see me? After explaining his purpose, there was still no response. Something is not right about this situation. The two opened the door directly, and Genji and Hiseo entered the room with Inyeo and others. But I saw an empty room with nothing in it. Everyone's eyes widened. The dog demon commander even frowned. Are you lying to me? His Highness Fudomaru is not here at all. At this moment, Genji and Hiseo didn't have time to explain to this guy. Instead, he looked around the room anxiously. Where's Master Fudomaru? Advertisement. Why is it missing? Kyo, did you see Master Fudomaru leave the room? Hiseo shook his head and said firmly, No, absolutely not. Gone? How could he suddenly disappear? It was obvious that Master Fidomaru had not left the room. No matter how powerful Master Fidomaru was, he would never leave the room without leaving a trace. The two people's swaying and open looks made the dog demon commander feel that things were not what he thought. There was no reason for Master Fidomaru to avoid them on purpose. They are not evil people who want to do terrible things. It doesn't matter if they just meet each other. In the main hall, Immortal Fairy Ling Yu no longer had the peace she had before. Aren't you two fighting over little trouble? How come such a big person can disappear under your noses? Damn you two. The demonic energy exploded instantly, and a purple light hit Genji and Hiseo instantly. Boom, a dull crash sounded, and the two fell to their knees directly on the ground blood gushing out from the corners of their mouths and a casual blow from fairy lingyo can make the dog demon commander tremble with fear it is said that the dog demon admiral king duya is a powerful demon but now it seems that lady lingyo is not much different either the attack just now showed that immortal fairy lingyo had probably already entered the realm of a great demon he also became a terrifying monster that reached the level of a great monster it's just that fairy lingyo didn't go around fighting like king doya great demon although the dog demon clan has rules they don't have any rules for the big demons advertisement if the three elders knew that fairy lingyo was a great demon i am afraid they would not agree to secretly exile fairy lingyo to yunduan fairy palace look Find them all for me, search all the palaces. Immortal Fairy Lingyu said as she looked at the horizon, even if we turn the whole world upside down, we must find Xiao Fudo. At this moment, I felt the terrifying demonic power fluctuations of Lingyu Fairy Haki Lingran. The dog demon commander felt lingering fear. Fortunately, he had been very polite to Lady Lingyu Fairy before, otherwise, he might have been slapped to death now. The dog demon clan lost King Duya, so they should have kept a low profile at this time. But now Lady Lingyu Immortal Fairy is also a great demon. Although she may not be as good as King Duya, it is also a good thing for the dog demon clan. Thinking of this, the dog demon commander stood up bravely. My lady Lingyu Immortal, His Highness Fudomaro is one of the noblest bloodlines of the Inyeo clan, and the Inyeo clan will not ignore the disappearance of His Highness Fudomaro. Why don't you ask Lady Lingyu to return to the dog demon clan and mobilize more dog demons to find His Highness Fudomaro? The Immortal Palace is so big, Fudomaro shouldn't be hiding in the Immortal Palace. In the opinion of the Inyo commander, he probably ran out of the Immortal Palace. It's not easy to find if you run out of Immortal Palace. The world is so big, and the manpower in the Immortal Palace is limited, it is difficult to find Fudomaro. Returning to the dog demon clan and mobilizing the strength of the entire Quinyeo clan to search for him, the hope is even greater. No need. Xiao Fudo must be in the Immortal Palace. There is no way he would leave without telling me. Seeing that Fairy Ling Yu disagreed, the dog demon commander turned his eyes again. My Lady Ling Yu Immortal Fairy, this is a special period. Lord Duya King has just passed away. At this time, monsters from all sides are staring at the dog monster clan. His Highness Fudomaru is not very old. He may be playful and want to go out for a while, but if he is discovered by other monsters, I'm afraid. Immortal Fairy Ling Yu's eyes turned terrifyingly cold when she heard this. Indeed, what this guy said was right. 
Xiaofido was too young after all, so it was not impossible to sneak out just for fun. There are many enemies of King Duya and the enemies of the Dog Demon Clan. Okay, return to the Dog Demon Clan, and nothing will happen to Xiao Huido. Advertisement. Chapter 26 Return to the Immortal Palace and the Demon Clan is in turmoil. Advertisement. In the void, at the bottom of the passage to the afterlife, Fu Damaru sat cross-legged in the air. The surrounding spirits were constantly being gathered, and most of the spirits gathered in front of Fudomaru. It was used to create a sealed state, but a small part of the spirit child entered Hokidomaru's body. Being absorbed by Hokidomaru enhances the quality of the soul, in other words enhancing the Ryatsu. And this growth rate is also quite amazing. Soon the first sealed state forged from spirit seeds appeared. Hokidomaru also opened his eyes. Exhaling a long breath, Hokidomaru didn't immediately look at his sealed state, which was inextricably linked to his Zen Pakito. Instead, he looked at the passage to the afterlife above his head. If souls are decomposed from souls, then the passage to the afterlife is a machine for making souls. When a spirit body passes away, only a part of it really needs to be reincarnated, and the rest will be stripped away and eliminated by the passage of rebirth. Just like food on the assembly line, ensure that each product is the same size. Then the excess part needs to be cut off, and these cut out soul parts will naturally decompose into spirit suns. In other words, cultivating below the passage to the afterlife is simply getting twice the result with half the effort. Even when Fudomaru is not practicing, just by staying here, the speed of absorbing spirit seeds has been accelerated a lot. Riotso has been enhanced a lot. If you count it according to the Shinigami world, Fudomaru should be considered to have truly reached the captain level now. However, Zen Pakito is not yet able to Bankai, and Sen Luo Wanziang is not yet able to simulate Ryajin Jaka's Bankai. This is really a treasure place. The power of the underworld can be naturally absorbed through the underworld stone, but the absorption of the spirit sun has to rely on oneself. Advertisement. Hokitomaru said with a smile. Great sage, you said before that I had better not take the initiative to absorb the power of the underworld through my soul to practice, but now that there is a way to enhance Ryatsu by absorbing spirit suns, it is not difficult to calculate a practice method that relies on absorbing spirit suns to enhance Ryatsu. Bar. Host's idea can be realized. The power of the underworld is the power possessed by the entire underworld, which is as special as the power of the world. The spirit child is just the product of the decomposition of the soul power, so the two are different. After creating the Ryatsu training method, it seems that I will have to spend more time in the underworld. As he said this, Fudomaru suddenly thought of a big question. Not good. How long have I been in the underworld? About three days have passed in this world. Three days? Oh no, oh no, I disappeared for three days. I'm afraid my mother will give me a good beating when I go back. It would be fine if I had said hello in advance, but I didn't say hello. This time I won't be able to get my skin peeled off. But there was nothing that could be done about it. This encounter in the underworld made Fidomaru immersed in it for a while. After all, the feeling of increased strength is so addictive. We have to go back. We can't stay here any longer. Hokitomaru glanced at the houses on Rukonga where spirits were already living in them one after another. Sanmao. When the underworld dog Sanmao was called over, Fudomaru was stunned for a moment. Was it his own imagination? Why does it feel like Sanmao has grown a lot bigger? Do not care. I'm going to leave for a while. You keep this place safe. If you find an evil spirit attacking a normal spirit body, you go and eat it. Do you understand? Sanmao nodded, wagging his tail and sticking out his tongue at Fudomaru as if he understood. Advertisement. Forget it, that's it. This stupid dog understands as long as he understands, and it doesn't matter if he doesn't understand. It's just a few days away, and the evil spirit won't cause any big trouble if it comes back again. Hokidomaru glanced at the sealed state he had just forged in his hand. Although the sealed state can only be regarded as a clone of his Zen Pakito, but I didn't expect that it would take so much time. It seems that the idea of giving a sealed state to all spirits is impossible to realize. In the future, it will be necessary to select spirits with good potential and give them sealed state. Otherwise, you will waste your precious time. But where does the sealed state sit now? There is no need to take it back, and it is impossible to just throw it away in the underworld. After taking a look at Sanmao, Fudomaru was about to throw it to Sanmao so that he could take a look at it. Host can integrate the sealed state into its own Zen Pakito. The sealed state already has a bit of the power of host Zen Pakito and can be overlapping and fused. Okay, it would be better to not have to worry about where to put it. Of course, the sealed state integrated into Zen Pakito will not add any power to Fudomaru's Zen Pakito. The next second, Fudomaru activated the underworld stone and directly opened the passage. One step passed through the passage and returned to the fairy palace. However, when he came back, Fudomaru rushed out in a hurry. At the door, Genji and Hiseo have disappeared. This is a little weird. Ryatsu was released instantly, and the spread of spiritual energy allowed Fudomaru to instantly perceive the situation in the entire Asgard. There seemed to be two-thirds fewer monsters stationed there. At the same time, his mother, Ling Yu Zianji, was not here, nor were Genji and Hiseo. What the hell? It was only three days, and they went somewhere. But fortunately, Yezii is still there. Hokitomaru casts Shunpo directly. He quickly arrived at the garden where Izu was. Advertisement. Izu, who was worried about Fudomaru and Ling Yu Senji, looked at the carps in the pond. These carps were just one step away from turning into monsters. Seeing them chattering in the water as if talking about something, Izu smiled helplessly. I don't understand it at all. Yoko, where is mother? Why are there so few monsters in the fairy palace? Hearing this familiar voice, Izu turned around suddenly, and the bait in his hand fell directly to the ground. Yoko, who was stunned for a second, reacted and rushed directly towards Hutamaro. Master Fudomaro, it's great that you're okay. You have been missing these days. Izu is very worried about you. Fortunately, Lady Lingyu Fairy has found you. Fortunately, Master Fudomaro, you are fine. The demon world is very dangerous now. Master Fudomaro had better not run around. After saying so much in succession, Fudomaru was stunned for a moment. Mother went to find me? No wonder she's not in the fairy palace. I think Genji and Hiseo should have gone out with fairy Lingyu. However, just now Izu said that the demon world is in danger now? Izu, you said the demon world is very dangerous. What's wrong? Did something happen? Seeing the confused look on Fudomaru's face, Yako was also stunned. Didn't Master Fudomaru be found by Lady Lingyu fairy? Don't you know that the demon world is in chaos now? What's going on? 
Fidomaru looked at Yako very seriously. Yako adjusted her mood and briefly told him what happened after Fidomaru disappeared. However, Fidomaru was suddenly shocked when he heard the news that King Tuga was dead. Is this death? The dragon bone spirit was sealed and died together with Setsuna Mengmaru for his Aoi. King Tuga died like this, so our protagonist Inuyasha was also born? King Duya is dead, why is the demon world in chaos? Iza didn't know how to explain this. Master Fu Domaru, Lord Duya King is the pillar of the West Demon Kingdom. Without King Duya's suppression, all the major demon clans in the entire West Demon Kingdom will be ready to take action. Advertisement. Chapter 27 The soul of the ruined royal city grows into bones. Advertisement. The demon world is in chaos. What's so messy about the demon world? Fu Dumara felt a little incomprehensible, even though King Doya, as the king of Doya of the Western Demon Kingdom, was said to be the king. But in fact, there are no subordinates. Every time I see him in the anime, he is alone, and there is no pomp and circumstance that a king should have. Master Fu Dumaro, if King Dauga dies, the Inuyu clan will of course be in chaos, and the enemies of the Inuyu clan will also take the opportunity to attack the Inuyu clan. The Dog Demon clan is in chaos? Chen, how many people can there be? They can't hold up thousands of monsters to death? Is this considered a chaos in the monster world? Yazi was also confused. How many thousand? Then he slowly looked at Fidomaru, and now he finally discovered the shortcomings of the talented dog demon young master around him. I'm afraid I don't know anything about the situation of the demon clan. Master Fidomaru, the number of orthodox dog demons with Tengu blood in the dog demon clan is indeed small, but other dog demons will also rely on the dog demon clan with Tengu blood. That is Master Fidomaru's father. Although these dog demons are not of the Tengu bloodline, their total number is not 100,000, but 50,000. Huh? Fidomaru was confused. Is this the first time I heard that the dog demon clan is so huge? Before Iza finished speaking, add in some mountain elves and other little monsters, the number may really be as many as 100,000. As for the monster clan war, there are at least tens of thousands of monsters fighting. Fidomaru now came back to his senses and smiled helplessly, had he underestimated this world too much? Every time I see King Duya fighting alone, I feel that the wars in this world are probably just small fights involving a few thousand people. After all, this is a world created with neon history as the background, and a few thousand versus a few thousand is considered a war. But I didn't expect it to be completely different from what Hokitomaru had imagined. Suddenly Fidomaru thought of Fairy Lingyu. Advertisement. Under such circumstances, it would indeed be very dangerous for immortal Fairy Lingyu to leave the immortal palace to find herself. Mother, where is mother? Do you know where she went to find me? Nzi nodded. When Lady Lingyu Immortal left, she said she would go to the royal city first. Going to the royal city? It seems that he wants to mobilize more monsters from the dog monster family to look for him. If he is not in immortal palace, he could be anywhere. Of course, the more manpower he has, the faster he can find someone. Otherwise, immortal fairy Lingyu might have to find the monkey ear and the horse moon alone. I see. Nzi, guard the immortal palace. If my mother sends people back, tell them that they have found me. I will go to the royal city now to see if I can meet my mother. After saying this, Fudomaru jumped up and the demonic aura swept out. Just let Fudomaru fly away. Nzi was left in a daze. Master Fudomaru. Are you able to fly freely now? This ability also marks that Fidomaru's noble bloodline has awakened. The distance between the Imperial City and the Immortal Palace was not short, but Fidomaru was flying at full speed. The double burst of demonic power and Ryatsu is incredibly fast. When many humans accidentally looked at the sky, they saw Hokitomaru flashing past like a shooting star. When Fidomaru arrived at the royal castle, it was already sunset. Standing in the air, Hokitomaru's eyes narrowed slightly. Looking at the originally majestic royal city below, it was now shrouded in flames. King Duya has only been dead for a few days. Has the royal city been burned down? The chaos in the demon world is indeed not just talk. It's been three days. Fairy Lingyu came here three days ago, and now that the royal city is like this, Fairy Lingyu doesn't know if anything is wrong. Fidomaru quickly landed. The flames were automatically dispersed by Fidomaru's demonic energy, and the high temperature was simply ignored by Fidomaru. Advertisement. Fall into the palace in the royal city. Fidomaru looked around and saw corpses of monsters everywhere. The demonic aura soared into the sky above the royal city, and the terrifying evil aura made the entire royal city appear eerie and strange even though it was burned by fire. And these piles of corpses are basically the corpses of various animals. Among them, the corpses of dog monsters are the most numerous, and they are all monsters that maintain the appearance of dogs, but can wear clothes and armor like humans. Even if these monsters are the lowest level monsters, even if they become spiritually intelligent, they cannot transform into human beings. And there seems to be quite a few low-level monsters in the form of cats. Cat demon. Hokitomaru frowned. I don't know if I can still find a living person, otherwise Fidomaru doesn't know where to learn about the changes in the royal city. However, no one was found alive in the entire palace. That's right, even if there were monsters who survived, they would have fled for their lives long ago. Those who had no way to escape were burned to death by the flames, and there was no way they could survive until now. Hateful? So many changes have occurred in three days. My mother has not returned to the fairy palace, which means she is still outside. I don't know exactly what is going on now. When Fidomaru was angry, he suddenly saw a black shadow floating out of the flames. The other party actually ignored the flames. The next second a familiar feeling came over me. Is this a spirit body? Fidomaru was stunned for a moment. Did he not enter the underworld after death, but stay in the royal city? The opponent suddenly rushed towards Fidomaru, and the evil spirit looked like a shadow on the ground. But in terms of form, it should be a dog demon. But at this moment, the opponent was waving his claws and attacking at Hokitomaru. A low-level spirit like Fidomaru, silent, is just like a low-level monster, and its strength is not very good at all, so it can handle ordinary people. A casual knife. Zanpakito cuts off the opponent's arm directly. Advertisement. The moment he cut off the opponent's arm, Hokitomaru was stunned for a moment. The opponent's claws were actually covered with bones? What's this? How can a spirit body have physical bones? Ah, uh, screams sounded. The sound the other party made made Fidomaru even more confused. Ordinary spirits do not have their own consciousness. The other party looked more like an evil spirit before. If it were an evil spirit, it would not scream because of being injured. Looking at the spirit body rolling in front of him. Are you the soul of the dog demon? The other party was stunned for a moment, then floated up and looked at Fidomaru. This is, the purple demon mark, the crescent moon mark. Are you a master of the dog demon royal family? 
Dog demon? Royal family? Never mind, tell me what happened to Wang Chang. Has immortal fairy Ling Yu been here? Where has she gone? Only now did the other party notice his body. I, what's wrong with me? Suddenly, Hokidomaru's Zen Pakito was pulled out directly, and the blade hung directly above the opponent's head. Answer my question? Stop talking nonsense. The trembling spirit was frightened and looked at Fudomaru's Zen Pakito in great horror. From above he felt the terrible breath of death. The royal city was attacked by many monsters led by the Ocelot clan. It was captured a day ago, and Lady Ling Yu, immortal fairy, as well as many of the dog demon royal family, retreated with the dog demon clan. Retreat? Where did you retreat to? Ying, he must have retreated to the dog demon clan. Where? Advertisement. Chapter 28 The Real Battlefield Between Cats and Dogs Advertisement The whistling wind kept ringing in my ears. Fudomaru quickly moved towards the Inuyeo clan's clan in the air. At this moment, in addition to thinking about Ling Yu Fairy, Fudomaru was also thinking about the spirit body from before. After the other party told him the location of the Inuyeo clan, Fudomaru sent the other party directly to the underworld. Zanpakuto is also connected to the underworld stone. In this case, Zanpakuto also seems to have the ability to purify the spirit body in Shinigami. Just hit the spirit body with the hilt of the knife to send the spirit body to the underworld for rebirth. But what Hokudomaru is a little confused about is why the spirit body has white bones growing on it. It's like, before Fudomaru could think too much, a strong smell of blood came. He gently sniffed the smell of blood in the air. Hokidomaru quickly fell to the ground, looking at the remains of bodies on the ground. There are the corpses of the dog demon clan and the ocelot clan that attacked the dog demon. Is there a fight between cats and dogs? Fudomaru felt a little speechless, but looking at the corpses of monsters left on this battlefield, there were probably no less than three or four thousand. The war in this world is also not small. It was indeed different from the small fight that I had imagined. The size of the Ocelot clan's army might be astonishing. A small battlefield can leave so many corpses of monsters. You can imagine how terrifying the real battlefield is. Jumping into the air, Fudomaru continued to rush towards the Inuyu clan's territory. The tribe of the Dog Demon clan is located in the middle of the West Demon Kingdom. According to the previous description of the Dog Demon spirit, it was in a valley crevice. There seemed to be some kind of mysterious space conceived in the cracks. Because of the special nature of the Tengu bloodline, it was discovered there by accident and would soon occupy the land of the Inuyeo clan. In other words, the Dog Demon clan is in a strange little world. This didn't surprise Fudomaru too much. Advertisement. If there wasn't such a place, there wouldn't be so many demon clans. No matter how the war between the Dog Demon clan and the Leopard Cat clan goes, nothing will happen to his mother, Fairy Ling Yu. Hokutomaru stared ahead with a calm expression and accelerated again. Outside the Dog Demon clan, in the crack of the canyon at the entrance. Although this is a crack in a canyon, the road is still wide, but if you want to enter the land of the Dog Demon clan, you need to pass through this long canyon. At this moment, a large number of dog demons gathered outside the canyon cracks. Three mountains divided the entire battlefield into three parts. A large-scale war is breaking out here. In the battlefield, Seshomaru kept going back and forth, taking out groups of cat demons. However, Seshomaru is not a tireless killing machine, not to mention that the current Seshomaru is far from reaching the level of a Deo. After killing three to four hundred monsters, the monster's power became significantly weaker. Suddenly, a terrifying demon bomb hit Seshomaru. Although Seshomaru escaped, the dog demon behind him suffered numerous casualties. The strong smell of blood echoed over the battlefield. Ha ha ha, kill these dog monsters, weaken their strength, and invade the dog monster clan's territory one by one. On the battlefield, there was an extremely huge cat demon, wearing a giant armor like a human, with sharp claws like sickles on his hands, black and yellow hair, and a cat demon with a broken tail. However, Uzumaki, with the terrifying fluctuations in demonic power and the amazing demonic aura emanating from him, is, a big demon. The other party walked towards Seshomaru. Is this His Highness Seshomaru, who inherited the bloodline of King Tuga? That's great. To be able to grow to this extent at the age of about 150 years old is worthy of Duya King's bloodline. As he spoke, the other party licked his bloody paws. But it's a pity, I'm going to die here today. The huge body suddenly burst out at an astonishing and terrifying speed, and the ground shook crazily. But the other party suddenly closed the distance between him and Seshomaru, and came down with his claws to slap Seshomaru hard. Advertisement. Cold sweat broke out on Seshomaru's forehead. When being targeted by a big demon, the opponent's attack cannot be avoided simply by trying to avoid it. But the next second, dang, sparks flew out, and an emerald green blade stood in front of Seshomaru. Seshomaru frowned. Seshomaru, please step back first, I will deal with this guy. Looking at the guy who saved one of his own, Seshomaru didn't thank him but instead looked a little ugly. His arrogance does not allow him to be protected by others. Liya, you guys don't get in the way. Today we will deal with the remaining bloodline of King Doya. Go away and I can let you take the other dog demons away. The demonic energy of the dog demon known as Liya suddenly erupted, and the green blade instantly released a strange green light. The huge burst of power directly lifted the huge cat demon away. I won't see Doya's son die here. Just as Liya finished speaking, a demonic wind swept over him. Liya was instantly enveloped. Even though the demon power was activated immediately to protect the body, several wounds still appeared on Kelia's body. Arrogant guy, you can stop us no matter how you do it. Among the group of cat demons, the other cat demon also turned into a human form, but still retained cat ears and cat tail. The opponent's body possesses powerful demon power fluctuations. Surprisingly, he is also a great demon. Master Sanming is here. Very good. Seshomaru came behind Rikia. Three lives? They are the nine lives of the Ocelot clan. Yeah, Liya's face didn't look good. Advertisement. The Ocelot has nine lives. From 1 to 9, there are 9 great demon level cat demons in total. Each of them has extraordinary strength. Previously, there was only one with one life. Now there is a three-lived cat demon with two great demon levels. Ria looked back at Seshomaru. I can only hold them off for a while. You'd better take the opportunity to escape first. Escape? Seshomaru's pride would not allow him to escape at such a time. Walking out from Ria's side, Seshomaru looked at the great cat demon that had just appeared. Escape is nothing more than escaping back to the clan. It's better to die here than to do that. Ria didn't expect Seshomaru to be unwilling to escape. Why would he be so stubborn if he didn't have to worry about leaving Qingshan without firewood? A young brat, not very strong, but he has a lot of backbone. 
San Mi, I look at Seshomaro. Since you still have a bit of Dao Jiu's demeanor, I'll give you a quicker death. Uh huh. Instantly accelerating, the speed of the cat demon is even more astonishing than that of the dog demon. A moment, Seshomaro felt the strong wind coming from his side, but he had no time to react. Is this the power of the great demon? It's completely different from ordinary monsters. Even though he already possesses elite level demon power, he is still weak in front of the big demon. Li Ya wanted to rush forward to block the opponent, but it was too late. Seshomaru. There was a hint of disdain on San Ming's face, the bloodline of King Do Ya, let's bury it here. The sharp claws went straight for Seshomaru's neck. A scarlet light suddenly lit up, Chiang. An extremely clear impact sounded. Seshomaru's eyes narrowed rapidly, and in front of him, was a sword that was completely black. Advertisement. Chapter 29 Long time no see, my brother. Advertisement. Varied. San Ming looked at the claws that were still sending out sparks, the hands that were struggling slightly, and the black knife that suddenly appeared and blocked his attack. The demonic aura emanating from it is very strong. It was as red as fire, and the demonic energy wrapped around the blade, burning like a flame. The red light flashed, and the sudden burst of fluctuations shook him away suddenly. After San Ming stepped back 10 meters to stabilize his figure, he slowly raised his head and looked at the person in front of him, who, all eyes on the battlefield were focused here, and even Li Ya was slightly startled. Blocked? Someone actually blocked the attack of the great cat demon. Who was this? Looking at the knife with a strong demonic aura flowing around it, the hand holding the knife looked very white and thin. The flow of red light slowly spreads. A short figure appeared. Seshomaru stared at the person in front of him, his eyes full of differences. You, how, how could you? After blocking the big demon's attack, this guy's appearance has changed a lot. He has grown taller and lost weight. But the purple demon lines on the opponent's face and the crescent mark on his forehead undoubtedly indicate one thing, that is, this guy is also an Inu demon of the Tengo bloodline of the Inu demon clan. And the other person's face was so childish that Seshomaru's mind instantly recalled the figure in the palace in the past. It's just that the current opponent has grown a lot taller in comparison. Riki looked at Hutamaru's face and saw the demon marks on the other person's face. Everyone was confused. This guy is also from the dog demon clan, and he still has the blood of Tengu. He has never seen him among the royal family. Where did he come from? Etc. Advertisement. King Duya also has a son, but he was born not long ago, only about 10 years ago. His age seems to be somewhat consistent with the young-looking dog demon boy in front of him. Could it be? Is this boy another son of King Duya? Immortal Fairy Lingyu left the Immortal Palace this time, wasn't it just to find this boy? Who are you? San Ming asked this question for Li Ya. However, Hokutomaru slowly withdrew Zanpakuto and did not answer the other party's question. Instead, he looked back at the pale Seshomaru. At this moment, Seshomaru seemed to be in very bad condition, with many injuries on his body, and his demonic energy also appeared to be very weak. All the monsters, whether they were dog monsters or cat monsters, were very curious about the sudden appearance of Hokutomaru, especially the dog demon. They wouldn't even recognize the demon marks on the face of Hokutomaru, a member of the dog demon royal family. That's the royal family. When did the royal family have such a member? How come we have never seen it before? Who is he? It's actually able to block the attack of the big demon of the cat tribe. So, amazing. The little demons all had very exaggerated expressions. He stared at Hokutomaru dumbfounded. Futomaru, on the other hand, looked at Seshomaru. Long time no see, my brother. One sentence instantly exploded among the monsters like thunder. That guy calls his highness Seshomaru brother. Doesn't it mean that he is his highness Seshomaru's younger brother? Of course, do you still need to talk about this relationship? His royal highness Seshomaru has a younger brother? No, it should be King Tuga who has other sons. There seems to be one, but I heard it was only born a dozen years ago. Over ten years? When these words came out, the corners of Sanming's mouth twitched slightly. Advertisement. Are you kidding me? How could a demon who was only ten years old be able to block a blow from a big demon of the cat tribe? Impossible? Absolutely impossible? Even with the bloodline of the Tengu clan, it is impossible for a teenage dog demon to have the power to fight against the great demon. It seems that after the death of King Duya, the situation of the dog demon clan is not optimistic. Fudomaru said calmly. He doesn't have much favorable impressions of the dog demon clan, Hokutomaru. After all, they are the ones who have exiled their mother for a thousand years. When Seshomaru heard that Fudomaru still had no respect for his father's words, his eyes suddenly darkened. What are you doing in a place like this? This is a battle between the Inyeo clan and the Ocelot clan, and it has nothing to do with you. Hokutomaru smiled. Don't get me wrong, I didn't come here specifically to save you, but I came to ask where your mother is. Hearing this, Seshomaru frowned and looked at Fudomaru's disrespect towards his father just now. Seshomaru did not want to tell Fudomaru, but Fudomaru had saved him just now after all. Have no idea. The two brothers were talking as if no one was around. The face of the cat tribe's great demon Sanming slowly turned gloomy. This kid seemed to be of the bloodline of King Duya, but what happened just now was why he was able to block his attack. It's impossible for a mere teenage demon to stop a big demon like himself. And with his back turned to him like this, completely ignoring himself, he is not young but his arrogance is far more than that of his father Doya King. Court death? The demonic energy flowed instantly, and astonishing fluctuations of demonic energy flowed rapidly on Sanming's cat claws. The moment Li Ya saw the opponent's demonic energy flowing, he had already rushed forward and said, Be careful. However, in the next second, a powerful shock wave of demonic energy erupted directly from Sanming's claws, flashed through the air. It instantly hit Li Ya who was blocking with his sword. Boom, Liya flew backwards and blocked the opponent's attack in a hurry. He was not seriously injured. Liya was worthy of being a great demon of the dog clan. But it has obviously consumed a lot of demon power, and now it can only be regarded as struggling to support it. But Futamaru turned around and glanced at San Mi. Sneak attack. Advertisement. It's so ridiculous that a great demon still uses such methods. The cat demon San Ming snorted coldly, to deal with you damn dog demons, there is no need to be upright, as long as you can kill them, it is enough. You are also the son of King Duya, right? Yes. Fudomaru admitted generously. The cat demon San Ming sneered, yes, as a bloodline of Doya King, you seem to have some courage. Although I don't know what means you used to block my attack just now, but I don't believe that you are a dog who has only been in the world for more than 10 years. You little devil can always block my attacks. 
Boom, the demonic power burst out, and the manic demonic aura swept away. The huge creature also came closer. The bloodline of King Duya must not be preserved, they must be killed. Listen to all the cat demons, kill those two dog demons with all your strength, and be sure to eliminate the bloodline of King Duya. After receiving the order, the cat demons all focused on Fidomaru and Seshomaru. And Fidomaru glanced at these little demons. Boring, these miscellaneous soldiers are not worth fighting for, but they are really noisy. Hokitomaru held the Zenpakuto with his left hand and gently pushed the handle of the knife with his thumb. The moment the blade is unsheathed. Ryatsu, break out. The terrifying Ryatsu was released instantly. In an instant, all the monsters felt a sudden and terrifying pressure, which suddenly came and pressed hard on them. My body seemed to become extremely heavy and I couldn't move. Seshomaru was closest to Futomaru, and the calmness on his face was finally broken. I looked at this younger brother who was much younger than me with great shock. What was this power he released? Momentum? Just the release of momentum makes people feel as if they can't breathe. How? How could he have such power? Only 15 years old. Advertisement. Chapter 30 The First Battle Against the Big Demon. Advertisement. The captain level Ryatsu of Hokitomaru exploded, and for the little demon, the impact was no less than that of a comet hitting the earth. Although Hokitomaru is not tall and can even be said to be short. But at this moment, they are in the sight of these little demons. Hokitomaru's figure seemed to rise instantly, pressing towards them like a huge mountain. Ryatsu swept the entire audience, causing all the little demons to look at Hokitomaru with horrified expressions. San Miyai looked at Fidomaru and he was a little confused as to why a dog demon brat would release, release such a strong aura. It is impossible for such a young person to have such momentum. So what if the momentum is amazing? Boy, your momentum is amazing. But you can't win a battle just by relying on your momentum. As the strong demonic energy rolled out, the cat demon's three lives turned into afterimages and rushed towards Fidomaru. At this moment Seshomaru frowned and moved slightly forward. But the next second, Hokitomaru's voice sounded. What a powerful demon. It's worthy of being a great demon. Let's try the legendary great demon's fighting power. Hokitomaru's figure disappeared. When he reappeared, Fidomaru appeared directly in the air. Bang bang. Hokidomaru did not draw his sword, but instead waved his claws to attack the opponent, colliding with his elbow. The demonic aura of the two people instantly stirred up, and the demonic auras collided with each other. The three lives in the air were stunned for a moment, as if they didn't expect that the kid in front of them was so fast. And the demonic energy erupting from Fidomaru's body is so strong. This level of demonic energy seems to be only one step away from the great demon. Impossible? 15? He is only one step away from becoming a great demon. How is this possible? Advertisement. In the history of monsters, no monster of any race has ever been able to become a great monster so quickly. Which big demon can't finally become the big demon that dominates a place after thousands of years of precipitation? How is this possible for this brat? At this moment, not only Samming was in disbelief, but cat demon Yiming was also stunned. The eyes of the dog demon Ria also shook rapidly. What kind of monster is King Duya's youngest son? His demonic power can be so strong that he is only one step away from becoming a real great demon. Is this kid really only 15 years old? The collision between Fudomaru and the cat demon's three lives, the strength of the demon's energy is almost the same. The two of them flew back upside down. After landing on the ground, Hokitomaru quickly stabilized his body, opened his hands suddenly, and the demonic power in his body exploded crazily, instantly turning into a tide of demonic energy that swept away. And this moment, Seshomaru was enveloped in the demonic aura of Fudomaru. Feeling Fudomaru's majestic demonic energy, this level of demonic energy has completely surpassed him. Ha ha ha, what an amazing boy. He is worthy of the bloodline of King Duya. He is able to grow to such an extent at this age. If we, the three lives, work together to deal with this brat, the dog demon clan will be in great pain. Yi Ming suddenly spoke, and San Ming, who was still surprised, suddenly came back to his senses. Indeed, since this kid is such a monster, then kill him here. Then the losses for the dog demon clan would be quite heavy. Okay, do it. Two against one. Hokitomaru just frowned slightly. The fight just now gave Fidomaru a rough idea of the extent of the Deus power. Although he is still a little behind in terms of monster power, of course this last gap is an insurmountable barrier for monsters. Even if it's just one step away, it's very difficult to kill the great demon without becoming one. But there is no problem for Hokitomaru. So what if he fights against the Deo with Ryatsu's blessing, even two of them? Advertisement. Boom, boom, boom. The cat demon's first life is huge, like a hill, but its speed is not slow. Even judging from the flow of the opponent's demonic energy, his demonic energy is larger than that of the third life. The defense and strength are very pervert without even thinking about it. At this moment, it was like a chariot rushing towards Fudomaru's direction on the battlefield. With an unstoppable momentum, Ria was ready to help Fudomaru, but Fudomaru took the initiative in the next second. Shunpo, the afterimage of Fudomaru was left in place. This incredible speed stunned Liya. What speed is this? Can it actually leave an afterimage in place? The next second, Kodomaru, who appeared out of thin air in front of Ichime, waved his fist and struck at Ichime's chest. Bang bang, there was a loud noise, and the collision of demonic energy caused astonishing ripples, and the huge body of the cat demon who was in collision stopped directly. Ichime stared at the little Hokitomaru on his chest with his eyes widened. He slapped Fudomaru fiercely with both hands. The air made an alarming explosion. Ichime successfully captured Hokitomaru. You little brat who doesn't know how to live or die, how dare you come over to me? I'm powerful enough to beat you to a pulp. Ha ha ha. Samming also rushed over, is it solved? He also knew the power of one life, and being hit was no joke. It will definitely turn into pureed meat directly. Certainly. Yi Ming said confidently, and when he was about to let go of his hand, a strange burning sensation suddenly came. Advertisement. Fuseo. A faint voice sounded, and this voice naturally belonged to Fu Dumaru. The next second, Yi Ming's eyes expanded instantly, and a white light flashed through. His fingers fell off one after another. The severe pain caused Yi Ming's figure to shake and he kept retreating. At the same time, he was forced to loosen his hands. Fudomaru, who was slowly withdrawing Zanpakuto, was not what he imagined being turned into a pulp. Seeing the scene, San Ming's jaw almost dropped. His Ming's body defense was quite perverted, and someone actually easily blocked his attack and even chopped off his fingers. Yi Ming had just gained a foothold and had not yet reacted. Hidomaru stepped on Shunpo's face again. 
Speaking of strength, I am very confident in my own strength. As he said this, Fudomaru raised his hand again and suddenly made a fist, punching Kazume's chest very horizontally. At this moment, in Kazume's eyes, Katamara's seemingly inconspicuous little fist seemed to carry a terrifying aura. It was like a mountain crashing down suddenly. Boom, with a solid punch, the armor on Yiming's chest instantly dented, and his huge body suddenly flew up under the force of terrifying power. Fly straight backwards? The short stature of Fudomaru was compared to the huge stature of Issei. Just like Zaya does it, but such a huge size difference caused the latter to be blown away instantly. This situation made all the monsters present, whether they were dog monsters or cat monsters, instantly stunned. Impossible, why does this kid have such terrifying power? That's a big monster. Just like that, he was blown away by a punch. Okay, the big guy is taken care of, now it's your turn. Fudomaru's voice sounded, and his eyes were fixed on San Miai, who couldn't help but shudder. Advertisement. Chapter 31 The effect of 40 times accelerated thinking. Advertisement. One life, although it is the weakest among the nine lives of the Ocelot. However, pervert's defense and terrifying power are still recognized by other Ocelot demons. And this kid in front of me, one punch directly and violently crushed his life. What power is this? He was only 15 years old, and his demonic power was nine steps away from that of a great demon, and his physique seemed to be very pervert. How could he be so strong at this age? The cat demons of the Ocelot clan, at Fudomaru's age, could only be regarded as little babblers. But the other party actually already possesses this level of combat effectiveness. It's all so unreal. It even made San Ming feel like he was dreaming now. Shunpo? Suddenly, the figure of Fudomaru appeared quietly behind San Miai like a ghost. So fast? San Ming's eyes widened, feeling the terrifying wave of demonic energy suddenly emerging from behind him. How could he be faster than himself? The Ocelot clan completely beat the dog demon clan in terms of speed, but now he was actually surpassed by someone in turn. Under such circumstances, it is simply unbelievable. Turn back, just wave your claws, dang dang. Two crisp collision sounds sounded, the demonic energy spread, and San Ming also retreated and distanced himself with the help of the force of the collision. However, the next second a cold blade hovered directly in front of him. Too slow. Hotamura's cold voice sounded, and the three life cat pupils shrank rapidly. Advertisement. The demon power burst out instantly, you bastard, don't underestimate the big demon. Soul stealing blood claw, the demonic energy that swept out from San Miai's claws instantly turned into blood red guang and swept towards Fudomaru's direction. Looking at the shockingly powerful attack, Hokutomaru gently waved the Zenpakuto in his hand. Riotsu and demon power surge at the same time. Even though what he was holding was not a piece of iron broken teeth, it was still in Fudomaru's perception. You can clearly feel the gaps where the demonic energy flows. Although Zenpakuto couldn't cut the wind wound like Tetsuya, but he could detect the gap where the demonic energy flowed, so it would be easy to defeat this attack. He raised his hand and slashed at the gap in the demonic energy. The next second, with only a weak amount of demonic energy, Fudomaru easily defeated the attack of the cat demon San Miai. It seemed that he blocked the attack of a big demon with just a slight swing of the knife. Sesomaru's expression changed slightly, this, how is this done? Fudomaru didn't release any strong power at all, so why did he disintegrate the opponent's attack so lightly? His movements, even in Sesomaru's eyes, seemed to be partly similar to King Tuga. Every time my father struck out with the wind wound, it seemed to be such an understatement. Did my father teach this guy anything? While thinking about it, Hokutomaru has activated Shunpo continuously, and his figure flashes several times. In the horrified eyes of the group of monsters, a white light appeared on Hokutomaru's and Pakito, and he slashed at San Miai from different directions one after another. A simple slashing wave of demonic energy was almost unstoppable to San Ming, a great demon. Containing both demon power and Riotsu, Hokutomaru's slashing attacks become a bit weird. Boom, a slashing wave swept out, and the ground was instantly cut open, leaving a deep ravine. At the same time, the great leopard cat demon San Ming gave up even resisting and chose to dodge directly. The slashing wave raged past. As the big demon, San Ming dodged, but the little demons of the Ocelot clan behind him suffered. A dozen cat monsters were wiped out with one strike. Advertisement. As Fudomaru's continuous slashing attacks broke out, although San Miai was able to dodge every time, many cat demons of the Ocelot clan were killed. Under Fudomaru's slashing attack, these monsters were broken into pieces like tofu, and Fudomaru looked at the three lives that kept dodging. His brain was thinking rapidly, and a scene similar to a 3D simulation seemed to appear in his mind, and Hokutomaru vaguely seemed to see the opponent's movement trajectory, and the next direction of avoidance. Hokutomaru looked at the direction in which the three lives that seemed to appear in his field of vision were to avoid. Raise your hand and slash. The demonic energy swept over Ryatsu and exploded instantly. The sword fell, and this time it did not release a slashing wave of monster energy, but compressed the air with pure power, forming an invisible invisible attack. The next moment, San Miai ran directly in that direction just as Fudomaru had predicted. Phew, the compressed air formed a terrifying shock wave, instantly tearing apart San Ming's armor and demonic defenses, leaving a deep wound on his shoulder. Liya's eyes froze at this moment. Hit, and why does it look like this guy did it himself? The youngest son of King Duya seemed to have predicted the opponent's route in advance. What a magical ability this is. How could he predict other people's actions? How is this going? Have I awakened any new abilities? Great Sage, it's not that the host has gained new abilities, but that the host is in a state where thinking acceleration is turned on. The host's thinking acceleration is a full 41 time. With such accelerated thinking, Host's five senses are greatly enhanced, and it is normal to predict the actions of such a slow opponent. Very normal? The speed of three lives is not too slow anymore? The great sage actually said that he was a slow opponent, but it was almost the same, and his speed was indeed not very good. Injured? San Ming's eyes widened and he looked at the blood dripping from his shoulder in disbelief. Advertisement. As a great demon, he was actually injured, and he was injured by a guy who was not a great demon at all. There's something, something wrong with this rat. No, this can't go on. This little son of King Duya is too strange. If he continues like this, he will probably die. Three lives. Suddenly there was a loud shout, and San Ming suddenly turned his head and looked behind. His life was shattered by a punch from Fudomaru, and now his eyes were red and his fingers were all cut off by Fudomaru. 
As a great demon, when had he ever experienced such humiliation? I saw it hugging a mountain peak, turning its body and throwing a mountain peak this way. At the same time, Sanming also reacted immediately. Run, there is also a big demon of the dog demon clan, Ria, who is so pervert for a single kid. If Ria joins forces with him, neither he nor Ichime will be able to escape today. Boom, the huge mountain peaks were like falling meteorites, heading towards the dog demon. Fudomaru was naturally able to easily dodge this attack, but the dog demons behind him couldn't dodge it. Unable to do anything, Fudomaru instantly jumped into the air. Looking at the entire mountain that was thrown at him, Fudomaru whispered. Everything, Ryujin Jaka, is reduced to ashes. A flame ignited on the blade, and a cluster of flames danced on the tip. At this moment, the huge black shadow gradually expanded, covering the dog demon clan. The faces of the dog demons gradually turned into extremely frightened ones. And the next second, Hokutomaru opened his eyes, and the blazing heat spread. Ryujin Jaka waved in Hutamaru's hand. Boom, endless flames suddenly appeared, like a big hand directly wrapping the mountain peaks in the sky. Fudomaru slowly closed his eyes as he slowly sheathed his sword. The city is in flames. The moment the blade was sheathed, the flames dissipated and the mountain peak disappeared as well. Advertisement. Chapter 32 Master Fudomaru, I finally see you. Advertisement. Hokutomaru's figure floated in midair. The previous huge black shadow also disappeared without a trace. All the dog monsters stared blankly at the empty sky with their eyes wide open, as if the previous scene was nothing but an illusion. Only the gradually dissipating flames told all the dog demons that the one just now was not an illusion. The little demons of the Ocelot clan below were also stunned. Everyone seemed to have seen a ghost. Such a huge mountain peak completely disappeared in the blink of an eye. Even a real great demon might not be able to do what Fudomaru did and wipe out an entire mountain in such a short time. Where is Lord Sanming? Suddenly a cat demon asked, but the cat demons didn't see their third life master at all, and even Ichime-sama is also missing. Did he, did they, escape? As soon as a cat demon said these words, the faces of countless cat demons began to look ugly in the next second. And then these cat demons reacted and retreated one after another. As the first cat demon turned around and started to run away, the other cat demons also dispersed and fled crazily in all directions. Fudomaru in the air looked at the direction where the demonic aura of Ichime and San Miai disappeared. How decisive? After realizing that he was no match, he immediately abandoned the other members of his race and fled. But Hokutomaru doesn't intend to pursue him, so just run away if he can. Li Yai, it's too late to run away at this time. Chase the dog demons. I'll kill every one I can. The dog demons smiled one after another. They were so miserable when they were besieged before, but now they are so happy. Chase down these damn cat monsters and undo all the pain they've suffered. Advertisement. And Fudomaru fell from the sky and stopped in front of Ria. Where is my mother? Hearing this, Ria was stunned for a moment. Is Fudomaru's mother, immortal fairy Ling Yu? He really didn't know this. He was not in the dog demon clan originally, but he rushed back in a hurry after hearing that King Duya was dead. He happened to encounter the dog demon clan's territory being attacked by the leopard cat clan. So I joined the battlefield directly. Now the entire western demon kingdom is filled with battles between the leopard cat clan and the dog demon clan. It is precisely because of this that such a group of ocelot monsters appears at the entrance of the dog monster family. Otherwise, if the real ocelot clan army appears, it will not be such a simple matter. I, when Liya wants to go back. Suddenly Seshomaru on the side spoke. Although I haven't seen her before, I saw your escort before, haunting the battlefield two mountains to the west. After saying this, Seshomaru turned around and walked towards the Inuyu clan's clan. At this time, Fudomaru frowned. He casually caught a dog demon who wanted to chase the cat demon. Isn't my mother, Fairy Lingyu, in the clan? This little dog demon was still confused when he was caught, but when he saw it was Fudomaru, little stars appeared in his eyes. He looked at Fudomaru with a look of admiration on his face. Your Highness Fudomaru, Lady Lingyu Immortal has never been here before. I haven't been to the clan land either. After receiving this little demon's answer, Fudomaru frowned. She didn't return to the dog demon clan, so where did Fairy Lingyu go? Forget it, it seems we have to go to the west to find Genji and Hiseo first. Seshomaru actually knew them? Oh, advertisement. Correct. When he was in the royal city ten years ago, Seshomaru should have seen them at that time. As for Seshomaru, Fudomaru didn't think that the other party would lie to him. It should be true. Fudomaru jumped into the air and was about to rush towards the west, but at this time Ria called to Fudomaru. Fudomaru, why don't you go back to the Inyeo clan and take a look? Now the battle between the dog demon clan and the Ocelot clan. It's not my business. Fudomaru directly interrupted Rikiga's words, glanced at Rikiga who was stunned, and accelerated towards the west. This personality is somewhat similar to Seshomaru, are they both so indifferent? But that's right, after all, Fudomaru was only a teenager, and after emerging from his childhood, he left the royal city and lived in Cloud Immortal Palace with his mother. I'm afraid I don't have much sense of belonging to the dog demon clan. If the three elders knew that such a monster-like tribesman, a mere 15-year-old monster, had power comparable to or even more terrifying than the big monster, I don't know what he would think. West, after crossing two mountains, there is a dense forest. And here there is a small group of dog demons and cat demons fighting fiercely. Although there was not even a big demon, the battle between the two sides was still fierce. Fudomaru's guards, Genji, and Hiseo, were here with a dozen injured dog demons to resist the pursuit of hundreds of cat demons. Seeing that the cat demons were rushing into the encirclement circle, there was basically no possibility of leaving. Genji and Hiseo took action directly. After killing hundreds of cat demons, the demon power was gradually exhausted. However, the cat demons are still too numerous to break through. Looks like I'm going to die here today. Genji sighed helplessly. Hiseo looked unwilling, damn it, there are too many of these cat demons. If we hadn't been attacked by them, we wouldn't have been helpless to fight back, these despicable guys. This is how it is on the battlefield, and sneak attacks can be considered a method. Advertisement. If you lose, you lose. Genji sighed helplessly, it's a pity that we couldn't find Master Fudomaru. Hiseo was also helpless. You two are already doing a great job. With these struggling guys, you were able to resist us for so long. Having eliminated hundreds of our companions, you two are already quite elite among the dog demon clan. 
The leader of the Cat Demon Clan stepped forward and looked at Genji and Hiseo, looking very impressed. But there is no such thing as sympathy for the enemy on the battlefield. Genji held on and raised the blade, even if I die, I will not give up resistance. The same goes for Hiseo, at least I have to kill you. While the two were talking, a terrifying riot Sue suddenly descended upon them. All the leaves in the entire forest trembled suddenly. Then all the monsters seemed to be frozen. The terrifying pressure oppressed each monster, making them feel as if their bodies were as heavy as a thousand pounds and they couldn't move at all. Under this strange pressure, cold sweat broke out on all the demon backs. Just when I was wondering who was responsible for this. Suddenly, Fudomaru seemed to appear in front of everyone out of thin air. Looking at Genji and Hiseo who were also in a state of sluggishness. Hokutomaru asked, where's mother? For a moment, the two of them almost didn't realize that this was indeed His Highness Fudomaru. Only His Highness Hokutomaru can unleash such a terrifying aura that makes people feel completely unable to move. Master Fudomaru, I finally see you. Great, you're okay. Looking at the extremely excited two people, Fudomaru also smiled helplessly. These two guys seem to be quite loyal to him. Advertisement. Chapter 33 The Impact of King Duya's Death. Advertisement. The way these two guys look now doesn't look like they're just pretending. The two guys, who obviously looked quite young, fell at the feet of Hotomaru with snot and tears in their eyes. All the little demons were stunned. Are these really the two dog demons in their memories who are as powerful as their commanders in combat? Why does he look like he hasn't grown up yet? On the contrary, the obviously very young Fudomaru looked more like an adult. The strange contrast made the little demons look at each other. Fudomaru had no choice but to comfort the two guys first. Okay, okay, stop crying, don't rub your nose on my clothes. At this moment, the eyes of the leader of the Ocelot clan behind Fudomaru flickered with a dark light. Fudomaru's back was turned to them now. Regardless of Fudomaru's background, it seemed good to launch a sneak attack at this moment. It seems that the kid in front of me should be a very important existence in the dog demon clan. Killing him should be regarded as a big achievement. Thinking of this, this guy secretly showed his sharp claws. Then he slowly squatted down and took a gentle breath, then suddenly accelerated and waved his claws fiercely towards Godomaru's back. The claws instantly brushed over Fudomaru's shoulders and swept across Fudomaru's back. The Ocelot commander looked proud when he saw that the attack was successful. Oof, a little kid who doesn't know how to live or die dares to show up openly at this time. What an idiot. The Ocelot leader said with a smile on his face. However, when he turned around and looked at the intact Hotomaru, he looked at him calmly. The Ocelot leader was stunned for a moment. Advertisement. You, you're not dead. Not only was he not dead, but he was not even injured at all. How could it be possible that the attack just now had not successfully hit him? Why is this rat from the dog demon clan still standing there? Lowering his head, the Ocelot leader immediately opened his mouth in an extremely exaggerated manner, because at this moment, when he looked at his claws, they were broken, and they were broken directly. He was surprised to see his broken claw. How can this be? My own claws clearly hit the opponent just now, but it was my own claws that were injured? Could it be said that the other party's body is stronger than his own claws? Is this, this, is this possible? You cats are really criminals. Fudomaru raised his hand, demonic energy bursting out from his fingertips. A red whip of demonic energy was formed directly, and the whip of condensed demonic energy was suddenly swung towards him. The Ocelot commander was hit instantly and had no time to react. The next second his head fell down, and blood squirted out crazily from his neck. Scare? All the cat demons took a step back in order, and at this time everyone looked at the dog demon in front of them, their eyes filled with horror. Their Ocelot leader was killed casually. This kid is no ordinary monster at all. Thinking of the terrifying aura just now that immobilized all the monsters, could it have been released by this kid? You guys can go down together too. Go down? Advertisement. Where to go? Uh huh. When the red demonic whip swept past, the last thing all the cat demons saw was the crimson demonic whip, and then they lost consciousness. Hundreds of cat demons were eliminated almost at the same time. The dog monster's legs trembled when they saw such a scene. I didn't dare to breathe. The pungent smell of blood was in the air. Withdrawing his yuki, Fudomaru looked back at Genji and Hiseo. The two of them were also very surprised by Fudomaru. Unexpectedly, Master Fudomaru seemed to look even more terrifying. What has Master Fudomaru been doing these past few days and how come he has changed so much? But now was not the time for either of them to ask questions. Where's mother? The two of them were stunned for a moment, then immediately said, Sir, immortal fairy Ling Yu, seems to have gone to the camp of the Ocelot clan. The camp of the Ocelot clan? Why would you go to a place like that? Is mother looking for me? Fudomaru asked uncertainly, and the two of them nodded quickly. Since we found out that Master Fudomaru was missing that day, we followed the Inyeo commander who came to deliver the news of Lord Daojeo's death and returned to the royal city. After that, immortal fairy Ling Yu ordered the dog demons in the royal city to separate some of them and look for Fudomaru everywhere. And it was precisely because of this decision that the royal city suddenly became empty. The royal city was directly attacked by the Ocelot clan. In the end, the leaders of the Kent Dog Demon clan decided to burn the royal city and it was absolutely impossible to leave it to the Ocelot clan. The royal city was destroyed, but Ling Yu Fairy had no time to control the attack of the Leopard Cat clan, and continued to search for Fudomaru with a group of dog demons who were willing to follow Ling Yu Fairy. The battle between the Dog Demon clan and the Ocelot clan has officially begun. Advertisement. The Ocelot clan has nine lives of Ocelots, a total of nine great demons. This is why the Ocelot clan and the Dog Demon clan have been fighting each other since the days of King Doya. The Dog Demon clan only has the seven teeth of the dog, seven great demons. Counting the Leopard Cat leader, the opponent has ten great demons. Compared with the seven great demons of the Dog Demon clan, their combat effectiveness is even stronger than that of the Dog Demon. It's just that King Duya was far stronger than the Ocelot leader before, so the Ocelot clan couldn't fight with the Dog Demon clan. Now that King Duya is dead, it has directly become the trigger for the outbreak of war. 
Although the war broke out, Fairy Ling Yu still didn't care at all, and instead led people to look for Fudomaru. The dog demon clan was retreating steadily, and the disparity in the number of big demons allowed the Ocelot clan to continue to encroach on the area that was once ruled by the dog demon clan. In this process, the battlefield was also divided into many areas. The news that Immortal Ling Yu went to various battlefields to look for Fudomaru seemed to have been learned by the Ocelot clan, who said that they had captured a little dog demon with extraordinary demonic power. Although I don't know whether this information is true or false, even if there is only 1% chance, Ling Yu Immortal Fairy will not let it go. Just like that, Fairy Ling Yu seemed to be heading towards the camp of the Ocelot clan. Fudomaru frowned when he heard this. This was clearly a trap, but Immortal Ling Yu still had no hesitation. Even if there is a slight possibility, Immortal Fairy Ling Yu doesn't want to miss it at all. Veins were already popping up on Hokutomaru's forehead. If those cats dare to attack my mother, then there is no need for them to exist. Fudomaru said as he looked at the two of them, where is the Ocelot clan's camp? Take me there. Hearing this, Genji and Hiseo naturally had no problems. Fudomaru's demonic energy swept the two of them into the air. A group of dog demons were left behind, looking at each other. Are we, going to go back and tell the elders this news? Yes, let's go back and report. Immortal Fairy Ling Yu is the wife of King Duya, and Fudomaru is also the bloodline of King Duya, so nothing can happen to these two. Advertisement. Chapter 34, Fudomaru visits the Ocelot clan camp. Advertisement. The Ocelot clan's camp is located in a huge desert south of the royal city. This place is actually very close to the Inyeo clan's clan. There is only a mountain range as a barrier. The Ocelot clan is probably preparing to fully attack the dog demon clan. In the air, Fudomaru asked Genji and Hiseo why the Ocelot clan would set up a camp in such a place. UNSI also expressed his guess. A full-scale attack on the dog demon clan? It seems that King Duya's death has indeed had a great impact on the demon world. Especially the Western Demon Kingdom. As the commander-in-chief of the Western Demon Kingdom, King Duya was very powerful when he was alive and had the support of the dog demon clan. Naturally, no monster dared to move, but immediately after his death, the world was in chaos. From this point of view, King Duya may be a powerful monster, but he is not a qualified king. A true superior would have made arrangements before he died. Beings like the Ocelot clan should have been suppressed while they were still alive, and their power would not be weakened so that these damn guys still have the strength to resist now. Suddenly Hokutomaru stopped. Genji and Hiseo, who were beside them, looked at the huge camp that stretched for thousands of meters not far away. Such a huge camp is comparable to a city. You can imagine how many Ocelot monsters there are here. I'm afraid the number is far greater than the dog demon clan expected. Fudomaru, master. UNSI looked at the soaring evil spirit above the camp and was so frightened that his legs became weak and he did not dare to move forward. Ling Yu immortal fairy shouldn't be here. Advertisement. Hokutomaru turned to look at him, why do you think mother is not here? Forward, there are countless monsters in such a camp. If fairy Ling Yu goes in, she will have no chance to come out. Then it should be impossible for Lady Ling Yu immortal fairy to go in. Of course, UNSI dare not say this kind of speculation now. Hokutomaru looked at him with a half smile, if you don't dare to go in with me, just go back. Go back and forth from where you came from. He turned around and glanced at Hiseo, same to you. As he said this, Fudomaru led the two of them down from the sky, and Fudomaru decided to walk the rest of the way. This can be considered as giving the two of them time to think about it. When Fudomaru walked straight ahead without saying hello, the two of them froze on the spot. They understood what Fudomaru meant. If they didn't follow him now, they wouldn't have to follow him in the future. Thinking of how the two of them had grown in strength by staying by Fudomaru's side over the years, staying with such an adult was much better than returning to the Inuyu clan. Determined. The two of them rushed into the distance and came behind Fudomaru, and the look of fear on their faces had disappeared. Instead, there was a look of calm. Fudomaru was very satisfied with this performance. These two guys, you can also consider seeing if they can awaken. If Ryatsu can, it's not impossible to create a sealed state for them. A huge camp naturally has monsters. There are quite a few monsters guarding the door. Just at a casual glance, there are no less than 500 monsters. Although not all of them are cat monsters of the Ocelot family, the number of cat monsters is the largest. There seem to be five monster leaders among them, and their strength is only elite level monsters. The gatekeepers are all of this level. It is indeed dangerous to enter this camp, but if it is not possible, Fudomaru can enter the underworld at any time. If the other party dares to follow him after entering the underworld, then Fudomaru does not mind having fun with him in the underworld. Advertisement. Suddenly the monster leader guarding the camp noticed the three people walking from a distance. Who? How dare you walk around here? Are you looking for death? The monster leader said that he didn't even intend to ask who the other party was. As long as it was not a monster from the Ocelot clan, he would just kill it. A burst of demonic energy was released instantly, and the demonic energy turned into a strong wind and blew in the direction of Fudomaru. However, Fudomaru didn't even care about it and used his powerful demonic energy to crush the opponent's attack. When Fudomaru's demonic energy spread, the five demon commanders guarding the gate suddenly widened their eyes. What a powerful demonic energy, this is the demonic energy of the dog demon clan. A dog demon dares to come here. Is this looking for death? Go in and inform the adults that a powerful dog demon is here to die. The cat demon leader holding a broadsword smiled. I wanted to FK the dog demon for a long time before I could go to the front line to fight, but I didn't expect that a dog demon would come to my door. Don't be careless, this level of demonic energy is second only to the great demon. Although one of the monster leaders said this, the other still didn't take it seriously. So what? Second only to the great demon, this is the camp of my Ocelot clan. There are five great demons. In front of these five adults, can this guy still be able to shake things up? That guy is here to die? Haha. <laughs> Fudomaru had heard all the conversation between these guys. Fudomaru's perception was quite astonishing when his thinking was accelerated. But since they are here to find Fairy Ling Yu, the noise should be louder. Hold Zanpakuto slowly, the greeting gift should naturally be more sincere. The louder the noise, the more polite it is. Besides, doesn't the other party have five great demons? Advertisement. Then let's see what these five great demons are like. As he said this, Fudomaru stopped when he was still about 300 meters away from the camp. The riotsu on my body, suddenly exploded. The riotsu spread in an instant and crept madly towards the Ocelot clan's camp. 
Boom, in an instant, the entire Ocelot clan camp felt the terrifying riot so, even the five great demons who were in the main camp now had different looks on their faces. What is this? What a terrible sense of oppression. Could it be that King Doya has been resurrected? No, this is not the aura of King Doya. This power seems to hit the soul directly. What a weird power. Even the big demon is like this, let alone some other little demons. They couldn't move at all, even if it was just for a short moment. After all, with such a huge range, Fudomaro couldn't maintain the powerful Riotsu output all the time. Now I have to give these Ocelots a welcome gift? Riotsu cannot simply waste it on this. At the same time, a dog demon troop was lurking on the edge of the desert. This is the camp of the Ocelot clan. They are accumulating strength. If they continue like this, their numbers will continue to increase. When their number exceeds 30,000, they will be able to easily break through the direction of our dog demon clan and invade the clan territory. The two dog demon commanders looked at the leader of a big demon, the seven fangs of the dog, the secret fang? Sir, what should we do next? Miya is now sweating on his forehead, thinking crazily. If nothing is done, the dog demon clan will eventually be under a huge threat. But if we take action, he may even die here, and the dog demon clan from other battlefields will not be able to come to support him. To take action or not to take action. At this moment, Miya was suddenly stunned, because a terrible pressure suddenly came from the camp in the distance. What is this? Advertisement. Chapter 35 Pillars of Fire Soaring into the Sky and Fiery Hell. Advertisement. When Hokutomaru's riots spreads, the dog demon troops led by Miya also felt this aura, and they were all frightened by the sudden and terrifying sense of oppression. Even Miya, who is a great demon, finds it incredible. What kind of power does this have to be so terrifying? Who? He could unleash such a strong sense of oppression just by relying on his own momentum. Even as a great demon, the momentum he released was far from reaching this level. Looking at the little demons beside them, their legs were so weak that they were completely unable to move under this aura. And when Mia was still surprised by Fudomaru Ryatsu, this momentum suddenly receded as quickly as the tide. At this moment, Hokutomaru was slowly withdrawing Zenpakuto. In the camp of the time-consuming Ocelot clan, five figures rushed out quickly. Who? Dare to vent your power wantonly here. Are you looking for death? If you want to seek death, then we don't mind giving you a ride. Five big demons appeared, and the terrifying demonic aura spread in all directions, causing the demonic aura in the camp to become turbulent. The appearance of these five great demons of the Ocelot clan made Miya's face instantly turn gloomy. There were five big demons in total. Fortunately, he didn't attack the Ocelot clan's camp, otherwise he might have been trapped here. However, the Zanpakuto that was directly in front of the camp, Zanpakuto, was completely unsheathed at this moment. Five big monsters? Very good. It's just a good time to test out how much Ryajin Jaka's power has reached now. As he spoke, Hokutomaru's eyes flashed with intense light. Senlua wants yen. Advertisement. Raijin Jaka, all turned to ashes. Boom. The moment the first flame emerged, a real ring of fire spread from Hutamaru's feet. Fudomaru said to Genji and Hiseo, you guys get out of the way first. At this moment, there was no need for Fudomaru to say anything, and the two of them could only retreat helplessly. Because of the terrifying high temperature that erupted from Hutamaru's body, both of them felt like they were being cooked instantly. If it hadn't been for the demonic power to resist, it would have been burned to ashes in an instant. The feeling only got slightly better after some distance. However, the moment Raijin Jaka was liberated, Mia, who was thousands of meters away, could feel a searing wave of air sweeping towards him in the air. This feeling caused Mia's eyes to shrink rapidly and look in the direction of the heat wave. Only three figures were seen standing in the distance. Judging from the aura on the opponent's body, he must also be a dog demon? Who are they? Why would a dog demon single-handedly challenge the Ocelot clan stronghold? Are they looking for death? Miya really wants to rush out and catch the other person now to take a good look at what is going on in the other person's head? Even if you are going to die, you won't die like this? The next second, the flames ignited beside Fudomaru, and clusters of weak flames floated in the air, like Willow the Wisps. Ryatsu and Yuki are released at the same time. The storm that was set off in an instant swept the sand and rocks and scattered them in all directions. The moment he felt the demonic power of Fudomaru, Mia was stunned. This kid, actually has such powerful demon power. Mia could tell at a glance that Fudomaru was just one step away from surpassing the level of Heido Deo. And when did the dog demon clan have such a powerful kid? Although it was difficult to see Fudomaru's appearance from a distance, Mia was very unfamiliar with this aura. He could definitely say that he had never seen this guy among the Inuyu clan. Advertisement. While Mia was secretly looking at Fudomaru, Fudomaru was concentrating on the five great demons of the Ocelot clan above the camp. Suddenly holding on to Zanpakuto, Fudomaru swung with all his strength, sending out an extremely fierce slashing wave, and this slashing attack, accompanied by a powerful wave of flames and heat, swept over suddenly like a tidal wave. Before the five big demons could rush over, they saw the overwhelming wave of flames in front of them. This, is not good, this flame, is a bit tricky. Hurry up and block it together. Although the big monster can dodge this attack, there are still many monsters from their Ocelot family in the camp. If we just let it go, there will be countless casualties. The tyrannical demonic energy was released, and the five great demons combined their demonic energy to form the same shock wave, hitting Fudomaru's flame heat wave. The two forces exploded in the air, setting off strong winds that blew away many little demons, and even the surrounding tents were also blown away. This scene left Miya stunned. Such a powerful attack, it took five big demons working together to stop it. This, how is this possible? The unknown dog demon is just about to break through the big demon, but it is still nothing until it breaks through. Without setting foot in the realm of the great demon, it is absolutely impossible to compare with the real great demon. But its attack just now required five great demons to work together to block it. What power is this? How can it be? That flame contains very terrifying power. Logically speaking, the attack released by this level of demonic energy cannot be so powerful. But now comes the main event. Just now it was just a little test by Fudomaru. Since he wanted to try the power of Ryajin Jaka, Hokidomaru had already directly planned to use his current Ryajin Jaka's strongest attack. Although the flames were scattered, it had exactly the effect Fudomaru wanted. Hokidomaru slowly raised Ryajin Jaka, pointing the blade towards the sky. Advertisement. A sudden moment? Boom boom boom. Huge pillars of fire burst into the sky instantly. The terrifying pillars of fire erupted from every corner of the camp, instantly covering the entire camp. 
I saw a pillar of fire rising into the sky. The five great demons of the Ocelot clan were stunned for a second, and then they felt an unprecedented danger approaching quickly. Not good. Danger. Hutamaru had a smile on his face at the moment, looking at the five figures in the sky. It doesn't matter if you are a great demon, let you always use the power of Shinigami. Coming from the oldest Sanpakuto, Ryujin is the strongest power since Jaka Shikai. Fiery hell? The Ryujin Jaka in his hand screamed, and a faint flame flashed across the blade. Immediately afterwards, extremely bright light burst out from the pillars of fire. The pillars of fire were instantly detonated. The light of the explosion enveloped the entire camp. A deafening roar sounded. In the dazzling light, the Ocelot clan's camp was engulfed in flames. The dazzling light gradually disappeared after tens of seconds, and Mia, who had been watching this scene from a distance, and a group of dog demons. They all had their eyes widened and their expressions were completely frozen. The camp of the Ocelot clan had turned into a sea of fire. This sudden explosion killed countless monsters. The flames in the camp continued to spread, converging into a straight line and burning toward Hutamaru's feet. Hokutomaru, who was stepping on the flames, stepped forward, holding Zanpakuto in his hand and pointed at the ground, and slowly walked towards the camp. Advertisement. Chapter 36 The Gorgeous Young Master Yan in the Flames. Advertisement. The fire burned, and the terrifying high temperature turned the wind into a scalding heat wave. The surrounding ground and the stones instantly cracked into powder and flew away. Futomaru was walking among the flames, and the countless monster corpses around him were being swallowed up by the flames bit by bit. The camp of the Ocelot clan might originally have tens of thousands of monsters, but this attack directly reduced the number by nearly two-thirds. The five great demons of the Leopard Cat clan in the sky had gloomy expressions on their faces at the moment, with a dark light emitting from their eyes. They were now staring at Futomaru, wanting to eat him alive. Originally, they were fully prepared for this all-out attack on the dog demon clan, and it was even a desperate move. But they didn't expect that a killing god would appear halfway and directly destroy more than half of their Leopard Cat clan's demon army. Under such circumstances, there is simply no way to continue with the dog demon clan? This bastard. He is also a dog demon. When did this kind of monster appear in the dog demon clan? Where did this bastard come from? Below, a leader of the Ocelot tribe endured severe pain, his eyes full of fear. The flames just now destroyed half of his body in just a moment. Five lives, six lives, seven lives, nine lives, two lives, sir. This, this, our Ocelot clan has suffered heavy losses. Now, the big demon codenamed Wu Ming glanced at the cat demon leader below. Take the rest of the people and leave first, leave this place to us. The other party wanted to leave a long time ago, but facing the monster Fudomaro who was like a god of death, he didn't want to stay here and die. It's best to leave early. The remaining Ocelot clan troops began to retreat one after another. Although Fudomaro had eliminated many of them, there were still tens of thousands of Ocelot monsters that had not been killed. It seems that my power is still too weak, and there is no way to truly exert the power of Ryujin Jaka. Advertisement. If the captain had come in person, it would be impossible for Ryujin Jaka, even in his Shikai state, to leave so many people alive with just one blow. After all, Fudomaru's Ryatsu has just broken through to the captain level. There is still a big gap between him and a monster like Captain, even if Senra Wangziang simulates 20% of Ryujin Jaka's abilities. However, despite simulating 20% of the power, Hokutomaru was unable to fully utilize this 20% of power. Ryatsu has to continue to improve. He raised his eyes and looked at the five great demons in the sky. The Ryujin Jaka in Hokutomaru's hand suddenly burst into flames. Fire burned on the blade. A terrible high temperature spreads, the heat wave refracts the light, and the light is distorted as if the space is distorted. You five, hand them over and I will spare your life. Threaten? This guy actually dared to threaten them, he was just a dog demon. It's just that it has a powerful sword. The power of this sword is probably not much different from that of King Duya's iron broken tooth, which is famous in the demon world. Wu Ming frowned, and the lines on his forehead looked like the word on a tiger's forehead. Is the prototype a tiger Madara cat? While Fudomaru was thinking about it, this guy also opened his mouth and roared angrily at Fudomaru. You, a little dog demon, want us to have sex with you. Then we have to see if you have the strength, kid. Don't think that the blow just now can scare us. The great demon Zhu Ming suddenly released the vigorous demonic power in his body, turning into an endless demonic wind and sweeping away. It actually extinguished part of Ryujin Jaka's flame. Fu Damaro was slightly startled. This guy's demon power far exceeds that of other great demons. Advertisement. It seems that there are differences even in the eyes of the great demon. The one who felt this evil spirit was also the secret tooth hidden in the dark. No, this guy is pissed off. The dog demon leader beside him was a little confused. Lord Miya, so what if that guy was angered? I didn't block the attack of that dog demon just now. Miya turned around and glanced at this guy who didn't know the heights of this guy. Why do you think the Ocelot clan is qualified to challenge our dog demon clan when King Duya is still alive? In addition to the leader of the Ocelot clan, all the nine cat demons under the leader are great demons who can stand alone. The higher the number, the stronger the strength. In fact, the original title of the nine lives of the cat demon should be ten lives, but the tenth one became the leader, so he was called the nine lives of the cat demon. Mi Yan arrowed his eyes and looked solemnly at the nine lives that were releasing astonishing demonic energy. Nine lives, this guy's demonic power is second only to King Duya and the dead Ocelot leader. With its power, even me and the other seven teeth of the dog have absolutely no chance of winning. Hearing what Lord Mi Ya said, the swollen hearts of the dog demon suddenly became depressed again. Lord Mi Ya, isn't that boy dead? Should we save him? Save? The corners of Miya's mouth couldn't help but twitch. How to save? If he dares to show up to the five great demons, he will inevitably end up being killed. I can only hope that guy won't die again. Although the blow just now was very amazing. But killing small monsters and dealing with big monsters are completely different concepts. What a powerful demon, worthy of being a great demon. Hokutomaru spoke very strongly, but his eyes did not flinch for a long time. The flames of Zanpakuto in his hand burned even more intensely. Boy, you look young, but we have never heard of you. You seem to be a rising star. Advertisement. But it's a pity that you met us. We will kill you, the rising star of the dog demon clan, here today. As he said that, he suddenly saw two big demons taking action at the same time, much faster than the three big demons of the cat clan they met before. Fudomaru raised his hand. 
The blade was waving left and right. Dang dang, the two sounds blocked the left and right attacks of the two big demons. It's interesting, but if you want to survive with this little ability, you can't do it. Boom, the third big demon took action, and the demonic energy swept away and turned into a huge cat's claw, which was slammed down from the sky above Fidomaro. Hokitomaro raised Sanpakuto with one hand to block it above his head. Boom buzz, the huge force caused Katamaro's feet to sink directly into the ground until his knees. Now let me tell you why the big monster is different from other monsters. That's because the big monster is the pinnacle of monsters. Don't think that you are strong just by killing some small monsters. You're not qualified yet. Boy, Nether Blade, the fourth big demon took action, and instantly a dark purple demonic slashing wave erupted from the cat's claws, quickly attacking in the direction of Fidomaro. At the same time, the other three cat demons who had already taken action also took action at the same time, and the demon energy bombs were blasted towards Fidomaro. Miya gritted his teeth gently, no, he was dead, even he couldn't stop the combined attacks of the four big demons. Torch. Suddenly, intense and dazzling flames erupted around Hokitomaru, and a huge ring of fire appeared behind Hokitomaru. With Fidomaru standing on the flames, all his attacks were swallowed up by the flames. Advertisement. Chapter 37 Captain Level Combat Effectiveness. Advertisement. The ring of fire appears, and all attacks are blocked in an instant, even under the power of flames. All these attacks dissipated. Block, block. The four big demons took action. This time it was not a passive defense like before, but a proactive attack or a full strength attack. Even if King Duya comes to attack them, they have to avoid the edge for now. But this kid actually resisted. Although Fidomaru blocked their joint attack at this moment, it also consumed a lot of Ryatsu. Destroying this camp previously consumed a lot of Ryatsu. Now that he was blocking the attacks of several people, it also consumed a lot of Ryatsu. They need to be dealt with as soon as possible. Ryajin Wakawai turned slightly in Hokitomaru's hand. The ring of fire behind them suddenly exploded, and a powerful wave of flames swept towards the four people rapidly. At this moment, the four people quickly retreated, but Fidomaru's figure suddenly disappeared, and the flames surged out with several astonishing slashing waves, sweeping directly towards the four people quickly. The flames hit their bodies, but the guardian with demonic power successfully blocked the attack. But the next second, Fidomaru's figure appeared directly in front of Urmei, who was also the weakest recently. The sword flashed, and the opponent reacted very quickly. He immediately wrapped his arms with demonic power to block Fidomaru's slash. But the next second his eyes narrowed slightly. The figures of the two people staggered each other, and blood flew out instantly. Three blood marks appeared on Cat Demon E. Arming's neck, and blood flowed out, which shocked the other big demons. Dick. Damn it, this bastard. Advertisement. Five lives and six lives took action immediately. Attacked Hokidomaru from behind. Swinging Zanpakuto with his backhand, the blade cut through the sky, and a weak flame burned at the tip of the blade. It seems that the current Kodomaru seems to be weak due to the continuous large-scale attacks before, but in fact this is just a situation that occurs when the power is truly concentrated inside Zanpakuto. With one strike, Wu Ming was penetrated by the demonic energy that protected his body with flames, and a large burn appeared on his arm. Rokume on the other side was wielding a sharp cat's claw, and the monster attacks continued, but they were all blocked by Fudomaru. While Fudomaru was resisting Rokume's attack, Nichaimime's sudden attack erupted directly from behind Fudomaru. The powerful demonic energy exploded directly on Fudomaru's back. Although this sneak attack hit Fudomaru, Ryatsu combined with the double defense of monster power, and Fudomaru's own physique has long been beyond the comparison of ordinary monsters. This blow was nothing. On the contrary, at the moment when Shishime attacked Fudomaru, with the power of the opponent's attack, Fudomaru accelerated directly. Move closer to the direction of Luming. With the help of accelerated thinking, Fudomaru had already made calculations and wanted to quickly deal with these guys. This is the only way to do it, otherwise it will drag on for long nights and many dreams. Rokume was a little flustered by Fudomaru who suddenly accelerated towards him, but the big demon was not that simple. The tyrannical demonic energy burst out, and while attacking Fudomaru, he also dodged to the side. Fudomaru's blade moved forward, pointing directly at the Yuki bullet released by the opponent. The flashing gap in the middle was accurately hit by Fudomaru's Ryajin Jaka. From the perspective of Miya from a distance, this scene made Fudomaru look like he was crazy. He even rushed toward the demon energy bomb that contained terrifying power, looking for death. The cluster of flames on the tip of the knife that can be extinguished by gravel is simply impossible to defeat such an attack. He had just made a judgment, and the next second the demonic energy seemed to be ignited by the flames of Fudomaru, and instantly turned into endless flames. Hokitomaru wielded the Ryajin Jaka as if to absorb these flames. The blazing flames flowed on the blade, and then he directly predicted the position of the six-life dodge with a direct strike. The slashing wave transformed from the flames went from top to bottom of Luming's shoulder and struck directly to the right rib. Advertisement. A huge bloody hole opened up in his chest. Even the wound instantly turned black under the flames. Bang bang, the two big demons, E.R. Ming and Lu Ming, landed at the same time, and five Ming and Qi Ming, who were stunned on the spot, were completely confused. This guy actually, in one face-to-face -face attack, he severely injured Lao E.R. and Lao Lu, this is bad. Boom, the sudden wave of demonic energy soared into the sky, impacting hard from above. Hokidomaru leaned down slightly, placing Ryajin Jaka on his waist and holding it flatly, his eyes seemed to reflect flames. I've been waiting for you. He turned slightly sideways and raised his head, looking at nine lives falling from the sky and unleashing an astonishing blow with tyrannical demonic power. The great cat demon with the strongest demonic power, this terrifying demonic power seemed to compress the air directly. Ju Ming did not attack with his claws, but instead punched him hard. And this was the moment that Fu Domaro was waiting for. Riot so all gathered? This is considered a desperate move. In the case of Hokidomaru's current Riot so, he is urging Zanpakuto to release his ultimate moves one after another, and there is not much left of Riot so. As expected of Ryajin Jaka, the strongest Zanpakuto in the fire system, his power is astonishing and his consumption is also terrifying. He quickly turned around and swung the blade from his waist towards the sky. The powerful airflow collides with the blade. The next second, a gleam of flame was released from Hokidomaru's eyes. Then flames appeared out of thin air. The city is in flames. Advertisement. The flames released by the blade wrap the enemy like a huge palm. 
If you forcefully break through from the inside, you will be chased by 6,000 degree flames. Of course, the Ryajin Jaka simulated by Senluo Wangziang is currently unable to release such a terrifying high temperature. But for Inuyasha's world, even the temperature of a thousand degrees is not so comfortable. Nine lives were instantly devoured by flames. The demonic aura on his body was instantly dispelled. The terrifying energy that had been condensed before was able to suppress part of Fudomaru's flames. But other flames still engulfed each other. As the flames burned, the screams of nine lives rang out. Boom! After an explosion, Fudomaru was forced back more than ten meters by the opponent's attack, and slid crazily on the ground. By stabbing Zanpakuto into the ground, he could barely stabilize his body and release the power. On the other side, a charred figure with black smoke falling from the sky. Brother Ninth. Seven lives and five lives rushed over. Catch the nine lives falling from the air. Looking at the tragic situation of Juming, large areas of his body were burned, not to mention his hair, and not a single piece of his skin was intact. It can even be said that it is beyond recognition. If there is still a little breath left that can be used to identify the identity, no one can bear to know who this is. Fudomaru looked at the three people in the distance. Are they alive? It's a pity that if Ryatsu is not enough, this guy will definitely not just be burned. Ryajinjaka is indeed very strong, but it also consumes Ryatsu too much. The Ryatsu in the body is basically exhausted. But Fudomaru was not disappointed, instead he was very satisfied. Three of the five great demons were seriously injured by him. Among them, the strongest one, nine lives, was hanging by a thread. His captain level combat power was already quite good. Advertisement. Chapter 38 An Unexpected Encounter. Advertisement. Juxing, who had been severely burned and on the verge of death, now opened his eyes and his eyelids were already bloody. One eye was fixed on Hokutomaru in the distance. He could feel that Hokutomaru's aura had also become weaker. In the blow just now, Fudomaru must have used all the power in his body. Now in a very weak state. At this time, Kiwame raised his destroyed arm and pointed at Hokutomaru with his elbow. Kill. Kill. The mouth is gone and only vague sounds can be made. But even if he didn't say anything at this moment, Wu Ming and Ji Ming both understood what he meant. Of course, they had to kill Fudomaru. This guy had severely damaged the second life and the sixth life, and now even the strongest nine lives of their Ocelot clan had almost been killed. This guy must die. The two of them slowly pointed the direction of the nine lives. The monster's vitality is quite tenacious, even if it still has one breath. He will definitely not die like this for a while. Now that the opponent is also in a weak state, kill him first and then come back and take Juming for healing. The demonic aura between the two of them was very strong when they fought. The Ryatsu in Hokutomaru's body is now exhausted, but he still has some demon power. But it might be that easy to deal with these two big demons with demonic power alone. Ryajinjaka also released his Shikai form and transformed into a normal Zenpakito. The terrifying and blazing flames from before could not be felt from above. Boy, what's your name? There is a person like you among the Dog Demon Clan. The Dog Demon Clan is lucky. Don't worry, although you won't be able to walk out alive today, your name is worth remembering. Wu Ming asked. My name? Fudomaru, but you said I can't make it out alive, but that's not necessarily true. Advertisement. Facing the two great monsters, it is indeed difficult to deal with the current situation of Fudomaru, but Fudomaru also has a great sage. It's time for the great sage to appear. Analysis completed. Combat plan calculation completed. Request execution. Can I still kill two big demons in this state? However, the great sage will not lie to others. After its calculations, if it says it will work, it will definitely work. It would also be nice to see how the great sage plans to kill these two great demons. Then, suddenly, a slashing wave of demonic energy raged from the forest on the side. Suddenly a trace was left on the ground. The eyes of Wu Ming and Qi Ming suddenly became much gloomier. From this sudden slashing wave, the two of them felt the aura of the dog demon clan. And the two people who took action were quite familiar. I'm afraid those who want to kill our dog demon tribe can't do it today. In that direction, Mia rushed out with a large group of dog demons. He quickly arrived at Fudomaru's side, and Mia looked at Fudomaru carefully. Surprise! Unexpectedly, this kid turned out to be King Duya's youngest son. Shouldn't this kid be only a teenager? At this age, when faced with five big monsters, he was able to severely injure three of them, and even nearly kill one. It's so amazing, even scarier than King Duya. Looking at the Zenpakito in Hokidomaru's hand, the blade was completely black, although there was no aura fluctuation at the moment. But I can feel the deep chill and the burning sensation that seems to surge from my soul. Is this this kid's own tooth blade? Advertisement. He forged his own tooth blade at such a young age. Is it possible that he was joking? Secret Fang? You guy is here. Wu Ming's eyes were instantly bloodshot as he looked at Mia as if he was furious. The appearance of the secret fang meant that it was absolutely impossible for them to kill the kid in front of them. After all, Mia is also a big demon of the dog demon clan. It is impossible to kill the target of a big demon in front of him, not to mention that the opponent itself has good combat power. Coupled with the numerous monsters of the dog monster clan, they were completely defeated today. Five lives? Long time no see, do you want to continue? Mia stood in front of Fu Dumara. Fu Dumara frowned. Mia, this must be one of the seven fangs of the dog? The demonic aura on his body is indeed powerful. He is truly a dog demon at the level of a great demon. You. Chi Ming raised his hand and patted Wu Ming on the shoulder. They were not idiots. If this situation continued, they would be in danger. Reinforcements from the dog demon clan have also arrived, and it will be even more difficult to kill the little dog demon. If we really insist, maybe they will all die here. Walk. Chi Ming said calmly with a cold face. Although Wu Ming had not yet made up his mind to give up, he could only turn around helplessly after hearing this, preparing to take away the seriously injured Er Ming and Lu Ming. Mia didn't intend to pursue him. There were two big demons on the other side, so there would definitely be casualties in a real fight. Just protect King Tuga's youngest son, Fudomaru, and be safe. Wait a minute, did you say you can leave? At this critical moment, Fudomaru suddenly stood up, and Mia was stunned for a moment. Is this kid really planning to fight to the death? Boy, don't think that we are afraid of you when you dog demon clan people come. If you want to keep us, I'm afraid that except you two, all the other dog demons here will have to die. Fudomaru didn't care about such a threat. The great sage said that he could kill him. Fudomaru was not worried at all now. Hand over my mother. Advertisement. These words made the two of them stunned. Who is Fudomaru's mother? Mia on the side frowned. Fudomaru, do you want to find Lady Lingyu Immortal Fairy? Hearing this, Dumaru looked at Mia, do you know where my mother is? 
Seeing that he didn't seem to know yet, Miya thought about what Fidomaru had said to him before, and seemed to understand a little bit. It seems that Fidomaru misunderstood. He didn't think that Ling Yu Fairy had been caught by the other party, right? Are you kidding me? Immortal Fairy Ling Yu is a great demon and also the wife of King Doya. How could she be caught by the other party? What's more, Fairy Ling Yu is the real dog demon princess. If she is caught, the entire dog demon clan will have to fight for the Ocelot clan. Ling Yu Immortal Fairy has not been caught, nor is she in their hands. For it, is that so? Fu Tomaro was confused. Immortal Fairy Ling Yu wasn't there, so where did she go? While they were talking, a group of dog demons looked at the remaining main tent in the Ocelot camp that had not yet been destroyed. Lord Secret Fang, there seems to be someone inside. Chi Ming suddenly raised his hand and flashed a light, flying towards the main camp tent, give those two men back to you, let us go. If you still don't want to let us go, then let's fight to the death. The barrier around the tent suddenly dissipated, and a pale woman walked out of the tent. Humanity? There is actually a human hidden in the main tent of the Ocelot clan, etc. The injured person was holding a baby. The baby had a demonic aura, but it was not purely a half-demon. Fudomaru was stunned for a moment. Could this woman be? Is Aoi? What she holds in her arms is. Inuyasha? Advertisement. Chapter 39 Another Duya King. Advertisement. Is Aoi is currently surrounded by dog demons. Although he looked pale, he did not feel any fear when facing the monsters. Instead, he seemed relieved after seeing the dog demon. It looked like she hadn't eaten much, her steps were a little shaky and she stumbled and fell to the ground, but even if she fell, she still protected Inuyasha in her arms. The dog demons were very confused about who this human woman was. But Miya on the side seemed to have thought of something, and his expression changed several times uncertainly. At this moment, a demonic wind blew up, and the five and seven lives of the ocelot escaped with the injured three people. Hokidomaru casually put the Zenpakito into the scabbard. There was no need to pursue. What Fudomaru wants to know now is where Fairy Lingyu is. Where is my mother? Miya glanced at Fudomaru. According to rumors, on the day he was born, this Doya King's second bloodline was born with a strange demonic fire. The power of fire is very powerful. For an Inyeo with no natural ability, Fudomaru is simply a one-of-a-kind existence. Although I thought about whether this kid would become a big demon like King Duya in the future, I didn't expect to see it so soon. King Tuga has just passed away, and his eldest son Sesomaru is amazingly powerful, and he is not far behind the great demon. However, I didn't expect that the younger son was even more terrifying. At the age of 10, which is equivalent to the age when a human is learning to talk at one or two years old, he already has a fighting power that is comparable to the big demon. No, even more terrifying than the big demon. It seems that in order to find you, your mother went to find a witch who could divine your location. Divination? Advertisement. Fudomaru was stunned for a moment, he didn't expect this. But that's right, after all, Fairy Lingyu is not an idiot, even if she heard the news that she was caught by the Ocelot clan. I won't rush forward right away, at least I have to investigate whether the matter is true or not. Maybe after knowing it was fake, you immediately wanted to find it through other methods. Then what are you doing here? Fudomaru was a little curious. The great demon of the dog demon clan suddenly appeared here, preparing to raid the Ocelot clan camp. Obviously it's impossible. If there is a real raid, Miya shouldn't be the only one. There are five big demons guarding the other side, and a big demon with its secret fangs alone may not be a match. I received the order from Lady Lingyu Immortal Fairy to find a way to rescue them. Miya said as he glanced at his Aoi who was lying on the ground. It seems that Fairy Lingyu accidentally found these two mother and son when she was investigating the Ocelot camp to find her. So the news was passed on to the dog demon clan. Monsters don't look kindly on humans. This is especially true for the Inuyao clan, but his Aoi may not be important, but Inuyasha, the half-demon, still retains the blood of King Tuga. The Inuyasha clan cannot sit idly by and do nothing. Even if they die, they cannot let Inuyasha be killed by the Ocelot clan. No matter what, we have to let the dog demon clan do it themselves. Then take these two people away. I'm going to find my mother. As he said this, Fudomaru glanced at Genji and Hiseo who were approaching again and prepared to leave. Genji came to Fudomaru's side and raised his hand to point to the sky. Master Fudomaru, look. The huge Tengu in the sky was running very fast, and its direction was towards Fudomaru. Advertisement. This breath is, mother? Miya smiled, Sir Lady Lingyu Immortal Fairy left not long after she brought us here. In other words, you appeared not long after Lady Lingyu Fairy Fairy left. I guess she didn't go too far. Maybe I just noticed the movement here, and I'm here now. That would be better, because Fudomaru wouldn't have to keep looking for someone. A few minutes later, Immortal Lingyu, who blocked the reincarnated Tenga, fell from the sky, changed the appearance of human beings again. A smile appeared on Hokutomaru's face, and he was just about to speak. Snapped. A solid slap hit Hutomaru's face hard. Clearly visible palm prints appear. Fudomaru was stunned, but then he smiled helplessly. However, immediately afterwards came Immortal Fairy Lingyu's embrace. You bastard son, why did you secretly leave Immortal Palace without telling your mother? After you return, I will ground you and prevent you from going out casually for a hundred years. Fudomaru was helpless. Yes, mother, I was wrong. I will never leave without saying hello next time. Letting go of Fudomaru, Immortal Fairy Lingyu looked at him coldly, so you still plan to leave the Immortal Palace in the future. Before Fudomaru could reply, Fairy Lingyu sighed, forget it, but if you want to leave next time, you must tell me. Looking at the cold-faced Immortal Lingyu, Fudomaru could only laugh, and kept apologizing and promising that it would never happen again. After finally coaxing her mother, Immortal Lingyu noticed Izeoi beside her and Inuyasha being held by the other party. Advertisement. This time, Immortal Fairy Lingyu's eyes became much gloomier. Looking at the dog demon on the side, take them two back and prepare some food for this human woman. The dog demon who was ordered nodded repeatedly. Fairy Lingyu is the dog demon princess, and she is also a big demon. No matter what her identity is, she is enough to command these little demons. The other little demons were now looking at Fudomaru curiously. This person turned out to be the bloodline of Lord Duya King, and the gorgeous attack in the flames just now not only directly destroyed the Ocelot clan's camp. 
He also severely injured three great demons, which was extremely overbearing. And if he is really the second son of King Duya, he should be quite young. If he is so strong at this age, will he be a new king of Duya in the future? Xiao Fudu, let's go. Immortal fairy Ling Yu shouted Fu Dumaru. Now that he has found his mother, Fudomaru no longer intends to stay here. Moreover, the battle just now caused the demonic energy in Fudomaru's body to surge. It seems that there are some changes, so he needs to find a place to take a look. My lady Lingyu immortal fairy, please wait a moment. I wonder if I can go back to my clan. Hearing this, fairy Lingyu frowned, what are you doing in Hui clan? To be precise, I want to invite his highness Hideomaru. This time his highness Hideomaru directly destroyed the Ocelot clan camp. This war is probably about to end. After Miya said this, immortal fairy Lingyu noticed that this was the previous camp of the Ocelot clan. Why do I feel like I've been burned by a fire now? Little Fudo, you, destroyed the Ocelot clan's camp. Ling Yu fairy looked at Fudomaru curiously. That's right. Fudomaru nodded lightly, but he didn't seem too concerned about it. Hearing his admission, fairy Ling Yu was also stunned. If this was the case, then it was indeed necessary to return to the clan. After all, her son had solved a big problem for the dog demon clan. You have to ask the dog demon clan for something. Advertisement. Chapter 40 The Youngest Great Demon in History. Advertisement. The dog demon clan's clan? It is a special space, or a small world. It doesn't feel like there's anything special outside. But after actually entering, Fudomaru realized why the dog demon clan was able to block the attack of the Ocelot clan. The area of this space is not small, it can even be said to be quite huge. Come in through the entrance. It is a very high mountain. The entrance is on the platform at the top of the mountain. From here, you can see the entire dog demon clan at a glance. A huge mountain range is in front of you, and there is a huge waterfall on the mountain, which spreads down the mountain like a dragon's whiskers, forming branches of many rivers. And where the river branches at the foot of the mountain, buildings of different sizes stand here. It's like a basin, and the lush grass on the plain looks very comfortable. There are probably nearly a hundred thousand monsters living here. Of course, there are not only the dog demon clan, but also other demon clans. But they all seem to be affiliated groups of the dog demon clan. Let's go. Immortal fairy Ling Yu was at the front urging Fu Dumaru to hurry up. Hokitomaru looked back at Princess's Aoi who was being carried by other monsters. It wasn't that she was so noble, but that she had already passed out. Inuyasha is now held in the arms of Lingyu Immortal Princess. Inuyasha is still a baby. Inuyasha was born on the day King Tuga died. Now he couldn't even open his eyes, but what Fudomaru didn't expect was that Senji Lingyu didn't have any disgust towards Inuyasha. I don't even dislike Azeoi either. Advertisement. The gloomy expression I saw on Azeoi earlier was just because Azeoi was in a very bad condition. But no dog demon paid attention to her, which made Lingyu Immortal Fairy's face look unhappy. Maybe it's the resonance of motherhood? Seeing Azeoi who was very weak after giving birth, Fairy Lingyu seemed to think of her own past. Many dog demons along the way noticed the entering of Hokidomaru and others, especially after seeing Fairy Lingyu. The dog demons automatically knelt down and crawled on the roadside to greet the arrival of immortal Fairy Lingyu. The princess of the dog demon clan, Fairy Lingyu, has never been to the dog demon clan's land. Hokidomaru even heard a lot of comments. Princess, the one behind you must be Lord Duya King's second son. It seems to be called Fudomaru. You bastard, you need to give me an honorific. Oh, yes, yes, it should be called His Highness Fudomaru. These dog demons were also very curious about Fudomaru, but feeling the natural aura of Fudomaru's blood made these ordinary dog demons afraid to approach. He could only look at Fudomaru secretly. Passing through the place where the dog demon clan lives, we reached the mountainside halfway up the mountain, where a row of buildings like tassels in the air were built. The people who really have the right to speak in the dog demon clan live here. There is also an ancient pagoda on the top of the mountain, which is where the three elders and the three most senior members of the dog demon clan live. Miya suggested that Fairy Lingyu return to her clan this time just to let the three elders meet Fudomaru. After all, Hokidomaru did something quite terrifying this time. It can be said that Fudomaru single-handedly ended this war that had not yet fully started. The attack of the Ocelot clan was completely defeated. One person, destroying the Ocelot clan's camp and severely injuring three great demons, such an achievement is simply heaven-defying. Advertisement. And Fudomaru, who did such a thing, was only a 15-year-old brat. This kind of genius monster cannot be encountered even once in 10,000 years, and it is impossible for the dog demon clan not to pay attention to it. Even Mia could vaguely see the figure of King Toya in Fudomaru. This is an even more outstanding existence than Seshomaru. Arrive at the pavilion halfway up the mountain. Under the leadership of immortal fairy Lingyu, Fudomaru lived in a small courtyard. Fudomaru didn't have time to take a look at the Inuyu clan's territory. Instead, he immediately requested a room and entered the room. Because, the demonic energy in Fudomaru's body began to surge. The great sage also issued a warning. Host's demonic energy begins to surge. In the next period of time, the host's demon power will surge to stimulate the bloodline, and the first bloodline awakening will usher in. Please host be prepared. Bloodline awakens? Although Fudomaru didn't know what was going on, he had no time to run around with his demon power soaring. In the room, Hokidomaru was lying on the bed, warmth continued to flow from his body, and his body began to gradually change. The ears that had originally transformed into human form turned into a canine demon again, and his hands, feet, and body began to gradually transform into a canine demon. Not long after, a Tengu with red hair appeared directly in the room. A red line appeared on the two tails behind him, and the red hair was directly lit with flames. The evil spirit swept through the room crazily. Hotamaru's demonic power is increasing explosively. Are you trying to break through the big demon's rhythm? I didn't break through the big demon when I went to the underworld before, but I didn't expect that I would break through the big demon right after I came out and had a fight. Advertisement. This can be considered an unexpected surprise. At this moment, outside Fudomaru's room, Genji and Hiseo were extremely excited. Because at this moment, the dog demons coming from all directions stopped outside Fudomaru's door. There are also three great demons among them. Secret Tooth, Liya, besides, is this, Bloodline Awakening. Miya turned to look at Lingyu Fairy, who also sensed the change in Fudomaru's demonic power and rushed to the courtyard. Could it be that His Highness Fudomaru has never had his bloodline awakened before? Hearing this, Fairy Lingyu nodded, Fudomaru is only 15 years old, what do you think? Correct. 
15 years old, isn't this the age when the bloodline of the dog demon clan awakens? Before, Mia thought that Fudumara had completed the bloodline awakening, but if he could severely injure the three great demons without the bloodline awakening, then how terrible it would be after the bloodline awakening. For the dog demon clan, the awakening of the bloodline is like a human cub learning to walk. It's all a process that must be experienced. After the bloodline is awakened, in addition to the enhanced demon power and physical strength, the most important point is that it can transform into the original appearance of the dog demon royal family, the Tengu. As the awakening of Fudomaru's bloodline gradually began, the size of Fudomaru's demonized body also continued to increase. Basically, in a few breaths, it has grown to 5 or 6 meters long, including its tail, which is almost as long as its body. From now on, the Tengu clan's advantage begins to unfold. As a monster who has awakened his bloodline, he can have such a size, strength, and monster power. They are all extremely terrifying. It can be said that he directly surpasses ordinary little monsters by an unknown amount. Boom, the demonic energy Uzumaki explodes, feeling the terrifying demonic energy condensed into Uzumaki. Miya and Liya looked at each other, he actually, really became a great demon. Awakening the bloodline art and becoming a great demon, this, this, this is something that has never happened to the dog demon clan. Advertisement. Chapter 41 The Three Domineering Swords in the World. Advertisement. Fudomaru's bloodline awakened, and his demonic power surged, directly breaking through the bottleneck of the great demon. The movements that form the demon Uzumaki are naturally impossible to attract people's attention in the land of the Inyeo clan. But among the dog demons still in the clan, in addition to the two great demons Miya and Liya, there is also Duya. The seven teeth of the dog is also a real great demon. However, compared to the joy in the eyes of Miya and Liya, his eyes were more filled with surprise, disbelief, and fear. The son of King Duya. He is still the youngest son, not the eldest son says Homaru. The latter is already over a hundred years old after all, and there are many who have broken through to the level of a great demon at this age. Aren't they the same two people back then? King Duya and Zanya? Both of them were over a hundred years old at the beginning, and they directly broke through to the level of the great demon by virtue of their terrifying talents. But now, an even more terrifying monster has appeared. In the Dog Mountain, above the Ambergris Waterfall, the three elders of the Dog Clan in the Stone Tower opened their eyes one after another. The energy and blood are strong, like a newly lit fire. An old and hoarse voice sounded. Inside the Stone Tower, three huge figures sat on huge stone seats. Although the three figures all looked lifeless, when they opened their eyes, there was a sparkle in their eyes, as well as a trace of evil spirit leaking out. I am afraid that if it were not for the barrier of the Stone Tower, just this weak evil spirit sweeping through would be enough to easily destroy a town. And now the three elders are looking down at the demonic Uzumaki, the son of King Duya. The future life is terrible. The figure in the center moved slightly, unprecedented, unprecedented. At this age, he can become a great demon? He will surpass Duya King in the future. The three elders looked at each other as they spoke, and then fell silent again. At this time, Fudomaru also opened his eyes. Congratulations to host for successfully breaking through the limit of demonic power, completing the transformation of bloodline, and increasing demonic power. Advertisement. At the same time, host's riot Su also doubled due to changes in bloodline. Double? Fudomaru was stunned for a moment, he had already been considered a captain level riot Su before. Double it? It would be different if we met the five great demons from the Ocelot clan again. None of them would be able to escape. Increased progress of Raijin Jaka in Senluo Wingziang simulation. Raijin Jaka 30%. It has increased by another 10%, but it is still in the Shikai state, but now the power of the fire is probably stronger. Even if the Zenpakuto was not unsheathed, Hokidomaru could feel that the Zenpakuto had become much sharper. The current absorption speed of the power of the underworld has increased, and the underworld passage opened by the underworld stone can continue to be widened. The upper limit of the practice method has been increased, and the host can continue to update the practice method to speed up the practice. A bloodline awakening brings too many changes. The enhancement of demon power, Ryatsu, and these are still secondary. Mainly because his own breakthrough allowed his cultivation speed to increase dramatically, this was what Fudomaru felt most satisfied with. At this moment, Fudomaru had a new feeling. It seems that I can transform. Can transform from human form into Tengo form. However, this form doesn't seem to have much effect. There is no improvement in combat effectiveness, at most it is just a bit bigger and stronger in terms of strength. But actually there isn't much improvement. Tasteless? In comparison, the biggest change in Fudomaru now is that he has grown taller. The little kid who was 12 or 13 years old has grown to a height of 15 or 16 years old. Although he still looks like a kid, he doesn't look so small. This is a monster. The appearance of a monster not only represents its age, it can also tell how far its bloodline has evolved. Advertisement. Push the door open. Fudomaru looked at the dog demons outside. Before Fudomaru could say anything, Fairy Lingyu waved her hand. Go back to me. Let Xiao Fudu take a rest. Miya wanted to say something, but Ling Yu Zianji didn't give him a chance and went back to the room with Fudomaru. Looking at the closed door, Miya was helpless and could only wait until the two of them came out. Fairy Ling Yu looked at Fudomaru, has your bloodline awakened? Hokitomaru nodded yes. Mother. Feeling the terrifying fluctuations of Yuki in Fudomaru now, he had just become a great demon, and the fluctuations in Fudomaru's Yuki were already quite astonishing. This surprised Fairy Lingyu. However, Fudomaru's performance was not consistent with common sense, so this seems to be nothing to be surprised about. As expected of my son, his bloodline awakening actually broke through to the great demon. It was rare to see Fairy Lingyu smile. But Fudomaru didn't quite understand that his mother didn't laugh that easily. Are you laughing like this just because you broke through to the great demon today? Fairy Lingyu looked at Fudowan. Becoming a great demon, you have to walk the road ahead by yourself. Mom probably can't help you with anything. Hokitomaru shook his head, mother. Listen to me, your father is dead. Ling Yu immortal fairy said as she looked at Fudomaru, do you know this? Nodding, it was difficult not to know the news of King Duya's death. Your father left something for you. Keep something for yourself? Fudomaru was very surprised. Does King Duya really have father-son feelings for him? Advertisement. I'm afraid not. After all, when he was born, that guy probably just hooked up with his Aoi, and that was probably the reason why he didn't return to the royal city after that. And then, when Inuyasha was born, King Daoga would actually think of leaving something to himself? Do you know the three domineering swords in the world? Suddenly Fairy Lingyo mentioned this matter, and Fudomaru was stunned for a moment. Of course he knew this. 
King of Duya, Dog Demon Admiral, he rules the Western Demon Kingdom, and the reason why he has such a status is his three swords. Iron Broken Teeth, Natural Teeth, and Kong Yunya. In fact, there should be only two swords, Tai Suiya and Kong Yunya. Tian Shengya is just a part that split off from Tai Suiya. As we all know, the Tetsuyasha was left to Inuyasha, the Tensenga was given to Seshomaro, and the Kumugo was thrown into the bone well by Totosai, and was collected by the Kagam family after traveling to the present world. Now what does Immortal Lingyo mean when she talks to herself about these three swords? Did King Duya leave a sword to himself? Iron Broken Teeth? Impossible, Inuyasha needs this sword very much, it is impossible to give it to him. Natural Teeth? The most suitable person should also be Seshomaru. After all, Seshomaru is strong enough but lacks kindness. Therefore, the natural tooth is the best protection and the best test for Seshomaru. Could it be? Kong Yunya? Really? Is King Duya willing to give that knife to himself? Kong Yunya can open the door to the underworld and summon a hundred undead souls with one swing of his sword. It also has quite powerful tricks. The prison dragon is broken? Could King Duya keep this knife for himself? Advertisement. Chapter 42 The Three Elders Summon the Dog Demon Inheritance. Advertisement. Seeing that Fu Damaro was a little distracted, Fairy Ling Yu frowned, wondering what Fu Damaro was thinking about now. What are you thinking about? Little Fudo. Hearing this, Fu Damaro came to his senses and shook his head gently. It's nothing. Fu Damaro didn't want to say more, and immortal Fairy Ling Yu had no intention of asking any more questions. You may not know much about your father's three swords. Let me explain them to you a little bit. Immortal Fairy Ling Yu said and slowly sat down. The first sword is called Iron Broken Tooth. It was made from your father's teeth. As a member of the Dog Demon Clan, basically when they reach a certain level of strength, they will use their teeth to make their own weapons. Ling Yu Senji glanced at the Zenpakuto on Fudomaru's waist. Fudomaru has known this for a long time, and he was so special that he built his own tooth blade early. I originally thought that the tooth blade made by Fudomaru would not be anything special. But I didn't expect that as Fudomaru grew older, Fudomaru's fangs seemed to grow as well. This change made immortal fairy Ling Yu somewhat confused about how Fudomaru did it. This iron broken tooth is your father's strongest demon sword. It has the power to destroy hundreds of demons in an instant with just one swing. When she said this, fairy Ling Yu carefully observed Fudomaru's expression and found that Fudomaru didn't seem to have any change. He was not attracted by Tai Suiya's powerful power at all. Seeing Fu Dumaru like this, Fairy Ling Yu was rather pleased. If Fu Dumaru was attracted by Tai Suiya's power, then Fairy Ling Yu would be a little disappointed. The look on Fu Dumaru's appearance was exactly what immortal Fairy Ling Yu wanted to see. The second blade is the Tian Tian Ya, a blade that can resurrect the dead. It can resurrect hundreds of people with just one swing. But your father decided to leave this sword to Ses Homaru. Advertisement. Hearing this, Fu Dumaru seemed to be very interested. What a natural tooth. It's a pretty good knife. Hearing this, immortal fairy Ling Yu was a little surprised. She didn't care about the powerful Tai Suiya and Fu Damaru, but was more concerned about the natural teeth that could save people. What is the reason? You want natural teeth? But Fudomaru asked, is it okay? If I defeat the big brother, can I snatch the Tensenga? Unexpectedly, Fudomaru really wanted the natural teeth so much, but Senji Lingyu did not answer this question. Although Seshomaru did not grow up under her knees, the palms and backs of his hands were full of flesh. No matter what, she couldn't interfere with Fudomaru and Seshomaru, but the silent answer was equivalent to objection. The third sword, Kong Yunya, is different from Tianchenja and Taisuya. It is not a demon sword made by your father himself, but is called a demon sword. When talking about this sword, Fairy Lingyu looked at Fudomaru. I found that Hokidomaru had regained his composure again and didn't seem too concerned at all. Can't even the demon sword Kong Yunya move Fudomaru's face? This was something Immortal Fairy Ling Yu didn't expect. So my mother told me these are. Immortal Fairy Ling Yu sighed, your father left the magic sword Kong Yunya to you. Did he really give the magic sword Kong Yunya to himself? I didn't expect King Duya to be really courageous. Isn't he worried that he will be controlled by the magic sword Kong Yunya? Or do you have so much confidence in him that you think you will be able to control this sword? When Fu Dumaro insisted on wandering to the Cloud Palace with Ling Yu Fairy, King Doya determined that although Fu Dumaro was young, he could definitely control the magic sword Kong Yunya. Because Hokutomaro has such a strong will at this age, and at the same time he does not lack the kindness he should have. At least he valued his mother very highly. Advertisement. To control the demonic sword Kong Yunya, you need both strength and strong will, and the most important thing King Doya believes is that you must have a kind heart, otherwise the demonic sword Kong Yunya will be extremely powerful. If a guy with evil intentions gets this sword, his life will definitely be ruined. Even if Fudumaru has any huge ambitions, as long as Ling Yu Fairy is here, at least Ling Yu Fairy's words can affect Fudumaru, so King Duya is not worried. The only worry is whether Fudumaru can control this sword. However, before Fudumaru was unable to control the sword, Fairy Ling Yu would not risk giving the sword to Fudumaru. The demonic sword Kong Yunya. Fudomaru lowered his eyes and thought for a while. It would be a lie to say that he was not interested in the demonic sword Kong Yunya. After all, it was a sword that could summon many undead souls from the underworld with just one swing. It was actually very useful to Fudomaru. Do you want to? Fudomaru raised his head and looked at Ling Yu Immortal Fairy. After asking this question, it was obvious that it was not that simple for him to get this knife. Seeing that Dumaru seemed to be looking forward to it, Fairy Ling Yu smiled instead. Although this sword was left to you by your father, you can't control it yet, so you can leave it with me for now. If you want to get this knife, it depends on when you are qualified. As she spoke, Immortal Fairy Ling Yu slowly stood up and prepared to walk out. The purpose of telling Fudomaru this is to make Fudomaru not be content with the status quo. The road to becoming a real great demon is not that simple. There are still many old antiques in the demon world. Although these monsters are also big monsters, there are also differences between the big monsters. Just like the nine lives of the Ocelot clan, although there are nine great demons, none of them can be the opponent of King Duya. This is the gap. After Fairy Ling Yu left, Fu Dumaru felt a little speechless. After talking for a long time and not giving it to myself, what kind of thing is this? Just leave a thought for yourself. Advertisement. Your Highness Fu Dumaru, I am Mia, can I come in? Secret Tooth? One of the seven teeth of the dog. What to do with yourself? Come in. Soon the door was pushed open and Mia walked in. 
Looking at Hidomaro who had just broken through the big demon in front of him, the demonic power was emitted involuntarily, but he was still unable to completely restrain it from entering his body. That evil spirit cannot lie. Real? He really became a great demon at the age of 15. The dog demon clan has just lost a Duya King and is now about to usher in a second existence that is more terrifying than Duya King? Miyai was a little excited. Your Highness Fudomara, the three elders want to see you. Three elders? The three elders of the dog demon clan can be regarded as the real leaders of the dog demon clan? They? See me? What to do? Miya smiled. Your Highness Fudomara, you may not know that the Inyeo clan is actually a country. As the leader of the Western Demon Kingdom, King Duya actually leads the dog demon clan. Monsters are different from humans. Monsters must use their strength to speak for themselves. The inheritance of the throne is not based on bloodline, but on strength. His Royal Highness Seshomaro has also been summoned. Is this to determine the next king? Advertisement. Chapter 43 The Two Young Masters of the Dog Demon Clan. Advertisement. Above Ambergris Falls, in front of the towering stone tower gate. Fudomaru followed Mia here, and Seshomaro, who had been waiting here for a long time, looked back at Fudomaru. The moment he saw Fudomaru, Seshomaru's expression changed somewhat. Nowadays, Fudomaru has still broken through the bottleneck of Deo and successfully promoted to a real Deo. This surprised Seshomaru, his elder brother, and also dealt a serious blow to his pride. Unexpectedly, Fudomaru would break through at this young age, and he was still far away from becoming a real great demon. He gently clenched his fists and looked at Fudomaru with a much more serious look. Next, please invite your two highnesses to go in by yourself. Mia stopped and signaled Fudomaru and Seshomaru to push open the door of the stone tower on their own. The two came to the door, and Seshomaru glanced at Fudomaru, who was almost as tall as him after successfully being promoted to Deo. You are strong, Fudomaru. The sudden words made Fudomaru confused. What happened to Seshomaru? Could it be that he suddenly broke through the big demon and surpassed him, making him feel a little unconvinced? But at this time, Seshomaru had already opened the door and walked in before Fudomaru could answer anything. Fudomaru could only follow. The huge stone door slowly closed, and it was pitch black inside. There was even a faint barrier appearing in front of him. Hokutomaru was stunned for a moment, and he could clearly see the energy flowing in the air. This energy was different from demon power. The spiritual power formed by natural energy turned into a barrier, sealing off the area in front. Fudomaru was very excited when he saw the barrier for the first time. The barrier was a new way for Fudomaru to use his power, and Fudomaru was quite interested. But that didn't wait for Fudomaru to take a closer look. Advertisement. A voice came from the barrier ahead. Closer. An old and hoarse voice sounded, and there seemed to be some strange energy fluctuations in the voice. It sounds extremely stressful. The three tribesmen who are talking about the dog demon are old, right? I don't know how old he is, but just speaking can bring huge pressure to him. This is no longer the level of a great demon? The light from the barrier dissipated as if the barrier had been opened, and the next second a strange demonic aura swept over him. It instantly enveloped Seshomaru and Hokitomaru. For a moment, both of them felt terrible pressure, which suddenly came on them. This feeling of oppression is even stronger than that of Hutamaru's Ryatsu. But facing the impact of the demonic energy, the demonic energy in both of them burst out on their own to form a barrier. Soon a light appeared in front, illuminated by the light. Three huge figures appeared in front of them, sitting on a huge stone seat. The size alone is probably far greater than the size of King Duya's remains in the original work. It's even several times that size. Being able to grow to such a huge size also means that the opponent's demonic power is absolutely terrifying. Are you two the bloodline left by that boy Duya? Hokidomaru looked at the old dog demon in the center. He looked like a human, but in fact he was just a giant dog. He just kept the same sitting posture and expression as a human. Seshomaru was now under the impact of the demonic energy, and it became difficult to even speak. When Fudomaru saw this, he had no choice but to say, Yes, if you are able to withstand the impact of our demon energy, you have indeed entered the realm of a great demon. Another tribe elder spoke, and he squinted his eyes. Although it was also huge, it was more like a wolf demon than a dog demon. Advertisement. After all, he became a great demon at the age of 15. His talent and bloodline are very special. The last clan elder also spoke. The three of them looked at it for a while, then slowly closed their eyes. The clan elder in the middle raised his huge paw and waved it gently. It seemed as if a sound that broke through the air erupted. Although you are the sons of King Duya, in the dog demon clan, it is not just the son who can inherit the position after his father dies. But seeing that you two are pretty good, the three of us decided to give you the title of young master. Young master? Fudomaru was stunned for a moment. What does this mean? Acquire the title of the dog demon lord, and you can compete for the throne of the dog demon clan in the future. But before you become king, the dog demon clan will not give you any help. You have to rely on yourself for everything. Speaking of this, the clan elder in the center looked at Fudomaru. But this time I still want to thank you little guy. If you hadn't severely injured several big monsters of the Ocelot clan, the war would probably continue now. It might be difficult to tell the winner in the next hundred years, but now the defeat of the Ocelot clan is doomed. The war will be over in a few years. As he said that, the other party waved his hand and said, Go. Is this the end? Fudomaru was confused. Wouldn't he be rewarded for his meritorious deeds? Forget it, this is probably the demon clan. Nor can they be measured by human thinking. However, what Fudomaru didn't know was that he and Seshomaru were recognized as the Inuyeo masters. At this moment, the Inuyeo clan had begun to discuss, and even the names of the two people were gradually spread throughout the Yukai world. As the eldest son of King Dauga, Seshomaru, who followed King Dauga in his early battles in the north and south, has already gained some fame. Advertisement. Now that he is officially recognized as the Inuyeo prince, the trembling noble prince is used by other monsters to call Seshomaru. This time, Fudomaru, who destroyed the Ocelot clan's camp alone, was also called the gorgeous Enzi by other monsters. After all, Hokutomaru's battle was magnificent. Dancing in the flames, when the song ends, what is left is the burned out and empty earth. Third elder, I would like to ask, can my mother be lifted from exile? Just when Seshomaru turned around and wanted to leave, Kodomaru suddenly asked. This question made the third elder raise his head and look at Fudomaru, and his expression changed slightly. You are not qualified to make this request now. How can it be done? Hokitomaru asked. The third elder smiled and said, Become, the king. On the way back, Fudomaru seemed to understand. 
Why in the original work, since Sesshomaru is an Inu demon lord, as the son of King Tuga, there is no Inu demon following him. Considering his identity as an Inu demon lord, he has to rely on himself to prove his strength. If you rely on the dog demon clan, you will be deprived of the title of young master, but that's right, only the strongest monster can be called a king. If you can become a king just by relying on blood, then you may not necessarily be the strongest monster, but after Fudomaru and Sesshomaru left, the three elders opened their eyes again. King Dauga, it seems that he left Kanjayunya to the little guy Fudomaru. Kong Yunya, you gave it to this child just like that. Aren't you afraid of being devoured by the magic sword? The sword is in Fairy Lingyu's hand. I don't think Fairy Lingyu will give it to Fudowin casually. The three elders all had smiles on their faces. But it should be soon. That child seems to want to lift immortal Fairy Lingyu's exile. Although the exile is only a formality, he cares about it. Advertisement. Chapter 44 Do you want to become Shinigami? Advertisement. If you want your mother to be lifted from the punishment of exile, do you have to become a king first? On the way back to the immortal palace, Fudomaru looked at his mother beside him, although this departure from exile was just a formality. Even if immortal fairy Ling Yu left the immortal palace this time, she was not punished, which already speaks volumes. Apparently, the dog demon clan still knew why fairy Ling Yu wanted to devour other monsters. But although exile is just a word, it is not a real punishment. But Fudomaru still hopes to regain the freedom of Ling Yu immortal princess. There are two completely different concepts between not having freedom and having it but not wanting to leave. At this moment, the carriage that was pulling Fudomaru and Ling Yu Zianji suddenly stopped. Are we here? Hokutomaru opened the curtain and took a look. This is a human city. The city where Princess Izaoi's father is located. Izaoi's father is a city lord. When the monster's frame comes here, there was clearly some level of commotion in the city, and it looked like they had spotted the frame in the air. Get down. Immortal fairy Ling Yu said coldly and quickly came to the city. The monster driving the carriage directly controlled the carriage and landed in the courtyard of the city lord's mansion. A large group of soldiers rushed out. Although these soldiers surrounded the carriage, they all looked frightened. The person driving the carriage was a monster. How could ordinary human soldiers not be afraid? Behind the car of Fudomaru and Regio Senji, there was another car, in which sat Izeoi and the infant Inuyasha. Izeoi got out of the car with Inuyasha in his arms. Advertisement. Looking in the direction of Immortal Fairy Ling Yu, she thanked her very gratefully. Thank you, sister. Immortal Fairy Ling Yu's face suddenly turned ugly at this call. Let's go. When the little demon guy who was driving outside heard it, he immediately urged the pulling demon beast, and the frame of the car rose into the air and flew towards the sky. Looking at the car frame going away, Izeoi smiled helplessly. This sister is actually quite kind-hearted, but she is quite arrogant. If it weren't for Fairy Lingyu this time, I'm afraid she and the child wouldn't know what to do. Being inexplicably caught by a group of monsters, human beings can only watch and dare not take any action when faced with this situation. Her father was completely helpless. Looking at Inuyasha in his arms, Inuyasha, get along well with your brother from now on. Your brother saved your life and mine. Inuyasha, who didn't even open his eyes at this moment, actually muttered as if in response to Izeoi. I didn't expect to have such a relationship with Inuyasha, but for the protagonist of this world, Inuyasha, Hokutomaru has no great interest at all. Of course Fudomaru thinks so now, but he doesn't know that Inuyasha will bring him a big surprise later, and become his best tool man. Return to Asgard. Immortal Fairy Ling Yu repeatedly emphasized that Fudomaru would never leave the Immortal Palace without any reason in the future. You have to talk to her about anything. Fudomaru also knew that this was a crisis of trust now, and Immortal Fairy Ling Yu would not be overly reassured about him no matter what she said now. Hokutomaru was released after being unable to guarantee repeatedly that the previous situation would not happen again. Come to the Fairy Palace Garden. Yako was very happy about Fudomaru's return, and now brought Fudomaru to the garden. He was chattering about one thing. Master Fudomaru, you don't know that all these carps have turned into monsters. Advertisement. With that said, he took Fudomaru to the edge of the pond. Looking at the carp in the pond, each one seems to be surrounded by immortal energy flowing around it. At first glance, it seems to be the fish in the immortal pond, but in fact these are all evil spirits, and all these fish have become monsters. But it hasn't transformed yet. These fish are turning into monsters so soon. Fudomaru was also surprised, the speed was not unusually fast. Doesn't it take hundreds of years for an ordinary fish to become a monster? Don't even think about it. It's weird. Izzy also thinks it's weird, but it doesn't matter if these carps become monsters, it's also good that there will be some little monsters in the fairy palace in the future. Little monster? After thinking about it, Fudomaru was right. He also needed some monsters, especially monsters to pull the cart. If the carp could become an Arauna and let these Arauanas pull the cart for him, that would be enough. Squatting by the pond and looking at these carp, he said, grow up quickly. From now on, I will turn into an Arauna and pull a cart for me. Pulling a cart? Izzy was stunned for a moment, but if you think about it carefully, this idea is quite good. Okay, Izzy, go to your mother first. I'm going to practice here for a while. Yako doesn't know how these carps turned into monsters, and Hokutomaru doesn't know either. Isn't it largely because of the natural energy that I gathered during my cultivation, which allowed these carp to absorb it and accelerate their evolution into monsters? So as long as Fudomaru persists in practicing, the speed at which these carp become monsters will naturally accelerate. And now that Fudomaru has become a great demon, he can continue to update the demon power training method. The subsequent training speed will be faster. Fudomaru couldn't wait any longer now and wanted to start the deduction with the Great Sage right away. Yes. After Yako retreated, Fudomaru went directly to his old position and sat down cross-legged on the rockery in the middle of the pond. Great Sage, let's begin. Advertisement. Parsing host's current physique. The demon power cultivation method begins to be deduced. As the Great Sage began, natural energy began to be gathered. At the same time, Genji and Hiseo, who were guarding in the distance, also smiled again. This was the feeling. Every time Master Fudomaru practices, the two of them can also improve, and their bodies seem to be devouring some kind of energy around them. Let their demonic power increase. Although the increase is not much each time, it can be quite considerable over time. The demon power cultivation method was successfully deduced and evolved into the dog demon art. The current demon power increase speed is tripled. Improving practice efficiency. The dog demon Ju can comprehensively evolve the demon's power, physique, and body shape, and strengthen the host's bloodline to a certain extent. 
Hearing this, the corners of Fudomaru's mouth rose slightly, and the speed at which his demonic power increased based on the original speed increased again. After becoming a great demon, you won't have to worry about your demonic power not being able to increase quickly. And it can also strengthen your bloodline? Now that's fun, what will the continuous strengthening of bloodline look like in the end? Fudomaru was a little curious, but now there's another thing. Hokidomaru opened his eyes, looked in the direction of Genji and Hiseo, and waved to them to come over. And the two of them came in front of Fudomaru. Master Fudomaru, do you have any orders? Fudomaru looked at the two of them, are the great sages and their souls really suitable? Because these two people have been with the host for a long time, they have absorbed part of the power of the underworld to a certain extent. Their soul strength has been enhanced and they can integrate into the sealed state. Very good. Hokidomaru looked at the two of them, you two, want to become Shinigami. Advertisement. Chapter 45 Sealed State Fusion First Shinigami. Advertisement. Shinigami? What is Master Fudomaru talking about? What Shinigami? Seeing that the two of them didn't understand at all, Fudomaru smiled and said, Follow me. Arriving in the room where they usually sparred with Genji and Hiseo, the two looked at Fudomaru with a confused look on his face. The two of them had no idea what Hokidomaru meant by Shinigami earlier. Master Fudomaru, what do you mean by Shinigami? Before Fudomaru could speak first, Genji couldn't help but ask. Shinigami. There was a smile on Hokidomaru's face. If he wanted to explain, he had to think of how to say it so that the two of them could understand. To put it simply, I discovered that in addition to cultivating demonic power, our souls can also cultivate, and the power released by the soul is no weaker than demonic power. Such a simple explanation was immediately understood by the two of them. But what I am a bit confused about is, how to cultivate the soul? Fudomaru glanced at Genji. Under the evaluation of the two of them by the Great Sage, Genji's soul was slightly stronger. So now you can try to get Genji to get the first sealed state? Fudomaru glanced at Genji. Raising his hand to pick up his Zenpakuto, he then released Ryatsu, and the previously forged sealed state was separated from the Zenpakuto by Hokidomaru. Holding the original sealed state, Hokidomaru looked at the two of them, can you see it? The two of them frowned. Although it seemed that Master Fudomaru had done something to his sword just now, they did feel a very strange force, but didn't see anything. Shake his head, no. Does Master Fudomaru have something in his hand? Sure enough, as the great sage thought, even the undead in the underworld cannot be seen casually. Unless the demon power reaches a certain level, it is impossible to see the undead. It seems that the demon power of the two is not up to the level of seeing the undead. Advertisement. But that's okay. Hokidomaru released his Ryatsu and injected it into the sealed state. At the same time, a trace of demon power also poured into it along with the Ryatsu. Then, in the confused gazes of the two people, they saw a long sword suddenly appear in Hokidomaru's hand. This sword exudes light. You can see it now. The two nodded. I can see it. Master Fudomaru, this is. This is the power of the soul. The blade I made using the power of the soul is like a seed. Once it is planted into your soul, you can start to cultivate the power of the soul. Become the Shinigami I say you are. Genji and Hiseo glanced at each other. Is this, reliable? Of course, if they had such doubts in their hearts, the two of them would not ask them directly. They didn't dare question Hokidomaru either. But is it really possible? I have never heard that the soul can also cultivate. But it didn't look like Master Fudomaru was joking. Genji, your soul is a little stronger. Do you want me to inject the seed into your body? Genji swallowed. Everyone wanted to become stronger. Fudomaru said that the power of the soul is not weaker than the power of a demon, so this also explains why Master Fudomaru has not become a great demon before. He was able to fight against five great demons by himself. It was impossible not to envy such power. But can it really succeed? There won't be any danger? But then I thought about how to gain wealth in danger. If I didn't even dare to try it, I'm afraid Master Fudomaru would be very disappointed with it. Good. After receiving the answer, Fudomaru was very satisfied and glanced at Hiseo. Don't worry, I will forge another sealed state, if you also want to become a Shinigami. Master Fudomaru, this subordinate is willing to become a Shinigami. Hiseo agreed without hesitation. The courage is enough. Advertisement. Good. Fudomaru nodded and turned to look at Genji, but now, I want Genji to experience the power of Shinigami. As he said this, Fudomaru called out the Great Sage in his heart. Now it's the Great Sage's turn to appear. To help Genji integrate into the sealed state, you need to combine Genji's soul power to let him integrate into the sealed state of Fudomaru. And once Genji successfully merges with the sealed state, not only can he rely on Zenpakuto to collect the power of Genji's faith, but also help Fudomaru's Senra Wanshao further simulate Raya Jinjaka. At the same time, part of the Ryatsu strengthened by Genji's training will also be transferred into Fudomaru's body. Quite he helps Fujito strengthen Ryatsu, but the integration process is not that simple. The Great Sage took control of Fudomaru's body, and suddenly the temperature in the whole room seemed to drop a lot. Subsequently, Hotamaru's Ryatsu and demon power exploded, directly and instantly injected into Genji's body. Being forcibly injected with demonic power and Ryatsu is not that simple. Even though it is under the control of the Great Sage, even a little bit of demonic power injected into it will still make people miserable. However, UNSI gritted his teeth and did not scream out, but the cold sweat on his forehead could tell how much pain UNSI was enduring at this moment. Sealed state fusion. 10%. 20%. Soul rejection. Correcting. Correction completed and fusion continued. 30%. 40%. The fusion process was not smooth sailing, but it took three hours. Finally, the fusion of sealed state was completed without any risk, just when the fusion was about to be completed. Advertisement. Fudomaru seemed to feel some kind of connection between himself and Genji. It even seems that through the power of the soul, he can control UNC's life situation to a certain extent anytime and anywhere. Is this a soul link? Yes. Host now has control of all the soul. Even if the opponent dies, host can absorb all the opponent's power and use it for his own purposes. Good guy, you squeeze others while you are alive, and you won't even let go of their dead souls. But, Fudomaru thinks this is not bad. Very good. At this moment, Yuanji, who successfully integrated the first sealed state, slowly opened his eyes. He looked at Fudomaru in front of him in surprise. Master Fudomaru, I feel. 
I feel. Is this, is this what you call Ryatsu? It's completely different from the feeling of demonic power. It's so strange. Although Genji's Ryatsu is very weak now, it can still be used. You should get familiar with this power. Next, I will take you to another place. You cannot cultivate soul power in this world. Another place? Is it impossible to cultivate in this world? If we can't practice cultivation in this world, doesn't that mean we have to go to other worlds? Master Fudomaru, are we going to another world? That's right, go to the underworld. In the underworld, normal people can't help but feel a little scared when they hear these two words. That is the world of the dead. Can they come out after going in? Don't worry, I have the underworld stone given by my mother, so I can enter and come out of the underworld at any time. As he said this, Fudomaru patted Genji on the shoulder. The first Shinigami in Inuyasha's world besides himself, I hope Genji won't practice too slowly and provide himself with more Ryatsu. Advertisement. Chapter 46 The changes in the underworld first enter Rukanga. Advertisement. Is there really no problem? Genji was still a little worried, but Fudomaru didn't say any more. Kyo, you stay here, I'll be back soon this time, just to take a look. The last time I actually disappeared suddenly, I actually entered the underworld. Hearing this, Hiseo nodded, I understand. If Master Fudomaru is in any danger, please don't take the risk and return immediately. Underworld? That is the underworld, and it is not a place that one can freely enter and exit casually. But Fudomaru reassured him. The underworld is the real paradise for Fudomaru. If the previous great demon of the Ocelot clan fought with Fudomaru in the underworld, then Fudomaru would be able to absorb a steady stream of souls to restore Ryatso. In this case, none of those five guys can even think of running away. All must die. I don't know what happened to the great demons of the Ocelot clan now. The dog demon clan should be launching a full-scale counter-attack. However, this war will not end anytime soon. The Dog Demon Clan must ensure that the Ocelot Clan has no power to resist, so that they will never have a chance to come back before they stop. These things have nothing to do with Fudomaru. Now Fudomaru just wants to build Soul Society, not only to establish a complete order for the Soul's operation, but also to make oneself stronger. If the Soul Society is truly established, countless Shinigami will provide endless riots so for Hokutomaru. At the same time, it can also help Fudomaru become stronger at a faster speed. Thinking of this, Fudomaru urged the Underworld Stone to open the entrance to the Underworld. And when the entrance to the Underworld opened, the power of the Underworld surged out, and Hiseo felt a terrible coldness sweeping over him, as if even his soul was about to be frozen. But on the other side, UNSI, who was fused with the sealed state, felt like a man who was about to die of thirst, crazily and greedily absorbing the power from the Underworld. How is this going? Advertisement. However, before he could figure it out, Fudomaru had already taken him into the Underworld. In the Underworld? Genji looked around in surprise. It was completely different from the hellish scene he had imagined. There is actually a street here? What is going on? Is the underworld just like the outside world, with people living there? But these shouldn't be all undead. Why can they still live here normally like humans outside? Fudomaru appeared. San Mao sniffed his breath and rushed over. When San Mao's figure appeared, UNC's hair suddenly stood up. Like a huge underworld dog like a hill, it suddenly rushed towards you. No one would remain calm after seeing such a scene. Just when Genji's expression became tense. But suddenly he saw San Mao wagging his tail, lying directly in front of Fudomaru, exposing his belly, and making a squeaking sound. Fudomaru was speechless. You damn dog, why are you acting so coquettishly? Although he scolded San Mao, Fudomaru was also surprised. He didn't expect San Mao to grow so big. What's going on, great sage? How did San Mao become so huge? Under analysis, San Mao, the underworld dog, has a large number of spirit seeds in its belly, which are being digested. A lot of souls? Is this guy eating spirit seeds everywhere? Before the host leaves, let the underworld dogs guard this place and attack if evil spirits appear. It is speculated that the spirit sun in San Mao should be transformed by the evil spirits that were swallowed. Is that so? But this guy was also in the underworld before. Why didn't it become what it is now? The underworld dog began to devour evil spirits only after receiving the order from the host. The underworld dog may not have attacked the evil spirits before. He is indeed a stupid dog who does nothing without orders. Advertisement. Never mind. It's good that San Mao becomes stronger. Able to look after the house better. Nowadays, the world of Rukong has changed a lot, and there are a lot of undead staying there. It looks extremely prosperous with people coming and going. However, these undead looked at Shijer, very surprised, and at the same time there was a hint of gratitude in their eyes. It seems that they also know that this street was built by the person in front of them. Sir, you must be the ruler of Rukonga. Suddenly an undead came forward to ask. Hokutomaru looked at this undead, and he was quite courageous. There were so many undead on this street, but he was the only one who dared to approach. Yes, what's wrong? The other party smiled and said, Thank you, sir, for creating this world of Rukong and giving us undead souls who are reluctant to reincarnate a place to live. But, sir, if possible, could you expand this Rukonga? Expansion? Hokutomaru used riot so to sense it. Good guy, I didn't expect that in such a short period of time, the previously created Rukonkai could accommodate nearly 10,000 people. But now they are all full, and there are still many undead wandering in Rukonga, with no place to live at all. It does seem necessary to expand Rukonga. But, the most important thing now is to let UNSI absorb the spirit sun here and see how quickly he can practice. Okay, I know this. Fudomaru looked at the undead on the side, you organize some undead to patrol this street. If you find an evil spirit, let San Mao devour it immediately. Hearing this, the other party nodded, yes, sir. This is what we did before when you were away. But for some reason, the number of evil spirits that appear near Rukonga seems to have increased recently. Advertisement. If possible, sir, can you think of a way to protect this street so that evil spirits cannot enter at will? What power should be used to protect it? This sentence reminded Fudomaru that it was time to understand the barrier. After all, when Soul Society is established in the future, it will not only include Rukonga but also Siraiti. However, Siraiti will certainly not be able to let ordinary undead enter at will, so it is necessary to set up a barrier. After we get out, let's see if Fairy Ling Yu can figure it out. It shouldn't be difficult to learn the enchantment. I have a great sage. I've written down everything you said. Don't worry, what's your name? Fudomaru asked the other party. The undead was stunned when he heard this question. I'm sorry, sir, I, I forgot my name. Forgot your name? When you die, do you lose part of your soul? Then let me give you a name. 
Let's call him Lu Yi, the first undead of Rukonga. Thank you, sir, for the name. Lu Yi looked very excited. Sir, I don't know you. Just call me Fudomaru-sama. Fudomaru? This name was remembered by all the undead around him. Let's go, UNSI. Now go tell you how to cultivate your soul. UNSI looked at the undead around him and never thought that the underworld would be like this. And listening to the words of these undead, it seems that this street was built by Master Fudomaru. How did Master Fudomaru do it? Build a street in the underworld to accommodate the dead. Advertisement. Chapter 47 The Only Power of Flawed Belief. Advertisement. Master Fudomaru, can I quickly increase my riotsu by just sitting here and absorbing as much riotsu as possible? UNSI felt the soul power surging within his body. This kind of power is completely different from the demon power, but it is equally powerful. Even the special nature of the soul power makes Genji feel that riotsu is stronger than the demon power. The spirit child is actually the remaining power after the death of the soul. And this is the underworld, so there are many spirit children in the underworld. As he said this, Hokidomaru looked at Genji, Riotsu can be used in the underworld or in the living world, but you can probably only restore Riotsu in the underworld. UNSI nodded in understanding. There is no need to explain too much to Genji now, he will understand later. This is probably the flaw of Shinigami in Inuyasha's world. Although Riotsu can be used anywhere, if you want to recover after using it, you must return to the underworld. But Fujimaru is different. Because of the underworld stone, Fujimaru itself is equivalent to standing at the entrance of the underworld passage anytime and anywhere. Therefore, Fudomaru can restore the consumed Riotsu at any time. But it's different for people like Genji who were given a sealed state by Hokidomaru. This is a troublesome question. Host Senpakito has an inexplicable connection with the underworld stone, and the sealed state made by host contains a trace of host Senpakito's power. The gate through the world can be deduced. The success rate is 80%. The gate through the world can be opened with Senpakito. In this way, a Shinigami like Genji who is given a sealed state can use Senpakito to open the gate through the world and return to the underworld anytime and anywhere as long as the Riotsu is enough. Um, this is a good idea? If that were possible, then this only flaw wouldn't be a flaw at all. But there are a lot of things to do now. Advertisement. After expanding Rukonga, we need to find ways to research the barrier. After expanding another part of Rukonga, we need to start building Siraiti. Enhance Ryatsu and continue the simulation to make Ryajin Jaka even more powerful. Too many things. Hokutomaru rubbed his forehead. Let's take it step by step. After taking a look at Genji who had already started training, Fudomaru didn't intend to be idle anymore. Come on, great sage. Start expanding Rukonga, this time you assist me? Previously, the construction of Rukonga was led by the Great Sage. Hokidomaru could only watch, and it was the Great Sage who really controlled it. But this time Fudomaru decided to do it himself. Although the Great Sage is Fudomaru's skill, if Fudomaru himself carries out the expansion of Rukonga, then Fudomaru can definitely become stronger with control over the spirit child. While mastering Ryatsu does not enhance Ryatsu, training and control is always useful. Moreover, Fudomaru also wanted to develop Kido. It is impossible to have no requirements for the control of spirit children. Good host. Start assisting the host in controlling the spirit child. Current assistance level 85%. Don't forget to test Genji's changes and see how much improvement he can bring to me by practicing Ryatsu. Okay. Genji, who was immersed in absorbing the spirit, felt as if he was lying in a hot spring in the mountains. It feels like the body is constantly absorbing some kind of power. This feeling is quite wonderful. It can even be clearly felt that his own soul seems to have become much thicker. I've never felt like this before. Amazing. Advertisement. I don't know how long it took to practice. Genji slowly opened his eyes and felt that his soul was tearing apart, as if the absorbed spirit could no longer be compressed into his soul. Soul density cannot continue to increase. This should be the limit of his practice this time. If he continues to practice, it will not have much effect, but will be counterproductive. Genji, who stopped practicing, felt that his Ryatsu had increased three times compared to before. The speed at which this power increases is much faster than the increase in demonic power. Woke up. Fudomaru looked at Genji and nodded with satisfaction. Genji stood up quickly, Lord Fudomaru, Ryatsu is really, too. Just as he said this, Genji suddenly looked around and saw that the number of buildings here had doubled. There was only one street before, but now there are three streets. They all extend from afar to near the passage to the afterlife. This, this is. Hokidomaru smiled while you were training, I expanded the Rukonga. Expanding Rukonga? Kidomaru-sama, you built these? How did you do this? Hearing this, Fudomaru smiled. It's easy. As he spoke, the surrounding souls were drawn by invisible forces and gathered in front of Hidomaru. A piece of rubble formed in the blink of an eye. Looking at what suddenly appeared, Genji was stunned for a moment. Creating something out of thin air. No, 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 this is not a creation out of thin air. Fudomaru smiled, this thing is formed from spirit seeds. Strictly speaking, this thing is just the product of the aggregation of spirit seeds. Spirit child? Advertisement. Is it the energy he absorbed? Can it still be used like this? Yuanji, your cultivation speed is very good. You must practice more diligently in the future. Don't waste the sealed state I gave you. Hearing this, Genji was very serious and promised that he would not let down Hokutomaru's expectations. Almost one third of Genji's training success was given to Fudomaru. He himself had strengthened Ryatsu three times, but Hokutomaru also had to increase a small amount of Ryatsu. But even though it's only a small part, if there are ten or a hundred Shinigami practitioners like Genji, part of the Ryatsu they absorb will be obtained by Fudomaru. Then the speed of Ryatsu's enhancement is quite terrifying. And more importantly, Genji's belief collection directly helped Hokidomaru advance Ryajin Jaka's simulation by another 1%. Don't underestimate this small 1%. What if there were 10 or 100 Shinigami like Genji? Let alone completely simulating Ryajin Jaka. Even simulating all Zenpakito doesn't seem to be a big problem. Thinking of this, Fudomaru now wants to forge countless sealed states immediately, and then integrate all these sealed states into the person's body. Let these people become your own tools. Genji's performance gave Fudomaru an even crazier idea. Great Sage, you said before that the belief strength of people who are injected into the sealed state will be different. 
The firmer and stronger the will, the stronger the belief power they can provide, right? Yes. If this is the case, what will happen if Ling Yu Fairy is integrated into the sealed state? Not only Ling Yu Fairy, if the protagonist of this world, Inuyasha, is also injected with sealed state. Then will I receive an extremely huge power of faith in the future? It is predicted that there may be unexpected gains, and the Great Sage agrees with Host's idea. Even the Great Sage agrees, very good, then let's cast the sealed state as soon as possible. Now that the control over the spirit child has been enhanced, the speed of casting sealed state should be faster. Advertisement. Chapter 48 Preparations for Building Seer IDI. Advertisement. Underworld, the deepest part of Rukunkai. In a unique palace, Hokutomaru sat cross-legged on the mat, looking at the two sealed states floating in front of him. At the same time, only one sealed state was forged three days ago, but now two sealed states are forged directly. This speed is twice as fast. It seems that strengthening the control of the spirit child is still very effective. Analysis, not only because the host's control over the spirit sun has been enhanced, but also because the host's riot so has been enhanced, it also speeds up the host's ability to forge the sealed state. No matter what the reason is, it would be nice to speed it up. In this way, I can make more people become Shinigami. And if they practice, they will be able to strengthen Fudomaru's riot so. But before that, Fudomaru also wanted to find his mother, Ling Yu Zianji, in the Immortal Palace. Back in the Immortal Palace, Fudomaru had already said hello before, so even if he disappeared again for three days this time, there would be no problem. But after a while Fairy Ling Yu looked at him with a dark face. Underworld. Aren't you dead? I thought you would die in the Underworld? Xiao Fudo. Hearing this, Fudomaru was stunned for a moment, saying that Fairy Ling Yu was worried about him, but she just said such words when they met. Quite venomous. Mom, am I okay? It's indeed okay this time, but if you travel frequently between the two worlds, something will happen sooner or later. What's the meaning? Isn't it possible to travel between the two worlds at will? Fudomaru wanted to ask, but Fairy Lingyu turned around and left. Advertisement. Helplessly, Fudomaru glanced at Hiseo who was standing aside, and then chased after him. Where's your other guard? Where's Genji? Immortal Fairy Lingyu asked. I left him in the underworld. One is to let him practice and become stronger as soon as possible, and at the same time to deal with some things in the underworld. While speaking, Immortal Fairy Ling Yu had already walked to the square in front of the Immortal Palace. Leaving your guard in the underworld, where do you want him to die? Won't. Now it seems that if she doesn't explain it to Fairy Ling Yu, she won't be able to understand it, and she might even restrict herself from going to the underworld in the future. Mother, I'm not just talking randomly or being blindly confident, but because I created a completely different cultivation system. These words made Fairy Ling Yu stop and look back at Fidomaru. What did you say? A different training system. Yes, different from the demon power we are practicing now. I accidentally discovered through the underworld stone that the soul also has terrifying power, and I also accidentally created a training system for soul power. It didn't look like Fudomaru was lying, but even Ling Yu's ING couldn't remain calm now. To create a cultivation system casually is still the power of the soul. You didn't lie to me. Hokidomaru smiled, how could I lie to my mother? I call this power Ryatso, which comes from the soul. The reason why I was able to severely injure three great demons this time is because of this power. Speaking of which, Immortal Fairy Ling Yu only found out later that Fudomaru had destroyed the Ocelot clan's camp by himself and severely injured three great demons at the same time. At that time, Fudomaru had not yet broken through the bottleneck of the Deo. Logically speaking, Fudomaru could not have the power to defeat five Deus. Unexpectedly, the real secret turned out to be this. Even if you really created a new power system, this has nothing to do with leaving UNSI in the underworld. Speaking of this, Immortal Fairy Ling Yu frowned slightly, did you teach UNSI this power? Advertisement. Yes, mother's guess is good, and because I killed the Lord of the Underworld, the evil spirits in the Underworld are less restricted by the Lord of the Underworld, so I need to go to the Underworld frequently to kill evil spirits and maintain the normal operation of the passage to the afterlife. If we leave it alone, there will be more and more evil spirits in the future, and it may affect the world of the living. How is it possible to hear that Fudomaru actually killed the Lord of the Underworld? How could the Lord of the Underworld die? Even if the body of the Lord of the Underworld is temporarily eliminated, it will reappear after a while, which is unreasonable. Could it be that some kind of soul power created by Fudomaru was able to truly eliminate the Lord of the Underworld? Immortal Fairy Ling Yu now feels a little headache. This little girl has really done something big. So you left Genji in the Underworld to kill the evil spirits. Yes. If this is really the case, then Immortal Fairy Ling Yu would be even more surprised. Spiritual bodies are basically impossible to be attacked. There are very few methods that can attack the spirit body. What Immortal Fairy Ling Yu knows is that King Duya's natural teeth can kill the soul-seducing messengers of the Underworld, that is, the spirit body. And the soul power created by Hokutomaru can easily attack the soul? Forget it, just do whatever you want. Mother. Immortal Fairy Ling Yu looked calm on the surface, but there was already a turmoil in her heart. It was hard to accept so much news at once, and it would take some time to digest it. I want to ask about the barrier. Enchantment? Fairy Ling Yu glanced at Fudomaru very strangely, what do you want to do? I want to learn how to set up barriers. I built several streets in the underworld for normal souls to live in, but evil spirits harass me from time to time, and killing them doesn't always show up immediately. So I need a barrier to protect the area I built. Advertisement. How many streets were built? How was it built? Can Fudomaru be built by one person? Mother, you should know how to arrange the barrier. Looking at her careless son, Immortal Fairy Ling Yu missed her former Fudomaru even more. How cute it was then. He is fluffy and chubby. Now that my son has grown up and has many things to do, he is not as cute as before. Although he has become more handsome, Fudomaru's face still has more or less the shadow of King Dauga. He is obviously more handsome than King Dauga, but Fairy Ling Yu still prefers the cute Fudomaru. It's not that easy to learn how to set up barriers, especially for monsters. Humans are better at setting up barriers, so it might be difficult for you to learn. Disaster? Hokutomaru smiled. Mom, no matter how much you teach me, I will definitely learn it. 
Really? Then come and try it. As she spoke, Fairy Ling Yu glanced at Fu Dumaro, raised her hand and gently drew a circle in front of her. Deploying a barrier with demon power consumes a lot of power and is actually not practical. Instead of letting the barrier protect things within a certain range, demon power is more suitable for leaving some restrictions, such as leaving demon energy in a certain way in a special way. An object that no one else can touch. Is this the reason why King Duya stays on Tai Suiya? I didn't expect it to be like this, but it is also powerful against monsters. If you can arrange the barrier at will, then the witches among humans will not be able to fight back. Analysis of barrier principle completed. Knowledge related to the barrier is being injected into the host's mind. Hokidomaru was stunned for a moment, feeling the knowledge about the barrier gradually pouring out of his mind. Is this, okay, advertisement. Chapter 49 Bankai reaches the most beautiful person and the most beautiful knife. Advertisement. Do you understand? Learning to set up barriers doesn't happen overnight. Just take your time. Seeing Fu Dumaru standing motionless, Fairy Ling Yu thought that Fu Dumaru didn't understand the way she arranged the barrier just now. This is normal. Setting up barriers also requires talent. Children without talent will need to spend more time learning it. No, mom, I think I already know it. Yeah, immortal Fairy Ling Yu nodded, then I'll. Suddenly Fairy Ling Yu turned to look at Fudomaru, little Fudo, what did you just say? Hokidomaru raised his hand, the demonic energy flowing around him, and patted the ground gently. The demonic energy began to flow in a specific way, and in the blink of an eye, a small barrier rose up, wrapping him and Ling Yu fairy in it. This, is this a barrier? Izzy, who was following him, couldn't help but exclaimed. Just now, Master Fudomaru just watched Master Ling Yu Zianji perform the barrier, but in the blink of an eye, he successfully arranged a barrier? This learning speed is too terrifying? Will you know it at a glance? Immortal Fairy Ling Yu's calm face also showed a different look in her eyes. It is true that monsters cannot be judged by common sense, but she is not weak to her own talent, so Fudomaru naturally needs to be stronger. It's not bad. Now that you've learned it, are you planning to return to the underworld and set up a barrier? Hearing this, Fudomaru shook his head. Mother, do you want to try the power of the soul? The power of the soul? Immortal Fairy Ling Yu frowned and remained silent for a few seconds. Tell me, what's so special about your power? Fudomaru raised his hand and grabbed a handful of sealed state from Zenpakuto. This time, before Fudomaru could activate his demon power to reveal the sealed state, Ryatsuki Senji was stunned for a moment. Advertisement. This knife is very special. The flowing power is indeed a completely different power from the demonic power. Unexpectedly, Fairy Lingyu could actually see the sealed state. That's right, with Lingyu Immortal Fairy's demonic power, it would only be a problem if she couldn't see the sealed state. Yako on the side had a puzzled look on her face. Master Fudomaru had nothing in his hand at all. Looking at the confused expression on her face, Hokidomaru also knew that she couldn't see. Immortal Fairy Lingyu also noticed and asked Yazi, can't you, see? Hearing this, Yako nodded, yes. Is there something in Master Fudomaru's hand? Seeing Izzy's reaction, Immortal Fairy Lingyu felt even more interesting. Ordinary little demons can't see this knife at all, and the power of this knife is different from the demon power. Is this the power of the soul? That's right. Mother, this is a blade forged with soul power. Unless the demonic power reaches a certain level, it is completely invisible. Interesting. Fairy Ling Yu raised her hand and stroked the sealed state if you want to practice the power you created, do you need to use this knife? Not using it, but integrating this knife into my mother's soul. Into the soul? How should I do? Fu Dumaru took Immortal Ling Yu back to the palace. Mother, next I will assist you in integrating the sealed state. The process may be quite painful, so mother, please be mentally prepared. Xiao Fudo, you talk a lot of nonsense, let's get started. It seemed that my mother didn't care too much, and I hoped that my mother wouldn't scream too much later. However, during the fusion process, Fu Dumaru was a little surprised. Fairy Ling Yu made no sound at all. She had been very calm, but if Fu Dumaro was in front of her, she could see a line of cold sweat on Ling Yu Immortal Fairy's forehead. The process of integrating sealed state was very smooth. It takes less time than Genji's previous fusion of sealed state. It was over in just an hour. And the moment when the sealed state completely merged with Ling Yu Fairy. Advertisement. The sealed state fit exceeds 99% and Senlua Wang Ziyang starts to simulate automatically. Request host to fully activate thinking rapidity. Request to gain control of host's body. What? The fit exceeds 99%. What is this? This has never happened before. However, the great sage's voice seemed very urgent, and Fudomaru did not waste any time and immediately agreed. And after agreeing, the great sage took control of Fudomaru's body and began to actively inject Ryatsu into Ryatsu Senji. And during this process, Ryuzenji did not reject Fudomaru's Ryatsu at all, but accepted it easily. Suddenly, Hokidomaru felt a chill surge up, bursting out from the body of his mother, Ling Yu Zianji. Snowflake suddenly appeared in the room. What's this? Fudomaru was stunned. Genji didn't have this effect when he fused sealed state before. Why was it his mother's turn that such an unexpected situation happened? Snowflakes fell on Fairy Ling Yu's body, and then began to flutter around Fairy Ling Yu. A powerful riot Su burst out from Ling Yu Immortal Fairy's body. Fudomaru's eyes flashed with light, and the sealed state that had been integrated into Ling Yu Fairy's body flew out and appeared in front of Ling Yu Fairy. And it is gradually changing into another form. Is this, is this transformed into a real Zenpakuto? It is not that easy to transform sealed state into Zenpakuto. Although Genji has integrated into the sealed state, he has not yet completed the transformation of Zenpakuto. It was estimated that it would take a long time, but I didn't expect that Fairy Ling Yu would complete the transformation so quickly. And look at the knife in front of you, isn't it? Congratulations host. Advertisement. Individual, Fairy Ling Yu, has a very strong belief power. Simulation of Senra, Ryajin Jaka 65%. What? So much was simulated directly? It was only at a level of 20% before, but now it has been enhanced by more than 40%. This is too fast? Immortal Fairy Lingyo can increase her simulation progress by so much, so wouldn't it be wrong to find other powerful demons to integrate into the sealed state? By then, it may not be a problem to simulate Ryajin Jaka 100%. Thinking of this, Fudomaru started to get excited. As for 65% Ryajin Jaka, Hokidomaru can now clearly feel the terrifying power of fire flowing in his body. This is completely different from before. Now with one slash, it can really be done and burn everything down. 
This feeling made Funomaru completely immersed in it and unable to extricate himself. Simulation degree exceeds 60%. Host can open Ryujin Jaka Bankai. Is Bankai finally available? Hokidomaru opened his eyes, and a faint fire burst out from his eyes. At this moment, Fairy Lingyu also opened her eyes. A force of ice and snow protruded from his mouth. The pure white Zenpakuto fell into the hands of Lingyu Immortal Fairy. Hokidomaru looked at the Zenpakuto. This is... Sleeve... Snow, the most beautiful Zanpakuto in Seoul society, was given to her by her own mother. It's quite a match. My mother is the most beautiful person in Inuyasha's world, so of course she must be paired with the most beautiful Zanpakuto. Advertisement. Chapter 50 Link Simulation Opens New World. Advertisement. Yako, okay, now you're a Shinigami too. Hokutomaru slowly stood up, while Yako slumped on the ground with a tired look on his face. Master Fudomaru, if you don't end it, Yako feels like she's going to die. For it, Fudomaru was stunned for a moment, feeling that Yako was talking about something strange. However, it took three hours for Yuzu to successfully integrate into the sealed state. At the same time, Hiseo also successfully integrated sealed state. After successfully fusing the sealed state with Ryatsuki Senji that day, Fudomaru Hisa immediately fused the sealed state with Hiseo, and then forged a new sealed state, allowing Yako to successfully become a Shinigami. Now Genji, Hiseo, Yako, and Retsutsu Senji are all Shinigami. However, what Fudomaru didn't expect was that Ryatsuki Senji seemed to be too talented in Zenpakuto training. In just a few days, he rose to the captain level, and because of the inexplicable soul compatibility, Ling Yu Zianji even directly simulated Sode no Shireyuki's Zenpakuto with the help of her own power Sen Luo Wang Ziyang. And now he has successfully completed the Shikai, which makes Fudomaru a little confused. It is speculated that because Host and Ling Yu Fairy are originally mother and son, when Host was conceived in Ling Yu Fairy's body, there was a certain connection in the soul. That's why after integrating into the Host sealed state, we can borrow the power of the Host to simulate Zenpakuto by ourselves. All right. Fudomaru also accepted this explanation. According to Fairy Lingyo, she borrowed the power of all things from the universe to deduce the link simulation function, whether host is enabled. Advertisement. Link simulation? What do you mean? What did you deduce? Link simulation. Any Shinigami who has integrated into the host sealed state, once their power has accumulated to a certain level, can use Shinra Vientian to perform Zenpakuto simulation, thereby awakening their own Zenpakuto. Since there is no Shinigami system in this world, the simulated Zenpakuto are all the Zenpakuto in the host's memory. The specific type of Zenpakuto that can be simulated depends on the talent of Shinigami himself. Fudomaru's eyes turned slightly, so, doesn't it mean I don't have to imitate other Zenpakuto myself in the future? If there are enough Shinigami, then all the Zenpakuto in my memory will definitely appear? Theoretically this is true. Very good. Originally, Hokutomaru thought this was a project that would take quite a long time. After all, although you can collect the power of faith from other Shinigami, you still have to simulate various Zenpakuto yourself. There are so many Zenpakuto in Seoul society, and I don't know how long it would take to simulate them all. Things are different now. As long as there are enough Shinigami, then Fudomaru can let these people use their own talents to help Fudomaru simulate other Zenpakuto. And not only can he directly mobilize their Zenpakuto power, he can even exert more powerful power than them. And if they practice Ryatsu, it will directly enhance Fudomaru's Ryatsu. It's simply killing multiple birds with one stone. The only problem is probably how to increase the number of Shinigami. It is recommended that host can increase the number of Shinigami through the following two methods. The first method is to directly select a soul body with good talent and make it a Shinigami. The second option is to select a monster from the Inuyeo family and make it a Shinigami. The Dog Demon Clan. Advertisement. Great Sage, what do you mean? Forget about the soul body, I can understand it, but among the monsters, is it possible that only the dog monster family can integrate into the sealed state? Yes, the host itself is a dog demon. The success rate of integrating the sealed state into other monsters who are also dog demons is relatively high. If the blood is different and they are not spirit bodies, the repulsion enhanced sealed state fusion failure rate will be huge improvements. Essentially, the sealed state also belongs to the soul, and is integrated with the host's imprint. It is naturally quite difficult to integrate into the souls of other creatures. Alright, that's understandable. If they are both dog demons, it is much easier to succeed in fusing the sealed state, and there is a high possibility of failure for dog demons. Fudomaru could also understand the repellent nature of the soul. After all, it was the soul, if it could be successfully fused so easily. Then anyone can become a Shinigami. But if you want to recruit more dog demons, you can't do it with your current identity. Recall what the three elders of the dog demon clan said. Become a king, the king of the dog demon clan. It doesn't matter how many dog demons he mobilizes at that time, right? And it can also lift the mother's exile. It can be regarded as killing two birds with one stone. Regarding the selection of soul bodies, I am afraid that there will not be any soul bodies with good qualifications in a short time. After all, if these souls wanted to survive in the underworld and not go to rebirth, there were only two ways, one was to be eaten, and the other was to become evil spirits. Have you rested? Hokutomaru asked Yako who stood up. After all, he is still a monster. His recovery ability is naturally stronger than that of humans. After a few breaths, he no longer looked like he was about to collapse from exhaustion just now. The situation is a little better, Master Fidomaru, are you going to the underworld next? Yeah, Fidomaru nodded. Advertisement. Although the sealed state was successfully fused, it is basically impossible to improve riot so without being in the underworld. So we have to take Izzy into the underworld. Now Fairy Lingyu is also in the underworld. Open the passage to the underworld and go straight to Rukonga. Now the number of undead here is increasing, and these undead are staying here, although they are not actively absorbing souls, but passively absorbing them. The soul density of the undead in Rukonga also gradually increases, which also causes them to become more active. No longer as dull and numb as before, Rukonga gradually became lively. It's amazing, is this the city created by Master Fidomaro? City? Now Rukonga is not considered a city. It only accommodates more than 30,000 undead and can only be regarded as a small town. Whistling gently, Sanmao immediately rushed over. 
Fidomaru jumped on San Mao's head, and took Yako to the end of Rukonga, the Siritei that had not yet been completely built. Ryatsu is on the roof of the palace, sitting cross-legged and absorbing the Ryatsu around her, and with her crazy training speed, one-third of the Ryatsu has been enhanced into Fidomaru's body. Genji and Hiseo also seem to be getting better, although their cultivation speed was not as fast as that of Ling Yu Fairy. But the Ryatsu increase provided by the two is not small. This feeling of Ryatsu getting stronger every few minutes made Fidomaru enjoy it very much. I even want to establish a complete soul society immediately. However, if the dog demon can only become a Shinigami, then the soul society in this world will be different from the original soul society. Dog soul society? All Shinigami are actually dogs? It's quite cute, 